I did a speed run of the All the Mod Star for All the Mods 8, with a goal of breaking my previous record of 30 hours. I live streamed the entire speed run to prove that I could do it without using exploits or cheating, and so far, I've made a ton of progress towards the star. In the last part of the speed run, I started upgrading my power before I jump into one of the hardest parts of making the All the Mod Star. Before we jump in, if you are liking these videos, make sure to hit that like and sub button if you haven't yet. I'd also love to know what your favorite part of the series has been so far so let me know with a comment below now let's jump right back in what did you put in the bottom right corner i need to put ice in there but i don't think i need the ice how much is it generating right now so this is my nitro i think i actually need to put some kind of ice in there i don't know if i have just regular ice though ice would work blue ice or packed ice would work too but we just need like an ice charge which i need blitz powder for or i needed to get silk touch and just go grab some ice I can just make a silk touch pickaxe and go grab some ice. That'd probably be the easiest. And so while all this stuff is being made, because we do need some ice, there's another reactor there. So I'm going to replace a lot of these reactors. So like that's a niotic. So we're going to replace this one. I don't remember where I clicked this one in there. I think I clicked it right there. Yes. Dry ice should be best. Dry ice is good, but it's not worth me making the dry ice recipe for it. So... I've learned that. And so this should automatically work. Okay, I just got to connect this in. All right. Cool. And so it needs a bucket of water to start producing power to begin with. Dry house is good, but it's not like that crazy of good. Okay, so now we should be able to do nitro... We should be able to make, like I said, I need like a bunch of these. So let's do 72 and let's go make ourselves. Do we have any zinc in here? Let's go ahead and make ourselves a brass pickaxe real quick. Take out the copper that I have. It's copper plus brass, if I remember correctly. Well, I just made all of it. Copper plus zinc, I think it was. Where's my copper ore? Or, right. And that'll make me brass. I actually need a whole stack of this. I'll take it. We'll come over here, throw this into my furnace. And we'll grab out the brass. You know, this kind of needs to be upgraded into an ultra importer. Do I have an ultra importer made? I do not. Let's go ahead and make one. Glacial precipitate. Yeah, there's thermal in this one, but I, just, I don't know. Ice shards for mystical agriculture. I'm going to make ice seeds. Need the nether star crux to grow it. I would have it already done. Is it not going to make that or whatever? Hello? Oh, I see what's going on. This is why. Because it wasn't done importing. Am I tripping right now? That's what's slowing it down. Is this importer slowing it down? All right, so now we need flint plus wood. Flint is actually in a low spot right now. So is oak, but we have a way to make oak or whatever. I wonder how our, our system is doing in terms of like how fast it's working and how much stuff is stored on it. Okay. So this is just get us some ice. How are we doing our disc space? We're still, we're still using a 16 K and it's running fine. How's our stars? We're at 119. Oh, we're actually at 11, almost 12,000 already. That's pretty good. I think we're are still limited by redstone at this point. How are we doing on Inferium? Do we have enough Inferium for literally everything? How are we doing on Insanium? We have 154 Insanium. I wonder if it's actually better for me to just do redstone seeds here and replace all this with redstone. There you go. Done with the blocks. Sweet. We'll throw that away. We need to get this stuff up. Okay, let's go. Let's go get some ice real quick. So I need to just put this here. And we need to find wherever our entry is here. And we're going to find it. Day 35. Yeah, we're on day 35, 11 and a half hour, or almost 12 hours in now. And so is there any ice nearby? Oh, there's a ton south east of us where we fought the warden like 55 times 
I think you have to have silk touch, right? Probably would help if I turned that on, huh? Okay. And a bunch of stuff is gone. Oh no, Blakey, no! You could post it in the... There's a couple of chats for it, but you could post it in... Oh, this is tier one, so we need Inferium for this. Oh god. You can post it in the pictures chat and that'll be fine. Dude, I want to go down from there. 16. Okay, so ice, ice seeds. We need ice seeds are made with four pieces of ice for Inferium. Okay. We don't need a lot of ice seeds, bro. It's like, it's not going to be that serious. Need to turn my magnet off. And so now we just got to teach you the recipes to make these things. So we can do packed ice. And then we want to do blue ice. Usually you could do blue ice to make the thing better, but I don't like, I don't care to do that. It's going to, it'll be fine with blue ice. And so now we just got to make sure once these two seeds are done, we plant these two, this seed or whatever. Let's just plant it here so I can get more ice seeds out of it. We got to make a spot for ice essence. And then hopefully we get another ice seed. Oh God, that item pipe is in there. But yeah, there should be a pixel. Actually, if you're doing mob grinder, just put it in your build. Like there should be a build thing for it. A bunch of camping pigs. Oh, that kind of, that's still kind of rough. Bro, that should be, is it not collecting fast enough? Is that what it is? Let's see, ice. We have 18. Do I need to make more ice? Do I need to make more ice seeds? I guess I gotta make more ice seeds. I like that I can just literally just shove this in there. Can I make a bunch of packed ice yet? Should at least give me ice seeds in here. Oh man, this is so full. This is struggling. I think we need to pull out of this some more. Uh, pipe upgrade. We need to make like 10 of these. And then we need to get this going like this. That way it makes sure it pulls out fast enough. Giggity. Actually impressed that we're not getting any ice seeds out of this. That should be fine. We should be able to make the blue ice pretty easily. Missing. Oh my God. Ice. Should be able to make the blue ice pretty easily. Packed ice, blue ice. Okay, and we can come over here and throw this in this bottom right chest here. I just need to make sure I lock this first. And then we want to make sure we export the blue ice in here and put it in there. And so now it'll pull it and put it in here. And see, this is still going to make, this is what, 158,000? Because I think it's full. Are we already done with those reactors? Oh my God. We're going to have to tell it to make 72 more. That's two more reactors. And so put this down over here. And then we'll just extend these out. Important life lessons. Wait, what? That is a lot of power. Oh yeah. We're going to need more than this though. And then these needs buckets of water. 
This is nitro. This is my spirited one, so that's not supposed to be there. Did we make these already? Okay, no, cool. All right, so how are we doing on ice? I just got to make sure that this chest doesn't fill up with ice seeds because that's going to be a bad thing. Actually, really, you know what? Actually, hold on. The reason why is because it needs to be in the bottom one if we want more essence. That should be the more essence one. Since this has got a regulator upgrade, we actually need a crafting upgrade too. I was like, where is it at? I need to get this, like, already taught how to do this. Ugh, I need to just go ahead and do this. I keep putting it off. I'm just a dummy. Because we need these later. Ooh, we'll fold out on that one. What's best for energy? Uh, the getting straight into mechanism to do the reactors, like the fusion reactor is the best. All right, let's see if that'll fill this up. We just need to make sure all of these, it needs to be round robin. So that way, if it makes it, it'll still give it the blue ice or whatever. So blue ice will still make it generate a ton. At least it should anyway. Question is, how are we running on redstone and stuff? We only have 4K total. That's because it's exporting the redstone essence just to go directly into this. And this is my redstone, which is our my redstone thing. Mm, we need to replace those things. So let me think. Really, I don't think we need to. So it's 250,000 per, and we need like, that's one, two, three, four. So that's a million. We should have the other reactors done. So there's two more. Got to make sure this is all chunk loaded. And then we're going to continue this on. And so this needs to be connected here. And that'll keep that up. And then this needs a bucket of water. This needs a bucket of water. Then we're going to extend this out. And so now it just needs ice in each of these. And so, yeah, that's, that's fine. That should work. Problem is, is one thing we have a problem with is that our chunk destroyer is actually full because this is full. And so like we need another void upgrade for the backpack to get rid of some of the things that like, I don't want to keep, or we actually need to just make a spot for it over here since all of my drawers are ready. So we can actually do raw aluminum you go over here. And so that'll pull everything out of there. How's the upgrade on here? Raw aluminum can go in there. Raw nickel can go in there. Um, and so this way we make a whole spot for all of this and those should all be pretty much good to go. Tin, zinc, those will just get deleted. The cobbled deep slate should just get deleted. I don't know why there's blazing archwood logs in here. That's kind of weird. Sapphire doesn't really matter. Um, oh yeah, we got to do FTB, FTBIC. I forgot about that. Fluorite blocks should be in here. So what we also need to do is we also need to tell it or teach it how to take the fluorite blocks down. And so we need to give it the recipe to go from up to down. So we need this because it needs to know how to break those uh, blocks down. And so now that should clear up most of the inventory. The dark blocks also need a spot. Need a bunch of simple compacting drawers. Crystal blocks do actually need a spot, believe it or not. Um, Instone does Appetite doesn't really matter. We can actually void the blocks of Appetite. So if we just void the regular Appetite, it'll keep that. We can keep those four going. And that's blocks of Sulfur. So, or sulfur. We don't really need those either. 
And so one of the things is that in the compressing upgrade or grade or whatever, we're actually supposed to not compress these. So like this is a one X. I don't think I have a compressed one X version. Thank you for the follow ultimate high roller. Um, we're not actually supposed to compress these blocks of lapis down. I don't know if I have a spot for blocks of lapis, so you can actually block it compressing the blocks of lapis. I'm going to right click here and see if it has a block. Okay. So we don't have blocks of lapis over here. So let's go ahead and place that. And then, so did I place the right one? I did. And so now I can just compress all these down. And so it all goes in there. And so that way this doesn't like compress up like heavily. And everything else should be compressed okay. The zero silver and stuff doesn't really matter. And so now I think we actually have the power, I want to say, to work where we need to or do what we need to. Let's see, 43, 62, 48. Yeah. And so at this point, we don't need the eye seeds up here. Honestly, I need I need something completely different. How are the eye seeds? Yeah, six. Netherite has to stay. Uh, we should have plenty of air. Stone is fine. Dirt, wood. How many wood seeds do we have? A lot. That's fine. But if there's a resource of bleeds, the blazing archer logs sometimes spawn around their hives. That's kind of cool. Okay. I think that's all we need right now. We could use that spirited or whatever, but we've pretty much got what six reactors right now running at max. And so that's 250 a piece It's about 150 or 1.5 million. So I think we're good. And so we can go ahead and split and then we're going into lithium. This part is actually annoying. Um, we got to go get the chunk destroyer back running. Where's the chunk destroyer at? She's over here. She didn't even run for that long. Wow. I really did not run this one at all. Bypass limit. I don't think I can, I don't need to power surge this, but it should be fine. We also need to pull things out over here. Um, cause right now it's just going into this backpack with one. And so we need the pipe upgrades. We're going to need a couple of these to get this out. And so let me grab these. So we're going to go here, here. I don't want to put it into my system. We're going to connect all these. And so that should pull things out fast enough. Yes. Cool. All right. So that should stack everything up. How are we doing on redstone right now? Okay. That brought our redstone supply our, uh, yeah, supplies back up, which is good. How's this going over here? Is this still doing okay? How are we doing our stars? We're at 14,000, still making like one a second, which is actually not good. So the fission, rea fusion reactor is the best. Fission reactor comes afterwards. Okay, so the next part is actually kind of annoying because we have to do mechanism. And so I don't like doing mechanism. I used to, but I haven't done it in a while. So we're going to do mechanism. So we're going to need a couple things. Um, first off, we got to set up automated stuff for mechanism, which is the metallurgic confusers. So we got to get the recipe for all these things. I don't know if I, hold on a second. I need to get the recipe for all these things. I don't know if I have the recipes for most of these things. Do we have the recipe for, I think I already had it, have it configured to, I think I have it configured to do the forges, but I could be, are the things for this. And so now, now we need speed upgrades. We're going to grab this recipe. And so what you might be wondering is we're going to grab this recipe right here from the crusher because we're going to have crusher recipes too. And so the speed upgrades fine. We have the glass and everything. We should also have the glass recipe. I think one thing that we do need is the sand recipe. I don't think I've taught it how to make sand yet. And so that's one of the things that I've like, I have for us to make so it can take sand. And I think it does have the glass recipe in this one, right? Yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And so now we want to do mech. We have a lot of things that we're going to need. We're needing the enrichment chamber. So let's teach it how to make it. You can straight up make an ultimate enriching factory by itself. We're going to do the tier upgrades. Screw that. I don't know if I have the base. Do I have the... Iron. No, I don't. Are that steel? Do I have steel casings yet? No. Should have plenty of steel for that. And so I have the recipe for that. I don't have the recipe for this yet, but I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. So we're going to do this. 
We're going to do that one, and then we need to do the redstone alloy. We're going to grab this one. This is going to go here, and those two are for my redstone stuff. And so we've got the enrichment chamber, the crusher, and then we need metallurgic infuser. So we need four metallurgic infusers for this. Uh, I think we need five. Let's do five. So five metallurgic infusers. We need to also teach it how to do the basic um, tier upgrades. We actually just do tier upgrades. Just teach it how to do all of these recipes. If it doesn't know how to do the this recipe, I'm going to teach it. Those are fine. I'll teach you how to do the ultimate stuff later. Like the atomic alloys and stuff. But for now, I just want to get the basic recipes done. So like these go into a specific spot. All right. And so now we're going to set this up. I don't know where we're going to set this up. I guess we're going to go over here on this side and do it here. And so how we're going to do this is we're going to go and make ourselves some exporters. And we're going to make like 10 of these because I know I'm going to need them. Could instant craft it. I think that furnace is still really slow. Do I have an what do I have on this that makes it real slow? This is current speed is one because the iron crafter. Do we have any speed upgrades for this? Can I make a stack upgrade? That was instant. Can't make stack upgrades for these. Okay. And so that should make all the exporters. Now we need all the importers. We're going to need a lot of cables for this too. Do I have a lot of cables yet? Do we have any points in here? Do I have any points in here? Don't have any points. Okay. Got to make a point. Making stars so slowly, dude. It's like one of the hardest things. Not going to lie. It's so annoying. All right, and so we're actually going to go and put the one, two, three, four, four, five. I should actually know how to make the crusher already from... Did I not put the crusher recipe up? Crusher? Did I not teach it how to make the crusher recipe? I guess not. It already knows how to make the lava bucket, so that should be fine. But I'll tell you what it doesn't know. It doesn't know how to make the... It isn't making the alloys. I'll tell you that. So we need the osmium for that, which we have 2K. Oh, that might be tough. I think we should have the speed upgrade for this, but I'm just going to hit it with this. So that way we can make the basic crusher and stuff right now. Because I just need one. And so the crusher recipe is actually going to be for a couple things. I actually need two enrichment chambers too. Enrichment. I'm just so glad I'm not doing melon crafting. Because that's annoying. Uh, can I? I need two enrichment chambers. It is actually annoying to make it. Enrichment chamber. Okay. And so we're going to do enrichment. Enrichment and a crusher. Okay. So we got one of the crusher recipes. So we're actually going to need a chest. Okay. We're going to need a bunch of chests. And so this is actually hilarious. So let me go ahead and make a ton of these chests. Can I just shift craft it? And so now we need redstone torches. Just going to make a bunch for later. And then I'm going to grab iron. I don't want to do a whole lot of iron here. How are we doing on iron? Ooh, 3.8k. Not good. I've done this a couple of times. Some of you might recognize what I'm doing. I don't know if I need to go to diamond or not, but screw it. What's the worst that can happen? Netherite chest? Nah. Do I not, does it not know how to make item pipes?
That was weird. What's my dank even doing? So why I'm doing this is because crafters are limited by the speed of how many um, chests or how much room there is in the thing below it. So if you basically pointed at something that doesn't have um, enough room, it doesn't matter what tier crafter you make, it's not going to work that fast. So I can demonstrate this later down the road, but let's say I have a diamond crafter. Whenever you place this up here, you'll see that it says our current speed 25 times occupied space. So let's go ahead and make ourselves netherite crafters. It looks like I need eight of them. So let's go ahead and make eight and see if I can. Yeah, so this is what I do. Stack upgraded chest. Stack upgraded doesn't really matter. So it's really just about doing what I'm doing here. And like, it doesn't, these don't have to be netherite, but you can actually change this and have it output like the recipes do, like very specific things. The capacity, the speed is based on the occupied space. So like you see, it says 63 spaces here but the speed is 25 times. I wonder what's taking the most for these crafters. Okay, so if I break these. Place, oh my God. Now we're at uh, 108. See, current uh, speed limited by oak diamond chase, uh, chest. And so that just is like the basic ways of like setting up like this. And so now we need... Um, Importer is underneath the bottom here. Our exporter is underneath the bottom here. This is pretty much how I always set this up. I need efficiency on this dang thing. I could easily just go get one of my efficiency things, but did I not pull my? Okay, so exporters across the bottom here. And then I do importers across the front. So we also need two things from NEC. We need a configurator, which do I have it? I don't think I've taught it how to make the energy tablet. So we're going to go do that. It's one of the recipes that I need. And we're also going to need a configuration card. I don't know why I made a recipe for that. The configurator is like my go-to wrench too. So this is a wrench that you need for mechanism and it's my go-to wrench. So I can actually put this up now because I don't need it anymore. I don't need that either or that. So Basically, this first one is where I'm going to put in these two right here. So the osmium is going to go into the crusher. So wherever I have the crusher at, I'm going to put the crusher recipe stuff here. And so we'll get all of that a little bit later, but pretty much this is fine right now. And so we need to set these up properly. So on these, on the infusers, we're going to clear all the config sides. We're going to do input on the top, output on the front. And so click this and then infuse types are or for items. We're going to make sure we set this to yellow or green. No, 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 yellow. Extra on the yellow or on the bottom. So it needs to be on the bottom here. So if I right click, it'll do this. And so now I can actually sneak right click on this and it gives me the data. And then I can actually put these into each of these like this. And so that tells me, it tells the system, hey, this is what I want you to do. So input, output, auto eject, and then the export. I don't think I need an exporter on the bottom of this one because it's not going to, it doesn't need any extra materials. And so same thing here. We're just going to do input, output. Um, auto eject. And so that's pretty much it. So the crusher, same thing. We're going to clear input, output, auto eject. And so that's all done. And now we just need some cables, which I think I put up to connect all these up. So we're going to do a line from back here and then connect it like this. We're also going to need the network stuff. So I'm going to need one, a piece of these. So let's go ahead and make like two in case I need it next time.
And so that should make us the transmitter, receiver, network card stuff is annoying. Okay. Okay, so receiver is gonna go right over here. I'm gonna place that right there. We need to hit it with a network card, which did I grab the card out? So bam. And then we're gonna put the transmitter over here and then I'm gonna throw that in there. And so now this should connect almost everything except for the ones at the top. So that's what the cables are for. So we're gonna run this up. And so that should connect all of those and now it's all should be connected. And so now what it, it takes is I need to tell this how to make these things. And so you could do like double this or whatever. I'm actually gonna do this. So I'm gonna do, um, we're gonna do alloys here and I'm gonna show you a trick you can do. So if you wanna make like multiple at a time, so you can come over here and what you could do is you could set these to like, let's say let's do 32 at a time and let's set these to, this will output 32. And so this will give you a recipe that basically says, okay, hey, if I put in 32 iron here, I should get 32 back. And so it'll put in 32 into this chest. These chests actually have to be extracted down. So let me go ahead and grab my pipe upgrades, which I can just go with diamonds ones right now. I don't really need a whole lot more than diamond ones. And then what we can do is we can go bam, 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 bam. And we can add these in here. So you can sneak click these in there if you wanted to. And so what this will do is it'll just output everything that's there. And so, one thing that we're going to need is we're going to need some redstone into this one, into this enrichment chamber down here. So I want to go ahead and convert this if I can. We're also going to need some power. So that's one of my points right here. And then the flux ducts. So I run the power along the back here. We're going to break this actually, break this. And then we're going to do a point of that right here. I run the power along the back. And do a point and do bam. And then we could do bypass limit. That's fine. Curious why you have a chest buffer inside the instead of the crafter directly. So the crafter is limited by the number of spaces within the machine. So if you're pointing the crafter to something that only has a space of like one or two, it's only the speed of the crafter is only going to be that. So it's going to point in here and it's going to say, I'm going to do this now. You could replace the recipe with like a 64 times if you wanted to. And that would, that could work too. And so this is already importing, or importing. So we should have some redstone. Um, we should have some enriched redstone here. And so this is where I'm going to get those crafting upgrades and stuff. Do I have, so crafting upgrades, um, regulate, do I, okay. I wasn't typing regulator upgrades. It's going to go ahead and make 10 of those. Okay. And so now I'm going to tell this thing to craft and regulate from back here, go under here. And in this one, I want this one to export those. I want you to craft it if you don't know how to make it. And I want you to regulate it where it always keeps 64 in here. So same thing here. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So that way I can make sure that it stays in here. And so now I can set this to 64. And so now this enrichment chamber should pretty much just be constantly busy at this point. And so as long as there's an importer or an ex, this is an exporter set on top of it. Um, the crafter should put redstone in here if it was connected, if it knew how to make the enriched whatever. So let's go grab those recipes real quick. So if we do enriched, we don't really need a whole lot of enriched stuff. Like we could do carbon. I think you'll eventually have to do carbon. But if we grab the recipe these for these, so we can go enriched redstone, enriched diamond. Actually, hold on, no, 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 enriched diamond. So it's putting a diamond in the enrichment chamber. And then uh, enriched obsidian. This is putting refined obsidian dust. So we are going to have to get this recipe from the crusher or from the infuser. So it's actually better to do this. And then so we don't need tin or gold. We'll need gold eventually, but not right now. And so now this first enrichment chamber right here is going to get the recipes for these three. And so now that it knows how to do this, um, is this what I think it is? This enriched? Okay, no, 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 no. That's not it. Okay, so... To make the refined obsidian dust, this is we are going to need the infuser in the diamond one. So this is where we find my third one. This is going to be my diamond one. I'm going to place in the, this in here. We're also going to grab the recipe for that exactly. So I'm going to need um, enriched. We're going to go hit U on the diamond here. And this will give me all the recipes that I need for enriched diamond. And so it's only one. And so we're going to put this in here. Or there's only two, but I've already had one. So now if I come over here and I look at this, 
this is this is still working on the redstone so it knows how to make this it's just not that fast because they all need speed upgrades so if i come over here and i i know the system knows how to make speed upgrades all it needs to know how to do is make ozum dust so if i go up here and i type in speed upgrades and i tell it to make me 10 of them it, it's missing the osmium dust because it doesn't know how to make the osmium dust because we don't have it in the crusher right now which we actually do have it in the crusher it's just just not connected these should all be connected right or did i break the connection oh i broke the connection that's why okay and so that's why it wasn't working so now it should when it has the it has a know-how it should keep this full if it wants to if it works and the crusher should know how to do this too so i should be able to type speed upgrades and i should be able to say hey make me 10 of these and so it'll come over here and it'll throw osmium into the crusher et thank you for the five months my dude i appreciate that thank you for the five months my dude i appreciate that thank you thank you thank you and so now it should make speed upgrades to the beginning so i'm going to just go ahead and upgrade this and I think I can make basic tier upgrades too. Can I make a couple of basic tier installers? Yes. And so this way I can just go ahead and upgrade all of these. And so that they're a little bit faster. And we can see how many speed upgrades it's making. I don't take, didn't teach you how to do that. What up grinning? How are you doing? Yo ET, thank you, man. Can I get some high for that resub? I didn't teach you how to do the energy upgrades yet. And those are pretty important. Energy upgrade. And we need to do gas upgrades too. So then we'll need the crusher rep a recipe for this. So we want to grab the crusher recipe for gold. And so that'll go in the crusher. And then we need the gas upgrades for this. And so gas is going to be iron. And so that goes down here. And we need to teach it how to do crushing iron. And so these two will go in this one right here. And then this one over here will go in the crusher. These two. And so now it's teaching how to do crushing things. We should be able to make a lot more speed upgrades and a lot more upgrades in general. So let's do 10. And so let's see if it does a little, we can fully upgrade this and that'll be faster now. And so speed upgrades should be a little bit faster and let's do energy upgrades. Cause I know I'm going to need it. What up grinning? How are you doing today, dude? Did it not make the energy upgrades? Ah, one thing is, is if you have that set up like me, you want to make sure that you're not pushing out any kind of like iron or any kind of iron dust or anything like that. If you're set up to automatically push like iron dust, it's not going to be a good thing. This already, this should have already been done. How's this doing over here? How to get way up or get up way too early. I know that feel. Is this still making iron right now? That needs some speed up. This also will need, oh, hmm. Now I see. Did we set this one up to export yet? We did not. Wait a second. We did set this up to export. It's just making all the exports for the other one. Did it finish? Interesting. Wonder why this one's not working. These should all be connected to each other. The crafter should work when they're connected to each other. And so I wonder why it's not making it. Woke up with a swim swam and assorted drinks. Swim swam and assorted drinks. So now I can just tell it, hey, I want you to make a couple of stacks of these enriched. And so it should pull it into this one and then it'll make a couple of stacks. And it should output. Oh, is it because this one's not. Did I not set this? Yellow in the bottom. Swip swap. Swim swam swip swap. Is this not going to work like this? It's getting, okay, it's getting stuff now. And so now we should be able to give it speed upgrades. Wonder why I went to this one first. And why it's not wanting to fill this sucker up. We can just keep this a regulator of one and keep this one as a regulator of one, too. 
And so that way we can just keep this full. So now we should be able to get a bunch of speed upgrades. Missing sand. Okay, so something is trying to make cracked red sand. Is it my glass recipe? I think it's my glass recipe. Yep. Okay, so glass. They're not just a, is this not the red, the regular sand recipe? See how this one's current speed is five. Ooh. Let's see. Speed upgrade. Can I make these now? Does it know how to make the glass now? It does. Okay. Honestly, I should change this glass recipe to do something like this. Instead, I should change this recipe to be like, you put in 64, it'll give me that. And so if we change this recipe, this will instead push 64 glass into here. So if I say I want glass, I'll just get make me one glass. It'll just make me, it'll push a stack in there at a time instead. And so that's cool. And so now we come over here and we look. This enrichment factory is not doing anything. So now we need to tell this how to make enriched diamond. This is where we're going to put some diamonds in here. So we're going to give it some diamonds to begin with. And so throw those in there. And so what speed upgrades do we have? Do we have some more speed upgrades? Which one is it using? This one? Weird that's not using the first one. I should just tell this to export iron in here. Instead of just do it like just to convert everything over, but that would be annoying. And so now we should have some enriched diamonds. So we set the rest of these up. So same thing. We're going to go under here. I'm just going to go ahead and break this out. So I can get back here. And so we want to go to the third one here. This one's going to be enriching diamond. We want to do a regulator upgrade and we want to do a crafting upgrade and we can set this one to 64. And so now it's going to try and shove diamond in here. And so I can just throw the diamond thing in there. Uh, this one's going to be enriched obsidian. So this one's going to be a little bit different. So enriched obsidian. Can I make enriched obsidian yet? Enriched obsidian. I don't have enriched obsidian dust. I don't have that recipe yet. Probably because it's not called enriched obsidian dust. It's called refined obsidian dust. Refined. Okay, so make me 64 of these. So we're missing obs the obsidian dust recipe. And so this is in a, a infuser. Do I not have this recipe? Oh, yes, yeah, because it's in the enrichment chamber. So we got to do pattern. And we're going to throw this in here. We got to make some more because we're out. Watch this Instacraft. Bam. Almost Instacraft. And so we got to come over here. This is the enriched. So we got to go to our enrichment chamber here. And so now I should be able to say, hey, make me some enriched obsidian crafting 64 of them and now it's going to enrich these how much we got the max speeds in this one we should have a bunch of speed upgrades which is good we should be able to upgrade all of these now so if it's not already upgraded all the way they will be soon cool all upgraded now we just need a bunch of energy upgrades but no more cave creepers in nine there should be need a bunch of these I guess the crafter only knows to do this one. So this one, so let's just go ahead and take this pattern out. And so then that way, let's we'll throw that in there. And so this one knows to do the basic ones. Every creeper in my, every cave is just a creeper, not a cave one. Any specific place, you have to be under a certain Y level to do it. And so now what we can do here is we can make the next tier of these things. So we have the that alloy and then we need the atomic alloy. So we need to do mech alloy so we need to teach it how to make the alloy recipe this alloy recipe right here and so this is going to be going in the one that go gets enriched or refined obsidian and so we have refined obsidian we should have some refined obsidian or enriched refined obsidian so i'm going to take that and this one's going to go in number four right yep so number four one two three four and so we're going to put this in here we're going to do a regulator and crafting upgrade and tell it to do 64 and then I'm going to throw in 61 in here. And so now if I give it this recipe here and I do 
um, ultimate tier upgrades. And let's say I need eight of these or 10. I should be able to craft all of them. And then I need the other tier upgrades too. So we need the elite tiers. And then we're going to need the advanced tiers. So it should know how to craft all of this. Can be found below mushroom islands. Yeah. So you have to be below like, I think it's like 64 or something like that to do it. Ooh, this is an atom and find of Sydney or in Richmond city. You can also just tell this to export redstone directly into it. Probably not a good idea, but at least it'll keep it full. Tears. And so whenever we get those done, whenever all that gets done, we should be good to go. So this is auto sorts on. Auto sword is not on. Auto sword is not on. Uh, that one's fine. Auto sword is not on. On. And so all of these have speed upgrades. None of them have energy upgrades. And so we should have plenty of those. Five, six, seven, eight. This just makes it run more efficiently. It's pretty much what it is. So it doesn't use as much energy. There we go. Day 38. Jesus Christ, this is going to take a while. How are we doing on the tier installers? Do we have anything made yet? So now we're going to do uranium and make... We're going to take the uranium we have and we're going to come over here. And we're going to make sure that there's a yellow cake uranium spot. But we got to tell it to make urani yellow cake uranium from the enrichment chamber. So enrichment chamber, we're going to make yellow cake uranium... And then I'm going to go ahead and make these. So we're going to come over here and we're going to throw it in the second enrichment chamber. This is why I have it like this. And so I'm going to go ahead and make one of these yellow cake uraniums. And that should just already make me two. And so I'm going to take this and make sure it has a spot. I screwed this up in my last thing. So make sure it has a spot. And then now I'm going to just tell this exporter down here to export yellow cake uranium directly into this enriching factory. And so I don't even need the recipes and stuff. So yellow cake uranium, I just want it to export as much as it can. I need the regulator and crafting upgrades. Do I not have those on me still? I have the crafting upgrades is what I need. I don't know why I put that up. I knew I was going to need it. And so just give me 64 of these. And so actually, why am I doing yellow cake or uranium? We just need to do uranium. That's literally all it is. What am I doing? Ba Bam. Set this to 64. And so now it should just export everything out. We need to make sure that this is set to items input on the bottom here. This shouldn't be exporting anything, so it doesn't need it. And so this is an ultra exporter. We don't really actually need the regulator upgrade in here. We actually can take that out and just let it push as much as it can in here. And so this will make me as much yellow cake uranium as I can. And that's important because I need a ton of them. And so how are our tier installers? Are we done with all those? We are. Cool. Because now we need the advanced, elite, and ultimate. And so now we can actually put all these in here. So boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. And now we have the best machines for all of this. And so whenever it needs to fill these things up, like the enrichment chamber over here or whatever, it just should be going and just getting all of these done, which is good. And so that's to try and keep these infusers filled, which is kind of tough. This one should still be making the enriched obsidian. I don't know why it's not. You can tell this not to take redstone anymore. And so that way it just... It can have a stack of redstone in there, and I want to fill this up with redstone too. So that way it's solid too. We've got plenty of redstone now. Just filling it up. And so now it just needs to make the enriched obsidian or enriched whatever. Does it not know how to? Does it not know to do the crafting of enriched redstone? Did I not teach it how to do the enriched redstone? Am I tripping right now? Is it going to work? Why aren't you working? You have a regulator and a crafting upgrade. So you know how to do this.
sir. Does it not know how to do this one? Redstone. Oh, did I do redstone? Do I not have redstone dust? Bro, why aren't you working? They only work with the... Well, that don't make any sense because they're working over here. They're working right here with these. Screw it. We're just going to shove redstone in it. That's strange. Yeah, it works. Just weird. Okay, so this is basically just so we can make all the recipes for everything else now. So now I can come over here and I can go mech. And this is the annoying part because we need a ton of patterns for this. Ooh, we're going to have so many patterns for this one. Okay, so now we just need ultimate cables. So we're going to need all of the ultimate cables. This is where I actually switch off of the flux ducts. I want to say, oh, wait, 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 hold on a second. Because now you need to make each of these cables going all the way down and I've heard that there's a bug where if you don't you're not careful it will uh, mess up and erase all of your crafters or all the recipes in your crafter if it has all of the pipes or whatever for mechanism so I'm just gonna do a crafter do I have any more netherite crafters make me a netherite crafter I'm gonna make it by itself I like to craft, and now everything I want everything auto crafted. That's where I'm at too. I want everything auto crafted. So I'm just gonna put it up here, and give it its all the pipes and stuff on its own. And I'm just gonna make sure not to use those. And so that was the mechanical pipes. This is the pressurized or pressurized tubes, which I'm gonna need a ton of. Okay, and then we need the transporters. We can skip. Yeah, red leader. Thank you for the follow, man. Appreciate that. I hope we have enough stuff for this because that would suck if we didn't. All right, the next step is to get a lot more recipes. We need the thermal evaporation stuff. That's going to be important. So I'm going to grab all of these. We should know how to make a bucket. We should. We don't know how to make glass panes yet, so i got to teach you how to make glass panes. So now we need to teach you how to make this, which is steel plus copper. We need to teach it how to make a valve. We need to teach it how to make the blocks, which we did. Okay. And so we can actually put these in this one down here. Make sure, again, that we're not doing that. And we also need to do resistive heaters. So we're going to make recipe for this one. We know how to make steel. We should have the tin as well. Don't really need a whole lot of that. We're going to need to make um, electrolytic separators if it doesn't know how to make those just yet. Should know how to make all of these dusts. So there's that. We're going to need to make a ton of recipes here. And so let's get the lithium stuff going first. So let's do lithium. And so from here, let's grab the recipes for this. So first off, to get lith lithium, we actually need a rotary condensator. And then we also need a chemical. I don't know. We don't need that. Well, we are going to need the chemical oxidizer recipe. So we're going to need to make a rotary condensator. That's one of the recipes we need. So we're going to hit A on this and then grab the recipe for this. Grab the recipe for this. We're going to need so much osmium. And then we're going to need the chemical oxidizer. This is going to be an annoying recipe. We did the ki basic chemical tank, right? Yeah. And so we just need the personal. Can I just do a personal chest? Hold on a second. Where's the chemical oxidizer? And so now I can make the personal chest instead. Throw all these recipes in there. All right, and so that'll take care of the oxidizer and condensator. And so liquid lithium gets condensed down. And then from here, we want to take the liquid lith or the lithium and we want to throw this in a solar neutron 
activator. We're going to need this recipe for later, but the, you can already see there's going to be a problem. So we need the bronze ingots and we're going to need the HDPE sheets. So the sheets take these pellets. The problem with these pellets is these pellets are made using ethylene. So I'm actually going to use that later, but for now we'll just throw these two in here. We'll get to that a little bit later, but we're going to have to make the ethylene stuff for that. Bronze is actually, you can just take copper, silver, plus the fire charges. There's an easy way to make these. Um, you can also just make the dusts for these. So there's two ways. We can do a metallurgic infuser plus 10. That's dumb. Pressure crushing down. So there's honestly the easiest way to do this is just make the copper and tin dust in the crusher. And so that way it teaches it how to do this. And this gives us bron our bronze dust. And so we need the bronze dust recipe and we need this recipe. Smelter and then bronze dust recipe is this. And so now we do the smelting into the ingot. We do the bronze dust recipe. And then these two go in the crusher recipe over here. And so that'll make us the bronze stuff. Autocraft all the mod star. That'll be a good challenge. All right. So that can, that pretty much gets the lithium. We pretty much have everything else. We're going to need a bunch of thermal evaporation towers. Like I made four in my last run. So I'm going to need like a thousand of these and I'm going to need that is instantly made a thousand. We're going to need four of these controllers. One, two, three times four is 12. So we need 12 of these valves. And so I'm just going to go ahead and grab these out. I wonder what's taking so long for the valves. Interesting. And so we need four resistive heaters. Four. So there's those four. Should be instant. There it goes. And then we're going to need the thermal pipes. I'm going to go ahead and tell, uh, tell this to make the ultimate stuff. That's how you spell it. Ultimate. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to make like several of these stacks of these things. I don't really need, but a stack of the thermal ones, but we're going to need so many of these pipes. It's actually ridiculous, but I've laid no time in the bottle. I don't need a time in the bottle. I will eventually, but not right now. And so, or actually, no, I won't need it at all. So one, two, three, four. Okay. So this is where the building line comes in. And so I'm actually going to go up like this. Know what you're thinking. You got to do the thing earlier. Okay. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. And so now we're going to go to the bottom. We're going to replace this one right here with the controller. This one is going to be for my heater. It's going to go right in here. So this is going to get one of the valves. And so we need a way to import water in. So I'm just going to put the water block right here. I'm going to do a valve here as well. And this is where the eternal water blocks come in. I'm going to grab some of these out here. And so the eternal water blocks, you pop the sucker right on top of it and it gives it water. And so then I'm going to pipe this over here. And so one of the things that I'm going to do is instead of doing what I'm doing right here, we're going to grab my copy paste gadget. So I'm going to make sure that this is set to copy. I'm going to right click here and then I'm going to go all the way up to the top. And I'm going to place nothing because I fell. Uh, why did I put the torches there? Come on now. I'm going to go all the way up to the top here. And I'm going to place this. And then I'm going to shift click this. And this will copy this. And then we're going to go here. And then I'm going to go to paste. And then this is weird because it's copied. It copied from the back, right? Interesting. We need the eternal water block here. And so that'll give it, oh, well, no, no, we don't need the eternal water. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We'll just go backwards from here. Don't have enough blocks for this. Um, we need the thermal evaporation blocks. I think I have enough of this for this. I think that built all of it. Yep. Okay. So there's the four towers. Plus. And so we want to pipe these into the back here. So this will be, we're going to replace one of these with a valve. Actually, we're going to place this with a valve. So we're going to put the valve right here. Same thing here. 
And so that way the valve, oh God. this is just me being nitpicky. And so that way we can do those across. How's our ultimate pipes coming? So we need the, this one is liquid. So we need the mechanical pipes coming across here. So we're going to do mechanical straight across here. And so that will go in son of a, bitch. you know what? One of them is going to have to be off. Okay. And so we need the configurator to say, Hey, pump this out here. Configurator to say, Hey, pump this out here. And then, so in this one, speed run, by the way. Yep. Speed run, by the way. And so this one's, this one has no heat. So that's where the resistive heater comes in. So heater's going to come down right here and we're going to need a heater in front of this one, a heater in front of this one and a heater in front of this one. And so now we need those thermal pipes. One here, one here, one here. And we need two back here. So 2000 FE is the amount. So we have two points here. We're going to set this one to 4,000. It doesn't need to go any higher than that. We're going to set this to 2,000. And then I'm going to grab the configuration card because I think I can copy this. And this should do 2,000 a piece. We're going to do the ultimate pipes here. The energy pipes or whatever. And we're just going to run this this way. And then once we set this to the network, this should actually be set to 8,000. And so we connect these. This should get 2,000 FE per tick. This should be enough to pump these all the way up and get these hot enough. And so basically these are creating brine. The brine comes back here into this. We have the brine coming into lithium in the back. This is formed. It's just not getting the liquid, which is weird because this should be creating the liquid. That's the mechanical pipe. This one's creating water. Production is zero. Is this not pumping out 2,000? Power surge? Yeah, guys. All right, so we have liquid lithium in both of these now. This one's full. And so now that those are full, so liquid lithium gets turned into lithium by itself in the rotary condensator. So we need to go make, I think we need three rotary condensators. I could be wrong, but I'm just gonna go ahead and make three. It might just be one, it might be two. And this is where we're gonna need the gas pipes too. Uh, does the rotary condensator take gas upgrades? No. One, two, three. Oh, we're going to need some more. I'm just going to go ahead and tell it to make a ton. If I remember correctly, these suckers use a ton of power. The, uh, in the tower, the more fluids it could hold. I didn't know that. Did not know that. Okay, and so now these will all condense uh, trait, whatever. We're going to need two valves. One is going to go right here. One's going to go back here. These are your outputs. And so then this one, again, is a liquid. So we're going to do a, a mechanical pipe coming out the back of these. And so we want all of these to go down and across like this. And so this needs my configurator to pull. And so that will pull all the liquid lithium into here. And so this will turn it all into, once we set this up with power, we're going to do set this, set this, and set this. And now we need to give it power. And so this is what, man, I don't want to use points for this, but I, I don't think I have enough stuff for points. I hate that these take so long to break and the configurator just makes it annoying to try and fix it. How much power are these using when they're full? So this turns into lithium. And so this is one thing that I didn't do. We need dynamic tanks. I love dynamic tanks. Okay, so the reason why you do a dynamic tank for this one, I think we have everything with the valve. We don't have the recipe for the valve itself. Actually, I don't even think we have a recipe for the regular dynamic tank. 
So the reason why I do this is because lithium won't convert during the daytime. So we need these dynamic tanks. I'm just going to go ahead and make a couple of stacks of these. And then uh, we don't really even need, we don't even really need like 20 would be fine. Guitar time. What up is MIDI? Is that how you say your name? And so this should be fine right here. And so I just like to come over here and in this backside here in the center here, I just like to make a, a simple five by five um, dynamic tank that I'm going to use the same shape over and over with. And so you could use uh, glass here, but I'm not going to because screw that. And this is just going to store a ton of lithium. And this way I can also have lithium on like stack if I need it later, which I will need it later. That's, that's why I'm just stocking it up now. You need a ton of lithium to make a ton of lithium dust, which I'm going to also use and do. Okay. So we're just going to connect these across. I don't know if I have enough dynamic. Okay, I do. We're going to grab the infinity one. And then we're going to do a valve here. And we'll pump this out later, but we'll do a valve on the back side. Just going to enclose myself in there. Okay, so valve. And that should turn into an empty tank that stores a ton. And so this is where I need my ultimate gas cables for all of your crafting recipes. Why not just use a crafting block from reborn storage for all your cra a crafting block? I don't, isn't that the multi, like you have to do like a, like a multi block of it. All right. So these need to all be set to output on the front. So gases output. So the none. And then, so again, I'm going to use a configuration card here to pull. And so now that should all push this lithium in here. And so we have lithium going so we can split. And so next is up to the fissile fuel. This one sucks, actually. How you making fissile fuel? It's like one of the most non-fun ones. The multi-block thing? Yeah, I don't really like making those. Those are annoying. All right, so fissile fuel is kind of annoying because you have to go backwards. At least the way I do it is I go backwards to understand how to do this, okay? And so fissile fuel, so I hit A on this. And so to make it, we need the isotopic centrifuge. So let's just work one machine at a time. So I'm going to need to know how to make that. So there's that. I really, really hope that. Is this a basic chemical thing in the middle? It is. Okay. I really hope that we have enough lead for this because we need a ton of lead for the reactor. We have 34,000. I think that should be enough. If not, we can just make lead seeds. Okay. And so that's just to make the basic fissile fuel. So we have uranium hexafluoride. So that's into a chemical infuser. And then we have hydrofluoric acid and uranium oxide. Okay, so we're going to grab the recipe for the chemical infuser. And so now that we have that recipe, let's see how we make this. This is fluoride plus sulfuric acid. So let's grab the recipe for the chemical dissolution chamber. And then we, how do we make sulfuric acid? We need water vapor, which is a rotary condensator. That's easy. And then we need sulfur trioxide. This is in a chemical infuser as well. And so sulfur trioxide is just sulfur dioxide plus oxygen. And sulfur dioxide is a chemical oxidizer, which with sulfur inside of it. Okay, so so do we have a chemical? Do we have the chemical oxidizer? Yes, we have the recipe. So that means we need the chemical dissolution chamber, right? Which we've already got. All right, and so we've got all of that. So let's go back. So that just takes care of sulfuric acid, okay? And so. Sulfuric acid is not going to get us everything that we need. So that just takes care of the, um, that takes care of the hydrofluoric acid. So uranium oxide is a chemical oxidizer plus yellow cake uranium. So that's actually not bad. So we're going to do this. That's actually not too bad. And so let's look at this. We need uranium oxide. I need six of these. Can I, I need six of these chemical oxidizers. I want to say it's six for those. I need six plus 12, no matter what I do. So that is 18. If I can, why is my num bad off 18? So I need to go ahead and craft 18 of those. We're going to need like four, I think of these or five. I need to make the gas upgrades as well. I don't know how many of them I need. So I'm just going to do that. And so we're also going to need these network things too. So let's look at this. We're going to need the entangle borders. That's one of the things that I forgot that I absolutely need to make. Entangle border. 
God, these things are crazy to make because they need refined obsidian plus the teleportation cores. And so this will be a simple one. This will be a simple one. So these two go in here. But here's the problem. We need that of refined obsidian ingot. So refined obsidian, we don't really have to teach it how to make, but we can just make an osmium compressor real quick. Teach it how to make the osmium compressor. Throw this sucker in here. And then we can grab an osmium compressor. And this is just going to take os osmium plus refined obsidian dust. So we need refined obsidian dust. We're going to need four. Let's do eight of these. Um, There's all eight. Let's grab the osmium compressor. And some osmium out here. Stick it somewhere where it has power. Osmium. Refined obsidian. We're going to grab this. What kind of seed was this? Do we know? Do we remember tier four? So what is tier four? Tier four was Imperium. How much Imperium do we have? Not enough. So let's craft eight. And so now we can come over here and make the seed real quick. So Osmium plus this. No seeds in here. How's our seeds going up? This is fine. How's our stars? Are stars good? <sighs> I don't know if we're gonna get it in time, y'all. That's that's gotta that's gotta go. That's gotta go up. Ugh. Just gotta make me some more seeds at this point. I can speed this up too by putting another watering can down and this should be near instant. But I think it's actually more of lag than anything that's doing this. We're going to go give this a seed spot over here. Even though I just put the refined obsidian essence in the wrong spot. So the more seeds that we have, the better. So refined obsidian, we just need more seeds. That's pretty much where we're at. And placing the evaporators control at the top level is the still best bang for your buck. Is it? I think it doesn't really matter at this, like where I'm doing right now. And so this will teach me how to make refined obsidian. And so we can come over here and make a spot for refined obsidian. And then we can come over here and teach this how to make a refined obsidian out of the essence. And so now we should be able to do an entangle porter once I have enough. So if I do, I should, I need like four maybe to start with. We'll see how that goes. What other crafting things are still being processed? Oh, these are just can't need to be canceled. Wow, that cleared it all up. Maybe that's what it was. I know it didn't make the entangle porters that quickly. What? That's kind of crazy. How many C's do we have right now? Two. Okay. So as long as that's just making me some extra C. Actually, hold on a second. Nature seeds, nature seeds. Okay. So this should all be working fine. We don't actually need this to output nature seeds anymore. Because this is just making melons. We just have a bunch of melons for no reason at this point. And so now we know how to make the entangle porters. Now we can go start setting this stuff up over here. Do we have everything? Oh. All right, so now is the most important part of this. We're going to start going this way. Okay, so we're going to start setting this up. This is annoying. Okay, so to get to where we need to, first off, if we look at it, uranium oxide is chemical oxidizers. Okay, so this is where we need the network stuff. So we're going to grab out some network. We're going to need one of these a piece. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the network transmitter right dab in the middle of where this would go. Oh, sorry, not the transmitter. The receiver right dab in the middle where this is going to go. We're going to hit it with a network card and then we're going to come back over here to this and go up and then I'm going to hit it with the network card. And so then that gives us what we need. We need a couple of drawers here. So I'm going to go ahead and just tell it to make me 10 drawers because why not? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this one over here to the side. 
And so this is going to be the yellow cake uranium drawer. So this is going to get yellow cake uranium. We do need our configuration tool. And we do need our copper upgrades if we have them. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. We're going to put this in here and we're going to configure it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get an exporter here. Um, we're going to need both of these exporters. We're going to grab one here. And then I'm going to tell this to export yellow cake uranium. And so do we have any cables on me? I do. So we're going to do cables across here. And so this is going to be for pulling out into the chemical oxidizers. So that'll be there. And so that way it can stay full. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a total of, I think I said I was doing six for this one. So if we go chemical oxidizers, so we need six. Why do I have so much stuff in my inventory? I'll mail mouse click to sort this or not. When am I going to do this? So one, two, three, four, five, six. And so I'm going to go straight up with these. One, two. All right, and so this is going to get item pipes coming out of here. And the reason why I'm doing this is so I can evenly distribute these all out. And so this is going to get a pipe upgrade, which I didn't pull out yet. We're going to do that. What up, Patrick? How you doing? We do need these. So where's my configurator? Bam. Bam. And then we're going to set this to round robin. So then that should, we should be able to get all this. So we need to input from the back. And this doesn't make me any items. So that's fine. And then we want to output the gas on the front. And so now we can take the configurator tool or the configuration card or configuration card, sneak right click. And then we're going to right click each of these to give these each something to do. And then we're going to grab one of our points right here. And then I'm going to grab the ultimate, not the pressurized tubes, but the universal cables. And we're going to go up the side here. And this is going to be the power for this. So we're going to do this. It's going to pull a ton. We'll do bypass limit in case it needs it. And so these don't actually have the other things. What up, Fi? How you doing? We're going to need all the speed upgrades for this. I don't know why I typed it in like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Ah. Fi, how you doing? What up, Casey? Thank you for the follow. This is going to get a real annoying real quick. We got to go ahead and tell us to make a couple of more of these. Good, man. Everything's doing pretty good. I hope you're doing good. We're just kind of going at it. And so these should all have be filled with uranium oxide. So before I would turn this and pump this all into, um, this goes directly into uranium oxide, right? So uranium hexafluoride in a chemical infuser. So we're going to do a chemical infuser. I want to say that I do... Oh no, this is the one that I needed 12 for, I think. Yeah, I needed 12 for these. So we need more chemical oxidizers. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the one I needed 12 for. Three, four, five, six. Configuration card. Mech is so convoluted. It is absolutely. Okay, so these should all be working, and so these all need to be pumped out using a pressurized tube because it's all gas. And so I'm not going to chance messing this up with the 
building one because then that would not be good. And so these are all going to be pumped into a chemical infuser, which I only need chem one chemical infuser, believe it or not, for this to work out. And so this chemical infuser is going to go right here and this is going to uh, be pumped into power wise like this. And so these chemical infusers only take the speed upgrades and the energy upgrades. And so this will take in from the back. So gas is clear to make the uranium oxide. This goes into port number two to make uranium hexafluoride. So this is port number two. So we want to go side config. We want to input two on gases from the back. I don't know why I didn't do from the back. Screw it. It'll go right there. It's fine. Can you do pe or pellets for gummies? Di or di uh, dummies guide? I just need to go get my... Uh, we got the uranium oxide. I just need to go get the other thing for it um, going. So we need the sulfur dioxide, which is, again, chemical oxidizers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from here. I'm going to do the same thing, same setup here. We're going to do here, and then we're going to place this, like, right here. And then we're going to grab cables. We're going to go out like this. We're going to grab an exporter. We're going to grab this, and then we're going to do lock this sucker we're gonna grab sulfur dust go in here and then we're gonna go four copper upgrades one two three four and so we grab out one sulfur dust we tell it to export it and then bam it's exporting and then now sulfur dust goes into six chemical oxidizers so again it's gonna be fun so chemical oxidizers so one two three four five six okay so this is going to do the same thing we're going to go one two three four oh come on why why would you put that behind it it's not like i'm literally trying to put it on top of it you see me putting it on top of it so the same thing here we're going to do the power that's not, I, I need to put these thermal ones up because i'm gonna lose my mind if i don't Power's gonna go this way, and so I'll just need another point for this. Can I make another point? We're about to find out. What up, Connor? We need some more to use flux cores. Bam. Oh god, we ran out of eyes vendor. That's fine. So point. Bypass limit. Okay, and then all we need now is the upgrades. Yo, KC coming in with the uh, dude, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to need a lot more of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Enter. Yo, thank you for that fresh prime sub. Bro, I can't think half the time. I'm going to be honest with y'all. My brain is fizzling out. Thank you for that prime sub. Can we get some high for that? I don't know what mod does the air blocking thing, but it drives me crazy or crushes me all the time. Yeah, it's annoying. I think it's just because it's quirk is trying to work at the same time, but I also think this the just the stuff is messed up. Okay. So that now we need to configure this. We need to configure items to come in from the back. So we're gonna go input from the back. And that should automatically get the items once we pump this in. And so the gases we also need to do from the output on the side are from the front. And so now that this is configurated, we just do a sneak click. And then we gotta make sure we don't sneak for these. We just right click to put them. And then we grab item pipes. And then we want to make sure we grab our configurator here. We do this. We throw this in here. Round robin. And so that should fill all these up with what I need. And now we need the pressurized tubes all down the front. And so this turns into sulfur dioxide. So the next step is to turn this into sulfur trioxide and so trioxide is another chemical infuser so this is going to be easy we just need oxygen with it and so we need to make an electrolytic separator for this let that get made and so we just need to get another chemical infuser we're just going to need to get a couple of them out because i know i'm going to need them and so chemical infuser here we're going to throw this down right here and this is going to be chemical dioxide right so we got to go close off the items because they don't get items close this off and we need to do input one and that'll give us sulfur dioxide now we need oxygen 
And so I'm going to take and actually make the sink here. We're going to give it the eternal water block on top of it. We're going to run power here. And then we're going to start running power through the top. Or not. What up, Tez? How you doing? All right, so power is going to come in here. We want to make sure the hydrogen is set to dumping excess. And the oxygen is going to... We want to clear the sides, too. So gases, we're going to clear it. We want to set this to output 2, which is oxygen. And so now we can grab the pressurized tube here, throw this on the side here, and that should... Now we just tell this thing that we need the gases on the side here. And so we want to input two on this one. And then that will start working. Did we upgrade this yet? We did not. The final eight elements eight update. Is it out yet? I don't know if it was out yet or not. No? Okay, nine should be out, though. Okay, so that should be... We don't need hydrogen for this. This is going to produce the sulfur trioxide. And so the trioxide now makes sulfuric acid, which is... The, so basically, we need water being rotary condensated. So if we go rotary condensator, we're going to make one, because that's all it needs. And so rotary condensator. This can go directly into a chem chemical infuser, but I'm going to go ahead and use a pipe here. And so I'm going to do um, another chemical infuser here. And so the rotary condensator will go here with the eternal water block right on top of it. And so we need speed upgrades. We need two, one, two, and then upgrades. Does the condensators don't take gas upgrades, right? Okay. And so now all we got to do is tell this that turn it into water vapor. It needs power. So I'm going to run the power off the top side here. So we're going to make sure that this outputs the gases at the front. So that outputs here. And then this one needs to clear the gas config on here. We need to input one on the back and that'll give it the sulfur trioxide. And then we want to input two on the left. And so now we want to make this water vapor go here, which is actually a pressurized thing so we're going to go over here to gases and we want it to output on this side and so now this is creating sulfur or oxide or sorry this is creating could be sulfur trioxide or sulfuric acid and so then we need the chemical dissolution chambers so close do you have a time you want to be for the run 30 hours that's what i want to beat it okay so we're actually going to need two chemical dissolution chambers and i know for a fact that these needs gas upgrades so I'm actually going to place two of these. And so this is going to be sulfuric acid. What oh, is realized we're going to do pressurized tube down the middle and we're going to do ultimate pipe down the middle. And then now we need all the upgrades for this God, We're going through so many upgrades y'all. So one, two, one, two, one, two. And so this is going to input the sulfuric acid. One of the things too, is that we need to grab some cables and we need to export another set of items. We need um, fluorite here. And so we need that drawer and another exporter. Do I really need 64? I was like, oh bro. How to cre uh, concentrate uranium, fun times. I just work here, sorry. That's all I do, I just work here. And so now we're gonna pump in these two items down in the bottom. Where's my configurator? 
Again, we're going to make sure we set this to round robin. And so that'll pump the fluoride in here. And so we got to uh, tell it what to do. We want to input the items from the bottom here. And that'll give us the um, fluorite if we tell it to auto eject. Did it not connect? Am I tripping? We're supposed to be making hydrofluoric acid with this. So it should be fluorite. That should be set to round robin. It's just not connected for whatever reason. That's the oh, I'm a dumbass. You're right. This is the that's what it is. Okay, input on this, and then this will get the fluorite. We need to input the gas from the back, and then we're gonna output it in the front. And so now we're gonna grab the our figure Asian guard. We're gonna put it there, and so now these two should get everything they need as soon as we tell this. Hey, I want you to output the gas here and so now this is going to make me hydrofluoric acid and so hydrofluoric acid is what we need to mix with the uranium oxide we already have over here which is in this we just need to mix it and so this is what those um entangle porters were for so i'm going to need two of these suckers i could just run a pipe but that's going to be a problem so i'm going to put this here i'm going to clear this side so that way it doesn't get anything that i don't want it to i don't even want energy in this sucker and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pressurized tube. I'm going to run these out the front here. And then I want to tell this to be, what was this? What are we making here? Hydrofluoric acid. Hydro acid. And then click here. And then I want to input a gas on both of these sides. And now we should have hydrofluoric acid in here. And then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to place this down. I'm going to clear the configs and everything because I don't want nothing coming out of this unless I say it to. And then we're going to do gases. We're going to output auto. And then we're going to set this to hydrofluoric acid. And now it should take, we go over here, we do out input two on gases. So input two. And there we have uranium hexafluoride. Uranium hexafluoride into the isotopic centrifuge, which we're going to need two, by the way. Um... All right, that's why I made. Well, we're going to need more than two, but I'm just going to make two for now. And we're going to put this out here and out here. Oh, I don't like that. Because I got to be careful not to connect that. I think it should be fine. Okay. And so now this is the uranium hexafluoride. We're going to pump this out with a pressurized tube right from the front here. And so we're gonna make sure we set this to gases, um, output, and so that'll put it into this, which will make us the fissile fuel. This thing is weird for power. I don't know why. They only want to connect in a certain way. I have no idea why. They won't connect on the top sides here. It's really dumb. I think I still need that. I just don't need this one. And so that'll start making us our fissile fuel. These actually need um, speed upgrades themselves. So one, two. One, two. God, I'm so tired of doing the upgrades. And that'll make us fissile fuel. And then we're going to pump these out again with a pressurized tube. He's automatically... Oh, no. We're going to make sure that that doesn't happen by doing this. And so that should put the fissile fuel in here. And then we're going to get our copy-paste gadget. We're going to grab out a dynamic tank. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to copy this sucker. So we're going to go copy. We're going to find our lithium here. So we're going to right click or we're going to have to back up and then right click and then we're going to come up here and then shift right click. And so now we can paste this sucker. Right there. Where's my undo, undo button? Right there. And so now we can run this over into here and this is our fissile fuel, right? 
What is, why is this not, oh, it's because it's not built. What did I run out of? Did I run out of, did I not have enough? Oh, no. That's why. Because it's not, it can't connect when it's not done. It tried. I was like, what is going on? Why aren't you working? All right, if all goes well, this should start for storing fissile fuel and these should all be working at max capacity. So this is turning into 512. That's like one of the biggest things is this is 512, which I'm going to be running a burn time of 500. And so as long as these stay full, these are, this is 512. You see how it's constantly pushing this in here. I don't think there's an input. I don't think it shows you how much you're getting, but we're going to need a lot. So this is, should be keeping up with everything. All the thing that matters now is if I can keep up with the sheer amount of input that I have here, which I think we're pretty good. And so that's all there was for fissile fuel. So we're going to split. And next up is the fission reactor, which is a lot. Oh, okay. So I'm going to need a lot of this stuff. So let's resume. We need to get some reactor glass too. I don't know if I made the reactor glass or not. Reactor glass. Oh my God. Oh, this actually needs the enriched iron. Oh, that hurts. Cause we actually need this. Oof. Okay. And so that means we need the carbon enriched carbon. Oh, that kind of hurts. All right. And so let's come over here to an enrichment chamber. Let's do an enriched. So carbon, let's go ahead and make a lot of those. Let's grab a regulator and a crafting upgrade. And so one of these is empty. One of these isn't doing anything. That one, I, I calculated this. It was all calculated. So crafting upgrade, regulator upgrade. And then we're going to put the, this in here. Said this. And this one should get all the infused carbon that it needs. And so now it needs the re uh, recipe for enriched. <sighs> Oh, this is gonna suck because I need to get how much reactor glass do I need for this one? I have notes for this. I need 1275 for this. I don't know if I'll be able to do this 1275. Do I have enough of this? Oh my God. I have enough of this. Does the back command not work in nine? No, it doesn't. Full cool army then. I'm just going to just get hit. Oof. I wonder what's the limiting factor on this. Did I get all the glass already done? Oh God, it's just gonna, it's gonna just need so many. See, that's already telling it to push everything in here. So let's just grab my wand of make everything go faster. And let's just make everything go faster. Zephyr, we need some carbon. Hello? Is it done? It ain't done. Oh, God. I just realized something. That doesn't have a spot. Do I have enough room for this? Is it, is it, what's going on here? Processing, scheduled. Oh, God. We need the enriched. We need to tell this to make a bunch of this stuff. I need a Neanderthal config. Some man friends. Oof. You could, uh, it's on the, it's in the quest description. If you wanted to do that, the quests, uh, tell you the starter quest, tell you exactly where they're at. How are we doing coal? Let me just tell it to export coal too. I know it ain't done. Oh, it's done. Cool. I like that. Well, we're done with reactor glass. That's good. And so now we need a lot of things. So we need 456 casings for this. So we need 400 and so let's just do 460. Oh, we're going to need more than that, actually, because we need to make all the other things first. So we need control rods. We need 128 of these. 
we need 1920 fuel oh we need 1920 of these oh god i knew we were going to be out of osmium for this had i know i knew we're going to need some osmium seeds how much osmium do we have uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. What is it that Osmium needs? What kind of seeds can you make out of this? What is my seed to this? This is Imperium. We need 16 of these. All else fails, just make a seed. Did I make a seed over here and not put it up? Okay. And generating new chunks, that works. Oh, that is kind of pretty when that all comes up like that. I wonder what's going on over here. That's kind of just frozen. Let's see, forge TPS. Spark TPS. Interesting. So I wonder why this is not instant. The watering can should be instant. Interesting. Okay, we're going to eventually be SOL out of this once we... Ooh, there's my seeds. I'm going to be SOL if I don't, like, actually get this right. As long as I get some Osmi seeds and stuff out of here. So this is where we would do... We come over here to the crafter or whatever that we have. And do Osmium. Actually, I wonder if we just teach it the osmium recipe. So, osmium. We should be able to teach the osmium essence recipe. And then that should just work. We just need a lot more. So, we got to get the osmium seeds. We got to make a ton of seeds first. We don't really need inferium anymore, to be honest with you. Mm-mm-mm. I don't think we need any more Inferium, to be real. I need to stop messing with these over here. So now we just need any seeds that we get that comes in here. We'll just go down here because this is our instant craft stuff. Should be ha have plenty of extra seeds now. Bro, okay, we're just not going to get any more extra seeds. That's cool. I wonder if we just get some watering cans. Let me make us a premium watering can. Missing Inferium. Inferium. We'd have to turn off the Inferium over here. The Inferium importing here. So we'd have to do like this. And then I would do watering can. Let's make us a premium watering can. And just so I can... I just, I'm just literally doing this. So I can make this faster by hand. So I can just shift click and that'll turn it on. Wonder what our TPS is now. Still 20. Interesting. I think we actually need some of these. I feel like uranium shouldn't be one of the ones that I take away. Day 41. Is that what that said? Day 42. It actually probably said day 41. And so here's my thing. Let's go look at this. Let's do not control you. Control G and let's go back to this. We needed what 1920 fission fuel assemblies. Can I make 1920 now? I need 11,264 more essence. And it's because we didn't run the 
thing over here. We didn't run this over here enough. Like this, it should be done. Did we ever get the experience module out of this thing? What was it, this way? No. Cool. That's a lot of essence. It is a lot of essence. And so we should be able to go down there and get all our alimodium too. And so now we need to do something different. We need to do something y'all probably never thought of. Because I didn't for a while. We actually need to put this stuff up. What is in here that I don't need? All the modium side? Ooh, osmium. Oh, laws. What if we needed the osmium side at the end? That'd be hilarious. And so now we need to go and get out our nature, our structure compass. And we actually got to go back to the overworld and we got to go find something while all this is going. Make sure all this is all chunk loaded. Where the hell is our. Okay, there it is. So we got to find something here. Actually, we need to go back and grab some emeralds first. Now we need to go find something. We need to go find not the Eve Dark Templars. What up, Psycho? How you doing? Or is it can I just say Seiko? Is it supposed to be Seiko? Um we need to find the blue skies house, keeper house. So it's gonna be one of these things. So it's gonna be either the mountain. Not the mountain. See, so plains. And that one's 1300. Okay. I will be right back while we're generating all these resources right now. We got to run out and we got to find us a gatekeeper house and trade to get into the Everdawn or Everbright. So that's where we're going right now. So we got to go a thousand blocks this way. Never seen that, dude. It's so awesome. Some dev work at its finest. I can go to Emerald if I wanted to. Try this next time. Well, it'll tell you before you even generate. Ooh, mushroom place. I don't know if there's mushroom there, but don't worry. I have a great. Oh, hey! Let's just hope that this is the exact one that I need. Oh, do you have anything here? Ooh, you got a moonlight shard. <laughs> What up, dude? What you got for me? Thank you, sir. Oh my god, we got a tyrannical gem. That's actually one of the things we needed. That's really good. Ah, oh, this is not it. This is lunar. That's nighttime. That's not good. Let's go see if we can find another one. So gatekeeper house. Snowy. Is there a snowy one nearby? 752 blocks this way. Cool. That humor is very good. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, uh, okay. I was like, what are you talking about? What humor? Because I was going to beat that dude up. Is that the gatekeeper's house? We Please be ever bright. What you got in here? We needed some more food, didn't we? Can y'all hear the boy upstairs? Can y'all hear Toby? Toby's having a rough time. He just woke up a little bit ago. What up, bro? Nah, not really. Not really. Not really as in yes. Not really as in you can't hear him at all. Is this? Is this? Does this one not have a portal? This one just don't have a portal at all. I can hear him. Okay. Always worry about that. Does this one not have a portal at all, or am I tripping? Got a moonstone. Unless I don't know what I'm doing here. I guess this one. Oh, hold up. Ah! 
It's on the roof. Well, I ain't got nothing right now. Now we gotta go find a different one. Can I loot this? Nothing here. Time to find another one 5,000 blocks away. Correct. Let's do mountain, see if there's still one. Where's this one at? 5,100 blocks. God, you weren't kidding at 5,000 blocks. I don't know if I'm flying the right way or not. But I'm going to fly out this way. And then I'm going to stop. And then I'm going to try this again. See if there's another planes one this way. 1,500 blocks that way. Did we just find that one over there? I think we just found that one over there. So we're going to fly out here and see if we can find one. God, this is going to suck, man. We need to switch to an Emerald jetpack so we fly faster. That one might be better. 2,900 blocks this way. Jetpack. We're at what? Plat? We're at, we need the emerald one. Do, oh, no, we have the emerald one. What's the next upgrade? Creative? All the modium. We have all the modium? How much all the modium do we have? Hello? We're out of all the modium. Can we upgrade to this? How fast is the all the modium one? Vertical speed, uh, horizontal speed is 0.21. Vertical speed is 1. All the modium speed is just like a tiny bit faster. Yeah, no, I, I don't care about that. Slashback. Marry that girl. Dude, I love this song. I just hope it ain't too far from here. Why you gotta be so rude? I'm gonna hate going back through this, uh, this like whole entire thing and be like, why am I saying these things? All right, so I should be be able to look in here and do a different one and see if there's anything closer. 2,600 blocks that away. And what about mountain? Are we still too far from the mountain? 4,400 blocks. Bro, why? Why do these gatekeepers live so... What if we did RTP? Why am I not thinking about RTP? Easy. There are not the Alamod Inferno... There is. You have to You have to hit U on the netherite recipe to find it. It's just... That's all... That's the problem. See if it'll find me one closer. Do we have a waystone to actually place? Now that I think about it. Nine hundred. Let's hope that's enough. We should find a, a villager, our village, and see if that'll be enough. Because we need a village to get a waystone. We could just make one, I guess. Beep. Am I not moving? Or am I tripping? I'm never gonna find a mountain house. I ain't gonna find nothing. Is it not wanting me to move here? Oh God! What's happening? We please be ever bright. <coughs> yes. Problem is, is I need a portal. So I need a waste. Note, so we got to make one. 50,000 chunks is never enough. It was not enough. Okay. So now we need a waste stone. We're going to need to make this from scratch. Easy peasy. My dog needs to be in. All right. So now we can go slash back as soon as I resume the timer. All right. And so now we're just going to light the portal, walk in, wait for it to go wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. <laughs> then we crash the game. Red leader, thank you for the prime sub. Bro, thank you for that fresh prime. I appreciate that. What up, my dude? 
Thank you, thank you. Okay, so we're here. We're gonna grab out my building gadget. Can go up, we're gonna grab out some danks. Uh, what do we have? Where's, how much deep, cobble deep slate? We actually don't have that much cobble deep slate. Kind of interesting. And then, so I'm just gonna put this copy paste gadget up too. And so I'm gonna place this here. You know, we're gonna go build me. Just to get over all of this, and then we're going to do horizontal wall. So now that we have this, we can go back to the house. Can y'all hear Toby? Toby's crying. My boy crying. Okay. We're going to put this up. We got a good gym, though. That's good. I don't even know where my gym bag is anymore. Okay. And then let's check this out see if we can make this now. We need to make the fissile fuel. Fissile fuel. These right here. We needed to make 1,920 of them. Still missing 1,800. So how's our osmium seeds looking? 47. Cool. Okay. Interestingly enough, do we have any raw osmium? No, it's smelting it. So we need to just do fissile. This is only going to craft enough for the, like that should have enough here soon. It's only going to have enough for that. You missed spot? Did I miss the spot? I did. All right, that's going to craft all 1900. God, it crafted all of them. And so I need four ports. Uh, I think I need five ports, right? Is it five? It's five ports. Well, six. So we need four of these, eight of these. And then we need a total of, I think it was like 420 something. Let me see what my notes say. We need a grand total of 456 casings, but we need the control rod assemblies. So control rod assemblies, we need 128. We have those. Uh, and then 456 of the casings. I don't know if we're going to have enough to make this. 456. Oh my God, how beautiful. I need to get rid of these recipes because I don't need them anymore. What up, Mike? How you doing, Z Mike? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? God, we have so much stuff. Do we get all the reactor casings? So we got out here's the reactor casings. So we're gonna pull all of these out. I'm actually gonna put them in my dank because your dank can actually work off of them. So I'm just gonna grab all of these and put them all in my dank. And uh, Fissile, so we're going to need all of these. I think if I click it, it'll go into my dank. No. <sighs> and now we need the reactor glass. Same scenario. Basically, just an entire inventory full. And so now we just need one of each out so we can uh, use them. So reactor casings. And so we should have enough osmium going, so we should be able to do slash back and it take me to where I need to go. One thing is that I just, oh, hold on a second. No, it didn't. But I just realized it doesn't matter because we need to actually make the upgrade. So I need to make the upgrade for 
um, the range thing. So I need the I need the wireless receiver or transmitter. So I need to make one of these, not the advanced one. And I need to get the recipe for this. I need to get the recipe for the um, dimension card. So we need to do infinity range booster. And we need to get the dimension card. And so the thing is about the these two is that they're annoying. Because for the infinity, infinity range booster, we need to unobtainium. Guess what we haven't done yet? Unobtainium. Um, and we also need endearium plates, which is actually not too hard. Because we just make the endearium dust. And so if we don't, we just need lead dust, platinum dust, and then... Ender dust. Can I put that in a crusher? No, but I can just get the recipes for those pretty simple. So I just, I don't even need the recipe for that, but we need the platinum dust one. So we're going to throw that in a crusher. We need the lead dust one. So we're going to throw that in a crusher. And then enderium dust. We don't have to throw this in a crusher. Can I not make ender dust like that? Am I tripping? Uh, it could just be two ender pearls, actually. It just needs diamond dust. I wanna know. Oh, we did learn the diamond dust one. Cool. So now, did we make the diamond dust recipe? Am I almost out of diamonds? Okay, so now we should actually be able to just straight out make the Enderium dust, right? Missing 20 Ender dust. And I just need to reset the recipe then. The Ender pearls. Okay. And now we just smelt all this down. And then we grab the enderium out. And we turn it into plates. I think I need more than 10 plates, right? Let me look. It's two per thing and I need four, so I need eight. Okay, so now I'm good. Cool. So do we have, how much unobtainium do we need? Because we need four. Uh, I didn't put any in here yet. So we need four. That'll give me eight. And now I should be able to make the dimension card. Missing one eye of Ender. Do I not have this thing tell, being told how to make an eye of Ender? I don't want to know. I don't know if it knows how to make blaze powders or not, so... Let's do it. Dimension card. Doesn't the quest for infinite rain thing give you another one for free? I don't think so. Missing 12 range upgrades. I don't have the inf I don't have the thing for the range upgrades. Range upgrade. How do I that's how you spell range. Range upgrade. How do I not have the range upgrade thing? Where the hell okay there it is. Do 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 do. Bam. And so now we have to replace this. Oh God, what did I just do? Oh, there's the crafting grid. I was like, what happened? And then now we need the wireless. Did I not pick that up already? Did I not make one of these? Oh well. Okay, so I should have infinite range on this. I don't do I need one of each? I don't know if I need one of each or not. I thought that it came with both. But I'm just gonna put both in here just in case. Ah, it can't use both. Because it's gonna use too much imp power. It should work. The other one's a dimension, so it yeah, it's a dimension card. So that should work. That that's fine. And now we need to go back. 
So wherever our waystone is, bam, we're going to go back to Everbright. And so this is where we build our stuff. So I'm actually going to hit F3G to do my chunk borders. And so this is going to kind of show me where my chunk borders are at. And so let me grab this. I'm going to extend this out as well so that I can build this all night in the middle of a chunk. That max reactor is a 17 by 17 by 18, right? 17 tall or 17 by 17 by 18. Is that right? If I remember correctly, let's pause. All right. So resume. So now we can build this out. Okay. So we're going to build this wherever I can get a full chunk here. So, so, you know, chunks are actually 16. So this is 16 all the way across 16, 17, 18. And so we're going to go all the way over here. So this is 16. 17, 18. And so I'm going to go just like this. And then we're going to double check. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to do build me. I don't remember if I put glass in the bottom or not. Okay. I need to make a measure tape. Do, 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 I need two of these. And then gray wool. Because <sighs> we need to make sure this is 18. So, bam. That's 18. That's 18. Okay, so now it needs to go 18 tall. And so I'm going to go like this. I'm going to do this. We're going to do vertical column. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my measuring tool. I'm going to click here and I'm going to go all the way up and see that this is 16. So it needs two more blocks. One, two. And then so from here, I can switch this to build me. And if I stand on top of this, I can click these corners. And so now it should be 18 by 18 by 18. I think it's 18 by 18 by 18. So bam. All right. And so now we just need the glass to go over the top and stuff. And so the glass to go on the sides too. So we're going to grab the glass out. So cool trick with this. You can actually put the glass right in the middle here. That should, is this the middle? Should be the middle right here. We'll be able to put this middle down right here and then we should be able to click this and then we could do vertical wall and then it'll do everything but one. So bam, bam, bam. And so that should go tall enough too, that I can now do build to me and go here. I can turn this chunk stuff off. I don't need that anymore. Make sure we close all this off. We can also get the wand for this. I hope I have enough reactor glass for this. That'd suck if I don't. So that clutch, okay, that got it all. Okay, now here's the part that actually sucks. These official fission fuel, whatever. Okay. Cause like you have to place this in a really weird way. So basically you have to do every other one here. And so there is a way to do this to where it's like much easier to place, but it's really annoying. And so I'm just doing it like this along the edges. So that way I know not to go outside of the edges cause it will build outside of the edges when you're using a building gadget or whatever. And so now that that's done, I can take my building gadget, select it, and then switch this to grid. And then I could turn this back to, if we do one, it's going to look like this. And so now we just go to where the next section would be. So it'll be like right there. And so we're just going to build this out like this. This is just really the annoying part of things. Cause the thing is you got to make sure that they don't touch cause that if they do touch, 
is a problem. And it doesn't work if it doesn't touch or if it touches. And so like if I build there, it'll build outside. And that's annoying. And we're just going to do this checkerboard pattern all the way down. Making sure that there's none on the outside here before I start using the building one to go up. And then now we're going to use the building one and we're just going to go straight up. So we have to go all the way up as far as we can here. What music is this? This is Pentakill by, or is Deathfire Grass by Pentakill. And so we're going to go up until we get really close to that top one here. See, that didn't follow up. And so this, we have one more row of blocks. And so this is going to be where the control rods go. So I'm going to grab that out. Do we have more than we, okay, there's the control rods. And so let me show you a trick. If you put this in your offhand and then right click it here, it'll place all of them down for you. Because the building one, if you have something in your offhand, it'll automatically place everything, which is pretty cool. And so we'll go ahead and go here and um, we'll just struggle because that's what we do. You build me, and we'll just complete the reactor. Oh, are we at a reactor glass? Reactor glass. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it, but what up, Zorg Zorgora? Do I not? Am I out of reactor glass or am I tripping? Did I make enough reactor glass? All right, that completes it. And so wherever our waystone is, which is right here, and we're going to plan this out here. So like I said, we needed these ports. So we need one. It doesn't work well here, my ass. This is why we use the configuration tool. So we're going to do rent. So we're going to do one. And this is going to be a port for water. So we can, it's set to input. So this is why we have a internal water block. Bam, that's done. Then we need one import for fissile fuel. So we're going to configure this to wrench, right click. And this is going to be a, part, a port for fuel. And so this is where we're going to use one of those entangle porters. I have to go get it from somewhere else, but the entangle porter will do it for right now. And so this one's going to be set to, um, we're going to set this one to fissile. And then we're going to clear all the sides here. And we're going to go output at the top here. And so I'm just going to make sure that this is set to auto eject. And that works. And so whenever this gets fissile fuel, it'll go in here. I just need to grab the um, tubes, pressurized tubes. So bam, and then that'll go in there. And so the that last thing is actually we need is a trash can because we need some way to get rid of um, a lot of this stuff. So there's item trash can, fluid trash can we need a bucket for. I don't know if the steam is considered a bucket or not, or a, a liquid or not. So I'm going to switch this over into the ultimate trash cam. And so we're going to need another port, but this time I'm going to go out a couple, pop this off, and then I'm going to switch this over into a reactor port. And then we're going to use our configurator here to switch this to output, output coolant. And so I don't want the coolant. So what I'm going to do is we actually need a lot of stuff here. So we're going to place this like this. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Set this to wrench, that'll pop it off. And so we're just gonna give it a bunch of pressurized tubes here. So that way it keeps all of the stuff out of it. And then we're gonna pump it all into this ultimate trash can at the top. And so that way it'll just pump out all the steam that we were producing. And so now it has a way to get fuel in, it has a way to do the coolant, it has a way to do the waste tank, or sorry, the heated cool tank. And then it has a way to, um, we have to set up a way for the waste to come out. And so the waste is going to be coming out a certain way. And so we need actually a couple things here. And so first we're going to look up is nuclear waste. And so this is what we're going to be translating things into. So I'm going to hit A here because we're going to need an isotopic centrifuge and a solar neutron activator. So because of this, I'm going to go ahead and head home. 
And so that way we can make the other things. Liquid trash can trashes both gas and liquid. Uh, and liquid, I did not know that. So that works for the next time. All right. And so let's check on the lithium because that's what we've got to work on next. This is our fissile fuel. Let's make sure that this is working at max speeds. It's bouncing between 200 and 256. Is it run out of sulfur at this point? Nope. Is it all chunk loaded? Yep. It's not making enough hydrofluoric acid, which is over here. Do I need a third one here? I think I need a third one of these dissolution chambers. Let's just go ahead and do that just so I can have the safety of it. And then let's go upgrade because these things take one energy, one speed and one gas. And so we'll just break this and we'll do ultimate and then we'll grab some energy pipes out and place here, here, here. And then we'll do, what is this? This pumps it in. So that'll give it power. And so this will pump it in. We need the sulfuric acid to come in here too. And so that's coming off the, Ooh, hmm. how are we going to get the sulfuric acid up there? How are we going to get the pipes up here? So technically speaking, this one doesn't have to actually be there. It has to be right here. Okay. And so this pipe is where it's coming from. So we could just go up with this one. And so this is getting power. It's getting input. And so now it just needs to be upgraded and it needs to be outputting. Okay. And so now we need to tell it how to output the gases. So we want to output the front. And so this one is taking the fissile or the fuel. So we want to make sure this is input here. And so then we just grab one of these pressurized tubes, push it out the front. And so this should now output everything. And then that should theoretically stabilize these because these are only going to generate 256 for now. Yeah, the hydrofluoric acid is now, so it's now making 512. And so that's all set up. So we also need to come over here and do the same thing. We need to set up the fissile fuel going out. So we're going to grab a pressurized tube here and we're going to, well, that didn't need to be needed. We're going to grab one of those, um, entangle porters here. We're going to throw this down. We're going to make sure it's all, all the sides are set off except for here. We're going to input from here and then we're going to set this to fissile. And so this will just get fissile fuel from here. And so it'll, it should output into here when it needs it. I think I actually need to configure this to output. So I'm going to configure this. And then that should work. And so we should get some fissile fuel in here. So we did. Cool. And that's outputting everything into a buffer. So next up, we got to turn our ethylene that we were creating over here, which is going into gas burning generators, which we don't want anymore. We got to configure or convert these. So what we're going to do is we should throw those in the garbage can, but I'm going to throw these in this backpack for now. Um, because we don't need them. I need the chemical infuser. So what we're going to do here is this is producing ethylene. So we need a rotary condensator. What up, Fifi? This rotary condensator should turn this into um, liquid ethylene, which is usually what I mess up on. So if we throw this down. Here's the ethylene here. We're going to return it into liquid ethylene, which is, it's doing. We just need some kind of power here. So I think I'm using flux ducts for this. Right? Can I just get a point out? I just, I'm just going to get a point out. Uh, I just want to. All right, and so that should give us some power. Now we need some upgrades. So this only needs speed and energy, and that'll convert it into liquid ethylene. This is, should still be. Oh, are we out of? Oh, we're out of melons. Should be able to just grab the melons from here.
should have no problems with melons for a while. Is this full? Oh my god, it's full. Yeah, there should be no problems with melons for a while. And this is going to produce all of that. This is going to produce basic ethylene here, and this is going to pump the ethylene out in here, and that gives us liquid ethylene. And so liquid ethylene gives us... We pump it into a pressurized reaction chamber, which I don't know if I have the recipe or not. Let's go ahead and grab the recipe, because I don't think I do. We all should have all the recipes for those. That thing was looking like we didn't have power. Pressurized. We're going to need these anyway, so we're going to need one for this purpose. And so this is going to pump into... Um, this is going to be broken, and this will pump it here. And so we want the liquid ethylene in here. And liquid ethylene also needs some oxygen. And so this should be pumping out this, this separator right here doesn't actually pump out oxygen. So we're going to actually pump out the oxygen now. So I'm going to go up with it. So that way I'm not messing anything up over here. This is so pretty, y'all. And so now we just connect this to where we do output two on the top. So that should get... input oh there's hydrogen in here that's why I should put oxygen in there. Sometimes you got to be careful because they'll just output whatever. Oh, that's not what I mean. Either. I like keeping this on wrench because it's nice to have for the pop off function. All right. So that should put an hydrogen in here. Now we just need an item to be pumped into the back here. So we're going to grab item pipes and this is what this is going to go for. And so then that goes into here. We're just going to need to configure this without the wrench. We're going to need to put the ultimate pipe grade upgrade in here. And so what this will do is this will make it where the items from here goods pumped into here. As long as we tell it that we want to input on the back side here. And so there's that. Now it just needs some power, which at this point, let's grab from the front. Do I want to grab it from the front? Yeah. Oh, no, listen to me. So now we just need, does this take gas upgrades? Nope. We need some speed upgrades and some energy upgrades. I don't think any of this stuff is actually over here upgraded, so that's kind of rough. And then we're going to do an importer to our system right here. And so now we need to just connect it to the nearest system, which is right there. And so as long as this is set to output the items on the right side, which it is, even though it should be auto eject on for the items, we should be getting pellets. And so from here, we should be able to make the um, solar neutron activators. So the thing about the solar neutron activators is we should have the recipe for these. Is that we're going to need like three of these. So we should know how to make everything with our pellets. Do, 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 do. We need some of these for the lithium and we need some of these for our reactor. And so we need to make lithium dust. And so we were doing that over here, making this is currently making lithium. And so we want to make lithium dust. And lithium dust is made off of in um, chemical oxidizer. Oh, wait, never mind. I could just do a, chem a chemical crystallizer for this. That's what we want to do. We need a chemical crystallizer. Do I have the chemical crystallizer recipe? No. So we got to do this. I'm going to need this lithium to make the DT fuel. That's what I'm using the uh, solar neutron activators for. 
All right, so let's go chemical crystallizer. Should know how to make all of those recipes. So bam, chemical crystal, crystallize, crist, where is my Y? Okay, we're gonna do like 10 of these because I'm gonna need these later. Okay, we're gonna need upgrades. I don't know if it needs a gas upgrade or not, but we do need to make a bunch more of these. What do we have right now? Eight speed upgrades. And so this is going to come out into this sucker right here. Does this take gas upgrades? No. Is this fissile fuel? No. I was like, did I mess up? Okay. And so now we just got to pump this out. And so this is lithium. So this takes this. And so now this should turn all of this into lithium. And I don't think we have a way to transport this back into it. Where's my nearest thing over there? So let's just do an ender chest. I think I have an ender chest exactly for this, but it's not blue. Where's my... Let's grab out a bone meal piece and turn it into white dye. And then use this to... Let's just do blue dye. We need to also make a spot for this before I start shoving this into my system. So we need to put this in the wall. And so now that it's over here, now I should be able to take an item pipe. Pump this all out. And so now we want to make sure we do a pipe upgrade here. Advance should be enough. And so it needs to be set to output on the front and then auto configure it. And this is not set to blue. Which, if it was set to red, we'd have to get the lithium dust out of there, but it's not that big of a deal. Because lithium dust is needed in a couple of things. We're only making one lithium dust at a time. And so this is... Crystallizer. I don't know that we need a lot of lithium dust at a time. I know that we're going to need it eventually. So I might as well use it now. So pull. I'm going to middle mouse click this so I can just go ahead and grab it. And so that'll just go ahead and take and put it on there. And so the same thing here, we're going to grab these out. And so we need to make sure that we get the diamond or the advanced pop our upgrades here so these three should be pumping out the uh, lithium into dust and so we should be getting a lot more dust we just need to do speed we need two of these and then energy and that should take all of those and we should be making some more lithium dust so lithium dust, we need a good bit of this because this is actually going to make us power. And so at this point, we could probably get the reactor start going. So let's pause this. So next up, we need to set up the reactor to get out everything that it needs to get out. So I think we only need one PRC for each of these, I want to say. So let's just resume and let's go. Um, we're going to head back to Everbright and then we're going to, we're going to set one of these to an output. We're going to set this to wrench. And I'm going to do it right here. I'm going to output. I'm going to do a port here. Oh, yeah, we didn't even set up the fail saves yet. Okay, so this is going to output uh, waste. And so we need fail saves. So I'm actually pretty sure we have a lot of brass, but we're actually going to do redstone links for this. I don't know what you're thinking. Why? Because, bro, I'm kind of afraid. Okay. Do I not have brass? Um, oak. I'm kind of afraid. I'm going to be real with y'all. 
I'm going to show you all why here in a second. I always hate doing this and it not turning out right. But the biggest thing is that those other things kind of bugged out a little and I don't want to bug out while making these. This is going to be X. Am I tripping or is it just doesn't want to do it all? Okay. And so we'll just go ahead and make like all of these. So I only need eight. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and set this to wrench. And so we're going to do one, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. Again, so how I'm going to set this up is I'm going to take these ports, these react logic adapters. I'm going to place these inside of this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set each of these to a very specific setting. So that way the reactor turns off before it explodes. And so for this one, we're going to, all of these need to be set to activation. All of them. Every single one of them. And so these down here all need to be set to the specific thing. So like high temperature, uh, excess waste, damage critical, or insufficient fuel. And so now all I got to do is set these um, things up. So we're going to do a redstone link on each of these. So these are going to be the transmitters, and these are going to be the receivers. And so each of these have to get, I don't know if I can use the configurator wrench for this. Okay, the answer is yes, but it doesn't work like I want it to. So we're going to get our create wrench. And these are going to be receiving. And so the thing is, is I want to make sure that these are all set to a different um, thing first. So this is cobblestone that I grabbed twice. So we're going to do cobblestone to cobblestone. Tough to tough. We're going to, these, all of these needs to be a different signal. So that way it doesn't like overlap. So diorite and granite. Um, diorite and granite. I actually don't need a wrench for that. Oh, do you not? Cool. Didn't know that. We have a problem. My disc is full, and I don't know why. Why is this full? So here's the way you can test to see if it's full. If we turn this off, we can look inside and see nether stars. No. Why is this full? Osmium. Osmium doesn't have a place over here. And so now... I can just turn this back on and then I can do an exporter and attach it to the front of this face. And throw an Osmium here. And then that should actually make a spot for it, right? Something is ticking up, but I don't know what it is. Ah, the pellets don't have a spot. But the pellets do have a spot. They're right there. Oh, God, the pellets don't have a spot. And that should free up all the space. There we go. There we go. And so that should free that space up. But now I'm going to make sure that I, I want to make a disc that doesn't have this problem. So we'll just do 64K disc. And so we'll grab the recipes for all of this. Screw it. We'll just grab the recipe for this. Then we get this okay, we have the storage housing. Then we need this part. Ho, oh, home on the range. And so now we're going to throw these all in here and we get, there isn't enough energy storage missing. Oh, did we not teach it how to make the housing? Should be almost instant to be honest with you. So anytime we need more storage, we can just make one of those. And so I don't know why this is. I know why. Where's my wireless transmitter? This should have power surge on it. It should almost always have it. 
But I don't know what's going on. Where's my grid at? Why is my grid not in my inventory? Okay, anyway, that works. And so let's do slash back. Does that take me to the... Yes. All right, so the reason why I do this is because now... I wonder if this is this is disabled. Fuel's in here. Heated cool tank, all that stuff. And so these things are all set to their own thing. So if there's insufficient fuel, it'll kick on. If there's too high of a temperature, damage, whatever, it'll all kick these on. And so none of these are actually set to receive up at the top, which is not good. And so we're going to reset these receive. And so now it won't kick on. It won't do anything until the has that. Good night before raid tonight. Good night, buddy. And so now we just pop, I pipe out the uh, stuff. So we need a bunch of pressurized. And so fun fact. The pressurized tubes actually hold more than the um, radioactive waste. Oh, I just realized we don't even have our outfit. We need an outfit for this, bro. We don't even have a, a... We're not even ready for this. We don't have a hazmat suit. We don't have any of this. So lazy that I'm literally just making it all via di or auto crafting. And so we have to has the have the hazmat suit. Missing one black dot. Did I not just teach it? Oh. What? We got to have the hazmat suit so that way we don't literally take our health down. So now we just can't fight anything. Hazmat suit's on. We need to slash back here. And so we should be able to put this up. Put this up. And the reactor glass up. Cool. Okay, so now we should be able to pop this, uh, pipe this out. And so the first thing we need to do is to check to see where they need to pipe into. So nuclear waste goes into one, an isotopic centrifuge. Isotopic. And that gives you plutonium. So we need one of those isotopic centrifuges. I don't know if I have any made, but we're just going to need one for now. And so one should be enough to output everything that we need. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pipe this out. I'm going to go down. These are pressurized tubes. And so these things store a ton. And then we'll split this off right here. So centrifuge right here. And so the other one is the solar neutron activators. So place that right here. This should be enough, but I'm going to go ahead and place a couple of more just in case. And so this will come out this way. And so now we need a pressurized tube on each one of these to output properly. And so these actually have a good storage. So I'm actually just going to pipe this out over here for later storage. Um, and then we'll, we'll use that later. And so, Let's get the other side over here set up first. So this isotopic centrifuge or whatever will turn into plutonium. And so plutonium needs a PRC with fluorite dust, which we need to get a recipe for plutonium pellet into spent nuclear waste. And so we basically need, we're going to need two pressurized reaction chambers. And so one of these sides are going to be going right here in front of me. Hopefully we have enough speed upgrades and everything. So pressurized reaction chamber right here. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to break this out. This pickaxe doesn't work here. It's I literally placed the cobblestone. Just let me break it. And so we're going to run. This is going to be for the spent nuclear waste. And so while these don't actually work well for. Um, these need to go into barrels so that the spent nuclear waste goes away. I need to actually make the barrel still. OK, so that's going to be we're going to turn off all of these. Fluids. These also needs this also needs water, which is kind of annoying. And so, to make this again, we need plutonium. So we need water plus plutonium. So plutonium's coming from the back. We can just place a water block on the side here, or from the top. Do we want to do? Let's do the top. So that way it gets water, and then we'll do a point on this side and run the point from here. And so there's that power, and then we can run the power from there. And so the spin nuclear base is coming out. This is coming in. We got water coming in. And now all we need is a way for the items to come in and out. And so we're going to import the items out. 
And so this needs fluoride dust, I think it was. I think fluoride dust is needed for both things, right? Yeah, so we need fluoride dust for both of these. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a drawer. And we're going to set this up over here. Do we have any network things ready? And so this is going to be where we're going to put the receiver up here. Or we're going to do it like right here. And then right click this. And then we're going to grab an exporter. Do I have exporter on me? I have nine exporters on me. We're going to export here. And then we're going to connect this with a cable. And so this is going to exp export fluoride dust, which we're going to pipe out in two different directions with our item pipes. So one item pipe is going to go here. And so this is going to be input. So we're going to make sure we tell this that we want to input on this right side for the items. And then we want to output that way. And so this may this way it'll export here. It'll push out um, the plutonium pellets here. And so we'll want to connect the cables here again. So we're going to do... We can just do an importer here. I don't know if we have any importers on us or not. Let's go ahead and grab some a more ultra importers. And so we'll do an ultra importer here. And then we'll just run cables to the other thing over there. Just going to snake it along this thing just like I just did. We could just export directly, but this works. And so that's going to import the output, and we're going to do the same thing over here. So these three are going to go into a pressurized reaction chamber because I don't think it actually needs much more, but these are way more important. And so we'll put this here. And so again, we're going to do, we're going to run this out the bottom here. Matter of fact, I don't even know if I'm going to, I'm just going to come out the bottom here. I'm just going to literally just straight out, just come straight out of the bottom and just make this run across like this for all the spent nuclear waste. And so we'll put the barrels down there later. So spent nuclear waste, we need a configuration tool to configure this to not go away, so bam. And so now, let's see, we need to configure these right. So spent nuclear waste goes at the bottom. So we wanna go Items here, we're going to input from the left side. That's where we're going to go input. Then we're going to output from the front, auto eject. And then we need to go to gases. We need input from the back and then output from the bottom. The same thing, I don't think I, I set the gases yet. So gases, we're going to input from the back, output from the bottom. And so then that should connect to those cables. And then we'll do the, can I make the radioactive... Waste barrels. Can I just make these? And so these will just go down in the bottom here. And this is just for spent nuclear waste. This isn't for anything else. We're, we're just literally putting it in here. I don't know why. I did. Can I put it like that? It doesn't connect like that. And so if we need more, we can put more later. For not, right now, this is just for that. Do I have this? Can I pick this? Nope. And this is going to get rid of our spent. Okay. And so now, again, we're going to need to run an item pipe here. And this is going to be set to extract. I'm going to make sure to put a pipe upgrade in it. This is a lot of stuff that we have to do. This is kind of annoying. I ain't gonna lie. And we're going to make sure we do that. And then we're going to do an importer and then cable it in. So importer, cable it in. Bam. And so now it needs power. Actually, this needs water too. So there's the water. And so then it just needs power. And so these guys can actually be powered. This guy, these guys don't need power. So I guess we could just do run a port here. A point. Not a plug, a point. And so this should be making my plutonium once I get the waste going. And so now we need to go home and we need to 
set up the fluoride dust. So fluoride dust is a recipe that we need. Let's go over here and let's do like this. Let's do fluoride dust. And I'm pretty sure that's in the crusher. It is. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the crusher. We're going to throw this in here and we're going to make sure we do fluoride dust. We need a regulator card and a craft and we need two crafting. And then we need fluoride dust. Can I just tell it to make a shit ton? Craft. There we go. Okay, so slash back. And then we're gonna come over here. We're gonna go tell this to take fluoride dust. And then we're gonna tell this that this needs to regulate and craft it. And so I only needed one. How many times I've done this, man? I don't even need a regulator upgrade now that I think about it. I should just be able to export in this. I do need a crafting upgrade, but the regulator upgrade should just be able to put all this stuff in here, right? No, we do need a crafter, crafting and regulator upgrade. Because I need to tell it to keep 64 in here. Right. Does this just not want to work with me? Transmitter isn't set up. You are right. Good eye. Oh, God. Rarzor, thank you for that. I was like, why is it not working? It's because I'm dumb. Cool down? We don't do cool downs here. All right. That should be able to keep 64 in there. This one should also be able to keep 60. Well, hold on a second. You should be able to output here. And so is this one not set to input items on the left side here? Items input left side. Am I tripping right now? Shouldn't it need fluoride dust here? Did it work over here? It took nine. That's got 64. That's got 64. I think this should work now. Okay, cool. You're not dumb? Okay, just making sure. Cool. All right, now we can just turn this sucker on. So here's the dangerous part. So we have plenty of fissile fuel in here. We have, it's all full here too. So we're going to activate this and it's going to start at zero. Nothing's going to happen here. It's not going to blow up or anything right now. We got the steam. This is all going to output steam here. So the coolant tank or whatever is going to go here. And so now we can set this to 250 to test. And so I want to get this up to 500. And so what we want to make sure is that these guys is staying full on the fissile fuel. This is staying full fuel are full. And so if we do 500 is where I want to get to, we want to make sure that the damage isn't going up and that the waste and cool tank isn't going up. I think I can actually put this to 600 and it should be fine. There's no damage going up. The fissile fuel should be going down soon. I don't think we're making 600. But 600 should be fine. Max is 700. And so now this is going to come over here and it's going to make everything that it needs to. These guys aren't upgraded. Is this guy upgraded? No. I'm having issues. What's going on? So these guys should be able to take whatever nuclear waste and output it. Like this should have no problem turning into plutonium and that'll make me plutonium pellets. This will have no problem making polonium. And so we need a bunch of this. 
And so one of the things is the damage isn't going up, the temperature is fine. And so now we should have the plutonium pellets coming in. Okay, so the only thing is, is that if this blows up, this whole system goes, to we lose everything. So that's kind of not a good thing, but hopefully it's not too bad. So we'll just go back home. And so now we need to get some recipes. The fission reactor is now done. Now we got to do the fusion reactor, which should be fun. So fusion reactor takes a couple of uh, things here. We're going to do mech fusion. So we're going to need the fusion reactor casing. So as you see, that's an expensive recipe. We need the reports and we need, we don't need the logic adapter. We do need the controller and we're going to need the, there should be a, we need lasers. We need the laser mo or focus matrix and we're going to need a laser amplifier. We're going to need lasers and then we're going to need, we don't need the reactor glass right now. We need mechs. We need the induction casings and ports. Hopefully we have enough steel for all of that. We'll put all these up real quick. I don't think I need water for anything anymore. I think that's all the ones that I needed. Uh, did we make, which one did we make? We didn't make any of the induction things. Okay, so we're going to need to get all of these induction cells. I think we have almost everything to make all the advanced stuff. But we're going to need all the recipes for the going down. So we're going to need all of these. We need to grab some patterns. Every time I log into my world, I break my refined cable and reconnect it to get my system to work. Is uh, That's kind of weird. But um, do you have too many items in there? Or is it check your controller and see if you have too many, um, like too much power? Because if it's going over a certain amount, it'll mess up. All right, so that should get all the induction providers. And so our cells rather. Now we got to do the induction providers. I don't think I'm going to be able to do an ultimate of either of these. I do need the rest. Wait, I'm going to eventually need that. Ultimate, elite, advanced, basic. I will eventually need that recipe. So it doesn't hurt for me to just go ahead and get it. I don't think I can do any of the induction stuff right now. Pretty sure I can't make any of the ultimate stuff. Or I'm wrong. Okay, I don't know how long these things take, though. But apparently I can make them. And so that's kind of cool. I really don't need a whole lot. So what is it looking like? These things take forever to craft, by the way, because it has to make a bunch of these alloys. And so what we could do is we could take our handed dandy, trusted dusty. I'm going to make sure you get there fast enough. These are a, this is a, a part our projectile. So you have to make sure you hit the right spot. I'm not even going faster, so I'm not even hitting it in the right spot. Can I hit it from the back? Giggity. I think I have to upgrade my cables. Maybe. Pew. I just don't even think this wants to upgrade. Bam. There it goes. Hit it that time. Cool. Induction. Okay, we have the provider. What a wheelchair. How you doing, man? Let's see if it's going to make us the rest of the stuff. And so this is part of the power. So we're actually going to put the power out here. Start saving up. So how are we doing on fusion? So we also need the SBS casings and stuff. So mech SBS. So we're going to need one of these. We're going to need one of these. We're going to need the um, coil. I need two of these. And I already know how to make the laser recipe, so that's perfect. And so now, let's go ahead and see if we can make this. So we need the fusion. Um, let me see how many we need, because I've got a leashed. 
So we need a total of one controller and four ports. So one controller. And then we need four ports. What's the speed one called? That's the Crystal Staff from Roots Classic. And then we need a total of 36 reactor frames. Well, we have the fusion stuff down. That's all we need for that. What is the, the laser amplification thing, too, that has to be made? That doesn't take much. Okay. And so the fusion reactor is done. Did we grab all the SBS stuff? We did not. Mech. SBS. Yes, we did. SBS. And so the SBS stuff, we're going to need three ports. Yeah, see, this is where we're missing polonium pellets. Uh, do I even need plutonium for this? Ah, oh, I do need plutonium for this. So three ports, 60 casings. And so we're missing the polonium pellets and stuff, but that's going to make it anyway. We're going to get the mech induction. How do we have everything for induction? We have the cell. We have the casings. We have the ports. Okay. So let me show you all what this is for. So first off, we need two things here. It's going to need two ports for import. Importing. It's pretty important. Okay. So this is actually just a very basic one that I'm making. I don't really care to make it anything crazy. So we're actually just going to do like this. You could use reactor glass if you want to. I personally don't. And so I'm going to put one cell in here and one provider. I don't think I need another one. And then we're going to put the casings back in. Okay, not the casings there. The casings here. And so we're going to do two ports here. One's going to be here. One's going to be here. And then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do two in the back side here too. So we're going to do a port here and a port here. And then we're going to use the configuration tool to... Configure one to import and one port for output. And then so one of these is going to be a plug. And this plug right here is actually going to be for my normal network. This is going to be bypass power surge. And then so we're actually going to do a point. And so one of these points is actually going to be... Do we have any points on me? Did I put these points up in here? How close are you to finishing? Oh, blah, 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 blah. It is two or not known just yet. So one of these points... We can put it in here and then power surge, whatever. And so nothing's going to happen right now because this is on. So if I turn this off or whatever, like if I do transfer limit and set this to point right here, power surge and it's on the network, it should push everything into here. Should push um, stuff for my network in here. Anything goes in so I can have the power. And then the, the plug, I should do a new network. And this is going to be main power and we're going to just do like this and so main power and so now we can bypass limit and so the everything should go here i don't know why it's not working let me let the dog up real quick though pause all right resume okay so the fusion reactor did we say we had all the stuff for the fusion reactor to go i think we did what are we waiting for the sbs uh because we needed four ports was it four ports or three ports three ports no we needed four ports and so we're missing the polonium pellets. We have that. And so we needed uh, 60 casings plus three ports. Can we make the 60 casings? What are we missing? So we're missing the polonium pellets there. So we do we have all that? So 60. How much plutonium pellets do we have? Plutonium. Yeah, we're fine here. What up, young warlock? Hey, doom, 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 doom. Timer's going. Okay. I'm going to go back to the reactor. And I'm going to come over here and we don't need this anymore. So to turn this off, all I'm going to do is go to gases and clear. And so now this is making my pol or plutonium. I don't want that. I want everything going into here and to making my um, nuclear waste into polonium. And so this should, yeah, this is stocking up a ton of polonium here, which is what I want. And so this should be pretty much, oh, there's no power in this one. Power surge. And so that should be making all my, my points here. And so this is the... Oh, I'll have to figure out how I want to do this. 
Because we want to do a point to point into there to start storing power. Because we have all those plugs, right? And so that should be the network and then it should all point into that induction matrix. And that should be what we want to go for from there. And so this is fine. No, no problems. The fissile fuel is still full. How's it doing over here? So this is basically burning exactly what it can burn. I could probably put this up to 700 and it'd be fine. I think it'll burn at 700. How's the fissile fuel tank? Yeah, dude, it's, we have so much fissile fuel. This should burn perfectly fine. And this should, this is actually, we probably could use another pressurized reaction chamber to make the polonium. But eventually we're going to turn this off. This is just to make the pellets. So, so SBS, let's see if we can make the ports now. We need four ports. There's the four ports. And then we need 60 casings, right? 60 casings, missing 138 polonium pellets. So how much is it making per thing? It's kind of making it kind of fast. I wonder if we could speed this up. We've got to make sure we hit it. Polonium. So SBS, we just want to make these 160 something casings. Or sorry, 60 something casings is missing 85. It's not hitting it. That hit it. Mm -mm -mm. What is that staff? It's the crystal staff. Ah, and so now we could just turn this sucker off. Same thing. We're going to go uh, items, gases or whatever. We're going to clear it. And so this means polonium will be into here. And so now we'll start building up polonium and then we'll start making the polo the SBS. So we need the SBS and we need the fusion reactor. Fusion reactor is actually the easiest to build here. So we're just going to build it. We're going to need lasers. We're going to need a laser amplifier. Um, we need the laser focus matrix. We need reactor glass. We're, we're going to need um, the supercharged coils. We need two of those. Really, you can get away with one. All right. So let's start building this. So this is going to go, the fusion reactor doesn't even need to be over here. Fusion reactor is going to go over here. And so what we want to build this, if we want to build this over here, so that way if it does it, it explodes, we don't have to worry about it. And so the way this is built is you take this plus some glass and you make an outline like this. So it goes bam, 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 bam. You make a plus sign with it. And we do this on every side, including the bottom. So I don't want that there. So I'm going to grab my configuration tool so I can set this to wrench so I can just pop it off. And so we're going to, again, we're doing a plus sign here and then corner pieces. And so this one gets one here. And so for this final one, we'll do the same thing. Plus, bam, bam, bam. We're gonna replace these middles with ports once we're done. Guess it wasn't the final one. Went to eat with the family and also went shopping with my brother. How did the shopping go? Okay, so then on the very top is where you want the controller. And so it'll finish completing. I don't want it to finish completing, but it will. One of these is off. I think on the bottom you have to have it full. Could be wrong. Okay, so it turns on now. Cool. And so now that it turns on, the way we're going to do this is we need to do a laser amplification thing. So we're going to pop this off right here. And this is where we're going to do the focus uh, laser right here, the focus amplifier. So it's going to come out right here. And so realistically, we probably should turn this off for the time being. I mean, it's making polonium, and I think this can store a ton of polonium. 
but I'm just kind of worried about it. Okay, so now we're going to do a block or two out here, and then I'm going to do the laser amplifier. So we're going to grab lasers. We're going to just grab whatever they let us grab. We're going to do two laser amplifiers. So we're going to place this down to where the red dot faces this back side. So I'm going to take that um, controller. We're going to switch this to wrench, pop those. Then we're going to switch this to rotate. And so we should be able to rotate this right-clicking and no shift. I uh, got a couple of pairs of pants and a belt. That's good. That's good. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to give it some space. And then I'm going to place this here. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do wrench, pop this off. And then I'm going to switch this to rotate, right-click. And so now that it's going to aim into each other. And so now what I want to do is I want to basically take... Um, lasers and place them a block out from each side of these. And so just like this, we're going to do the laser is going to go right here. And so a laser is going to go. That laser just blast. I don't know how that laser just blasted that, but it blasted that. So like that. So there's the room there. Where's all my lasers at? It's a laser going into there. And so this is going to do the same thing. So we're going to put these back this way. We're going to pop this off. Laser. Pop this off. That'll break it, won't it? Pretty cool. And we're going to do this bag this way. And so now we just got to connect these all with power. So that's what a point is for. We're going to take a point and some energy cables. And all of these right here are going to be replaced with the energy cables. So we're just going to make sure we replace all of these. I don't think they can come in on the side. I think they actually do have to take in through the bottom. We also need to make sure we set this to turn off. So we're going to energy contents. We're going to set this to that. We want to set this to minimum is going to be 400 million. And so it has to get 400 million FE before we can do any of this. And so we're just going to connect all of this up. That's important just for the front one. So that should all have that power. So we can take a point that I placed. Did I point the place to put? Oh, no. Uh, we want to do network. And so that should power all of these. And now what's going to happen is this is going to start storing all this stuff up. And so we're going to turn this redstone detection off. We're going to turn that off. And turn the output. And then that's what we're going to do. So the lasers are part of the amplification to make this work. And so now all we need to do is figure out where we're going to import the two things that it needs. And so one of those things that it needs is tritium. So I'm going to build that right here. And so we're going to need to do the import ports right over here. So we have four more reactor ports here and we're going to make sure that our configurator is set to wrench. And so we need one output right here for power. So I'm going to place that here. I'm going to set this to output and then we're going to wrench off um, three ports here. So one here, one here, and then we're going to do these two and then we're going to do one at the top. And the reason being is because one's going to be for tritium, one's going to be for DT or, or deuterium and one's going to be for DT fuel. So that'll be our input powers. That's going to be our reactor, like whatever, uh, for our power output. So like a plug would go here. I don't know if I have any plugs or not. Do I have any plugs? Do I have a plug? I got a plug now. And so this would go here. This is where all the output with the power would go. And so we'll put this in the network. So whenever this does generate power, right now it's not. And so we can't do anything until this is 400 million FE. And once it does, 
I'm going to turn it off. It can store up a good bit if it wants to, but I kind of don't want this to like generate all the power or whatever. But once it gets 400 million, we'll be good to go. Um, so we need to make the DT fuel now. And we also need the SPS. When is the next part coming or come to YouTube? It's going to take me a little while, but uh, hopefully I can get it. Hopefully I can get it within the month. All right. So we need to build the SPS just because I need to build it. So SPS is going to be good for power, but it's also going to be getting a couple other things here. SPS is a little bit harder to build. So this is where the polonium is going to come in. So we need to build this right here. So polonium, or this one is built a little bit differently. So it's going three. Then we go like this. Then we go just like this. And we go up three like this. And then we go up three. And then we go like this. And so cool thing is we're going to copy this after we finish building the edges like this. And so we'll build the walls and then I'll take my copy paste gadget here. And so I'm going to switch this into copy. I want to make sure that I grab this block right here and then you have cop. Okay. Hold on. Can we clear? Okay. Clear. So we're going to copy this and then we're going to come over here to this side over here and we're going to go up two. And then I'm going to copy this. So there's my two ports. So we'll pop these off with a wrench. Take your time. Quality is amazing. Thank you. Power the bottom lasers if you don't need to. I don't think I need to. They're just chilling right now. And so now I can paste these. I just got to rotate it. And so like this one would go right down here. I got to break it all the way. We'll see if this pastes it properly. Ooh, I think if I remember correctly, that's too close. So we're going to undo that. If I remember correctly, these need to make a, a angle together. Let's just go ahead and build the rest out like we would. One, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five. Built this thing so many times. It seems this tool doesn't just let me break it. You're just being annoying at this point. I think it does actually work like that. Ugh. Yeah, it does work like that. I could have pasted that there the whole time. So cool. And so now we just got to break this piece. And then we're going to open this up. We're going to go rotate. And we're going to break this piece. And then we're going to paste this here. And that'll build that. We're going to rotate. And then I'm going to break this piece. Just chilling. Just chilling. And so now we just fill in the corners. And so that'll do everything with the top. We also need to pop these off on the corners. And we need two spots for so polonium's gonna come in here. So I'm gonna pop that off for a port. That's the fusion reactor port. I don't need that. Induction port, don't need that either. Where's my fusion re oh SPS port? So that's gonna be inputting fuel. This one is gonna be where I'm gonna pop off for a laser. That's gonna pop off for a laser. SPS port, SPS port. We're gonna need the two supercharged coils, one here, one here, and then we're gonna pop off this one here. So I can put a port here and that's going to be our output. And so we'll turn this to configure output and then we'll just go ahead and start building these out. And so now we just need some reactor glass. One, two, that's not what I did. That's not where I placed it. Building the multi-blocks feels pretty cool. That isn't an invitation to be like, you should try out Greg Tech then. But it does feel pretty cool. And so now it's done. There's the SPS. That's pretty cool. And so now we just got to port these over. This is my polonium. And this is where it's going to input. And so now we have polonium being stored in here. I don't even know if this is going to store enough polonium for this, but we're, it should be fine. So this should almost be ready to be charged. But the thing is, we have D nor T fuel ready to go. So this has got, oh, this only has got a hundred million. Okay. So we have D nor T fuel ready to go. So it doesn't actually do us any good to do that. So we need to go get some D and T fuel together. 
So do, D stands for deuterium. So we're gonna hit A on that and uh, T stands for tritium. And so we're gonna get tritium done first because tritium, sorry, tritium over here is actually made from um, lithium. So we just need to port lithium into tritium. You need a solar neutron activator for that. That's why I made three solar neutron activators. So we're gonna make a couple of more. And so that's gonna be pretty simple to set up. We have, should have enough already making for these. I think I only need like one or two. Could be wrong. All right. And so we just need to import tritium into the, or lithium into this, and this makes tritium. So where is my import going to be? Over here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just set this up to where it comes over here. You'll be a nice thing of the follow. And so we need to do a five by five of, let's go home first. Tritium, not tritium. It's tritium. I like tritium though. Tritium's kind of cool. We're going to switch this to copy again. And this time I'm going to come over here and I'm going to copy this five by five again. We're going to clear this in case it says that. And so that's copied. And so this is my lithium right here. Tritium sounds too try hard. It, of course it does. Of course it does. So this is where we're going to need the entangle porters. We should need two more. So that should be able to make that. Okay, and one is gonna go, this is gonna make, this is making lithium dust right now, but we can also set this here. And I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna clear all the configs here so nothing comes in here. Input off the bottom here, and we're gonna set this one to uh, lithium. And so then that way I can just pump this out from the bottoms directly into here, and now we have some lithium going in here. And so that should empty our, pretty much empty this. And so now we should be able to go back. He also says pasta. Pasta? What? You say pasta, like pasta Terry. So we're gonna do this right over here. So we're gonna need to paste. I need a dynamic tank stuff. I probably need some more dynamic tank stuff. And so we're gonna paste this right here. Doesn't matter really where it's at, as long as I paste it right here. So I'm gonna grab this, pop this off and put this in as a valve. And so this is where I'm gonna pump in, uh, am I pumping in lithium in here? I'm pumping in, I'm pumping in tritium here. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So now we just need to pump in with an entangle porter. We're just going to pump it in right here. We're going to switch this. So again, we're going to turn all the fluids and stuff off. We're going to output on the bottom, and then we're going to grab our trusted dusty cable here for the pressurized tubes. And then we're going to switch this to lithium set, and then that should pull these into here. And these should be set to gases input on the back. Am I tripping? Or is this not set right? Set the lithium on the bottom. Oh, I'm pumping liquid lithium in here. Oh, shit. No, it was a gas. Oh. That's the best teleport home I've ever done in my life. Am I not pumping the lithium tank? Is this liquid lithium? Yeah, this is lithium. And I'm pumping lithium straight into here. Does it need to be liquid lithium? Oh my god. No, it's lithium and, tr and tritium. Am I just pumping it in the wrong side? Okay, can't teleport. Cool down, that's cool too. Maybe I'm, oh yeah, because I've got these backwards. Right? Am I tripping? What? Pasta? Yeah, like impasta. Okay, so now these, these were right. Supposed to take lithium. 
Input from the back. Lithium set. Fluids, gases, output. Solar neutron. Is this liquid lithium? No, it's not liquid lithium. It's just regular lithium. This is set to lithium. This has lithium in it. Do I need to tell this to export from this? Input, not output. I swear one of these days I'll look properly. Swear. Bam. Okay. And so that's going to output the tritium there. I swear one of these days I will be smart. Today's not one of those days. This guy just doesn't want to work right. Cool. So now we're making tritium. And so the tritium is going to be one of the things that go is, goes in here. So we're going to actually pull this out over here. Actually, I'm not going to do all these ports because if I do all these ports, it's not going to be good. All right, cool. So now we're going to need some more entangle porters. Entangle porter is trying to input. Yeah, I'm bad. I could just port this over directly, but every time I've done this before, it's not really worked well. So we're going to need a chemical infuser for this. So the chemical infuser is going to go in the middle here. And so it's going to input tritium on one side and then DT fuel on the other side. So entangle porter. This one's going to right here. We're going to, again, switch all of these off. Input on the top. Pressurized tube. Set this to trit. And now we're just going to pull from this. And so that we have tritium in here. And so this is going to be, again, we're going to close this off, close this off, close this off. We're going to output auto set this to tritium set. And so now this should I output it in here and we'll fix this a little bit later. This is what we're going to make our DT fuel with, which speaking of which we're going to need the T or the D. Can I turn this power off yet? 400 million. I can turn this off so we could just uh, set this to zero. And so these lasers should stay stacked up even though they have laser power in them. That's fine. We just need to go make the D of the two of fuel. And this one's a little bit more annoying because this one needs heavy water and we need a lot of it. And so we're going to come over here and want to grab these recipes. So to make it deuterium, you need an electrolytic separator with some heavy water. To make heavy water, you need a uh, mech pump. So we're going to need this recipe. And then we're also going to need a filter upgrade. This is annoying. This part sucks. And this one gives you crushed tin. So we need to go over here, grab the tin recipe, throw that into our crusher. And then I don't even know what the number is that we need for these. I know that it, we need a lot. So pump wise, we're going to need a ton of these. I don't even remember what the number is for this. We could just go for 64 here and let those get made. And that means for each of these pumps, we're going to need upgrades. So it's eight. This is going to be a lot. And so we need a filter upgrade for each of these. So 64 and we're missing the, we're missing 10. Oh, cause we're not smelting it. I was about to say, ain't no dang way. That should make quick work of this. Especially if we grab out our handy dandy go faster. I love this. I love this song, dude. I hate setting this one up. I'm going to be honest with you. These pumps absolutely suck to set up just being completely real with y'all like they are not fun to set up i don't i don't know why i don't like it i just don't like it we're gonna set this up right here okay i'm gonna take my copy paste gadget i'm gonna place this right here and then so we're gonna pump it in right over here so i don't know why but this has just been like the worst thing ever for me and so we're going to break these out like this. We're going to do small tunnel and this will break out 64 blocks that way. And that's 64. And then we could probably fill this all with water, but we don't want to give any of these things power first. So I can't, let me grab one of the pumps out and see. I've never done 64. So this is new to me, but let's see. So which one is the, the does the power go in the top? And then the out, let's, let's test it. Pressurized tube doesn't go there. I think it's a mechanical thing. 
I think it's mechanical. Okay, power goes out of the front. The port part goes out the top. Okay. So that means we need all the universal cables right here. Uh, this is the copy paste thing. Hold on a second. Where's my billing gadget? Invalid block. Okay, we need the universal cables anyway. Last time we messed those up though, so I kind of kind of worried about that. I'm gonna be honest with you. Hello there, tree. That tree just vibing, bro. You don't, don't use the wand? Oh, man, I don't know what is on. Oh, we're not making anything right now. We'll just switch the flux ducts like halfway through. You know, I just realized I don't actually need it to go all the way down like this. Because it's 64, so it stops down here. Did it make all these pumps, though? I think it did. Oh, we're going to be here for a while. Oh, we're going to be here for a while. I never done 64. I hope this makes enough. Because this is going to use some power, let me tell you. Is 64 too much? I feel like 50, 64 might be too much. Can I use the building gadget for these? Oh my god, I can. Sometimes you just got to do more than what you're limited to, you know? Sometimes you just got to do it all. Sometimes you just got to make them all and then just go all 60 for just do it all, you know? Just give it your all. Bam. I'm going to miss one. Set this to wrench. And then we're going to wrench these up. Okay, and so that's all the watt, that's all the power. This thing is going to need a, a point. And I'm kind of scared to make a point for this one. Okay, like these points are going to be tough. That's a plug. I need a point. Oh, God, that's going to take so much time. And the worst part about this is each of these need to be upgraded. That's the worst part. And the cool thing is... There's no cool thing about this. I'm literally about to have to sit there and just configure all of this and work through all of this to make it work. This is just, this is about to be tough. Okay. It's about to be real tough. We're just going to need the filter upgrades first. Can I not? These don't even stack. Got to make sure all these go in. What if this is overkill right now? Can we finish the fusion reactor? Oh, no, this is going to be the disparted fusion reactor. Blackout of this pump. Dude, imagine just losing all of my power right here because I had these pumps. When I told you guys I was making a... I was like, oh, man, I need about eight of these. Y'all are like, eight? Oh, man, that's a lot. Or what did I say, 16 or eight? And y'all were like, oh, man, that might be too much. It's like, that's a lot of power. Just a little bit of power. It's like, bro, before we get to this fusion reactor, we needed the 400 million. 
And then we needed this. And this is the easy part up right here. I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I want to put things in my backpack. Okay, so there's all of those. So now we have the fun part about this. Can I actually put these in my dank? Is that how that works? Can these go in my dank? I don't know how this works. I don't think I can use the danks from... Can it just fill my... Can I... I can put it in my backpack. But that makes it easier to pull them all out. This is gonna be a lot of D for the DT fuel. When we said we were gonna give it the D, we meant it. The previous search? How do I set it to be the previous search? I don't know if I've done that before. The whole worst part is if I miss one of these and it just starts pumping water, that would be really not good. I would cry deeply in Spanish. I think we're going to have plenty of these. All right, last set of upgrades. I think you can actually set the dank to work with your system, but I could be wrong. How do you set it up to your last search? Keep mode? I don't like that. I'm going to be real with y'all. I just registered a point. Oh, these are energy upgrades. We need the regular speed upgrades. That should be enough. Man, I hope these start pumping water. Because if these don't pump water out the first go, I'm literally going to cry. Okay. I think I did it right. Am I doing energy up? Oh, no. Who's going to tell him? All around me are familiar face. I was like, that thing's not disappearing. Why is it not disappearing? I'm only hurting deep inside. Oh, I didn't even hit it with that. I'm hurting a lot right now. There's just a lot of pain. This is the lot of pain song. That is all. Y'all think this is enough? I really hope this is enough because I'm going to be real sad if it's not. If these things come with water in them, I'm going to cry. And so now we're just going to do the water bucket that I made. And so. I already did filter them, yeah. Hopefully. What a Billy. I want heavy water. That's what I want. Oh, sweet baby. Just because I want this to be even. Okay, so the question is, is heavy water mechanical or not? I think it's a mechanical pipe, right? 
Because now we just need an electrolytic separator, which I don't even know if this is going to be fast, if one of them is going to be fast enough for what we just did to this. Because this is making heavy water, it goes into this, and we separate this out, and it gives us a det deuterium, so it's water. Water is wet, true. Okay? But heavy water is he heavier water is water, but it's been benching. Okay? And so now... We're gonna pump all of these into, do we have the chemical, co do we have the ultimate pipes? It's wetter, it's wetter water. Wetter water, okay, so this should, can I like, I, I can't place these mechanical ones over here, unfortunately. I could if it was just using pipes, but nope, not mechanism. All around me are familiar mechanism pipes. Can I just go like this? It looks like it's all heavy water, which I'm okay with. And so all of these should automatically output to the top. How far? Maybe we need 64 more. Maybe this is excessive. But Blea. And so now we're going to pump in. I'm pumping the power, pumping the mechanical. Oh, God, I don't need more mechanical pipes. And so we're going to pump in this. So we get deuterium here. We're going to dump excess here. We're going to speed this up and give this energy upgrades. Good thing we made a lot. And so that will give us deuterium. And so then we're going to grab out the pipe to do this. What up, PDQ or PQD? PQ, PQDT, thank you for the follow. I promise I can speak. Why do we have two stacks of these? We need the pressurized stuff. Yo, Curly, thank you for the follow. And so we're gonna out, we're gonna go over here to the side. We're gonna go to gases. We're gonna make sure we output one on the left here, and that'll go in this hole right here. Oh my God! Now we have deuterium. And so now, on this side, I'm gonna grab an entangle porter. Yo, Gets, thank you for the follow as well. There's a lot of follows coming through. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to come over here. We're going to place this down. We're going to clear everything. This is just so to make sure nothing happens. We're going to input, and then we're going to do D dash set. And so now we set this to pull. Thank you for the follow as well. Geekbot, I appreciate that. Okay, cool. We got everything that we ever need. Cool. And so this is making us deuterium and it's all going into here. And so now we have the D part done. Now we need to make DT fuel. So we're going to hit A here. We're going to take the tritium. I don't like tritium, bro. Tritium doesn't sound cool. And so now we need to make D2 fuel, which we actually need to do. We need to make something called a hollum. So if you've never heard of this, me neither. Okay. And so we need to make, we need to get some gold dust. Okay. Try titum. Try titum. It ain't no try titum. It's tritium. Tritium. Bro, come on now. You got me messed up. All right. So we're going to take these and we're going to come over here to our, uh, is it, what is this? I think it's the one, whatever one is the one that's got the coal in it. Bam. And then that should make me the whole ROM. So we should have the whole ROM here. All right. And then. We did give that an upgrade, right? Okay, and then we're going to go back to the reactor and hope it didn't blow up while we were gone. Are we good? Did it blow up? No damage? Everything's good? Why is it so foggy, bro? That is terrifying. Is this is this got power in it still? 400? Okay, and so now we need to give this a quick shot of this fuel. So we're going to grab another entangle porter here. Okay, bam, beepity, boop, bop. We're going to do this. We're going to place this. We're going to make sure we clear all the sides here, gases, and we're going to make sure we output on the right, and we're actually going to output on the back here too. Actually, we're not going to output on the back. We're going to go gases. We're going to make sure this is output on the left side. And then I cleared it because I'm really good at this game. So output, output, and then we're going to make sure we do this one is the D fuel. So we're going to set this. So DT goes in here. And so now we can put this in here, and that'll fill that up. Do we have this all the way max upgraded? We do not. So we need speed. I don't think there's another upgrade here. And then we need um, 
I think we need the energy fuel. You used to distill this? That's kind of crazy. So now we need a point. Place this down. So now that it has the DT fuel. So here's the thing. We have to pump this out in two different locations here. So I want to make sure this is pumped out this way. And so I've messed this up so many times by actually messing this up so many times. So don't do what I did. But you got to make sure that it pumps out properly here. So there's the D and the T. And so now we need to do DT fuel out of the top here. And so this is going to be DT out of the top. So we're going to go gases output. And so that'll pump the DT fuel in there. What up, Oakley? Think of the follow. All right, so here is the DT fuel done. Now it's still continuously making this. Now all we got to do is put this whole hum in here. And then we just flick this sucker right here. Bam. And then it should activate the reactor. We come over here to the fuel. We want to set this to 98. And so it's making us our DT fuel. I don't know how fast it's making our DT fuel, but heat wise, it's up there. The power is there and this should be a plug on here. Uh, bypass limit. So now that that's done, that's going to make us 150. So we're going to need a point. We're going to need another point here. We're going to need two points here. And so I'm going to put a point here. And this point is going to be for the main power. We're going to set this into 100. So what is it? 100 million. So like that, I think that's enough. Power surge, main power, right? Do I need to uh, out this into a cable? Oh, main power, bypass limit. Okay, and so this should be making us a good amount of fuel here. How are we doing on fuel? We're only doing 150. Why are we only doing 156? What is going on to only make us 100? We're out of tritium. Why is tritium not being here? Is it because it's foggy? Don't tell me because it's foggy. Or is it because he said these are doing 30 or 52? Why is this only doing 50? Okay. Is it because it's foggy and these guys are just not working? Is this still working? Do we just need more of these solar whatever? Solar? It was, we use it as a target for particle physics experiments. Bro, you're like a genius. That's why you're so good at this stuff. Is it because it's foggy? Is that why? I wonder if it's because it's foggy. Each of these are only producing 52, which is kind of weird. And that means it's only getting 360. Sup, what up, buddy? Now we're 468. All right, that's 500. 500 should actually give us enough to make 512, which should be able to, enough to make. This is producing 71 million, and it's because it's got to still go up in terms of heat. Can we put water in this? I don't know if we put water in this or not. Oh, now we're almost out of deuterium. Bro, I know we're going. We're not going through deuterium that quickly. Bro, I know. What up, J-Dub? How you doing, man? Yeah, this is gonna. I think we're gonna make it under 100 days, bro. I know we're not going under on deuterium right now. Oh no, it's just not outputting to this like it should. Wonder if we can input this on the one on the back. Okay, cool. That's that's settled that. Uh, fuel, we've got this set to this. So now we're making 95 and it should go up to a hundred million FE because it's not getting the full rate and that's fine. So that's, that's good. So let's go ahead and split.
And so now we got to do, we can actually leave this stuff alone. The SBS, well, never mind. The SBS is not done yet because we are full of antimatter. And so this is where we need the chemical crystallizer. I'm pretty sure it's what it is. How, could you imagine sitting here on antimatter? Not, couldn't be me, man. Yes, the crystallizer. I don't know if this needs a speed upgrade or not. But we're going to give it to it. Do we, does this can take the gas? No, okay. Be really happy it could. Bam. So this is where we're going to need another ender chest. Sounds like you've been working, my dude. You doing all right? Oh, God, we need more leather. Oh, no ender chest. We could probably just import it. Is it bad that we don't have any leather? I'm going to grab that one. So we're going to go home and then we're going to go grab this. Should have some leather in my little setup right here. Slash them back. Ender chest. Do we not have any eyes of enders right now? Bruh. Do I wonder, does it automatically have to, can I just do an item pipe here? I don't like that it's synchronized with JEI. We're going to quit that. Okay. So now whenever this makes antimatter, which we're almost to two pieces and we're at day 47. So right now we're using hundred million FE. So that's half a millibucket per tick. That means we should have no problems making this. As long as this stays fueled, which this is having a problem staying fueled with DT fuel. What is being deuterium is down or is it no deuterium's going up there. That's this is out of power. What is this set to main power power surge? I'm okay with this taking a hundred and something thousand tick. We gave us energy upgrades, right? God damn. And that's fine. So tritium or whatever tritium. We're making 52 a piece, which is kind of weird. It shouldn't be making 52 a piece. Um, but yeah, not bad. And so this is staying at 58. So we should be producing, we got 106 million going right here. And, um, this is a hundred of it's going over here. And so the thing is, is that I know a hundred of it's going somewhere else. And I think it's actually, I think we're fine. Because we should have the antimatter that we need. So antimatter, we should be... Did I not put antimatter in here? Oh, wait a second. It's in my backpack. I know exactly where it's at. It's in this backpack right here. So we got to place it, put a spot for it. Antimatter is going to go right there. Bam. And so now we should be able to see it in our system. Okay, antimatter is done. Okay, I don't think we actually need any more obsidian, so all of my obsidian seeds can go. And how are we doing on nether stars? We're halfway to the stars. Oh my god, that's not enough stars. How are we doing on steel? We don't really need steel or anything anymore. We're going to do shapeless. We don't need any of this anymore. Pretty sure we have everything. And so I'm just going to clear these up and we're going to place what we need. So what we need is a redstone. That's just going to make a bunch of redstone seeds and I don't want it to make a bunch of redstone seeds. Cause that's just, ooh, do we continue using Inferium here? Screw it. Still going to make me something. And so I wonder if that's going to help me keep up with all the redstone and stuff that I need. Look at that. There's netherite seeds. We still need netherite. So I'm actually going to place the netherite down. Netherite. Do we have any netherite seeds in here? No, I think we're fine with that. I think everything else is fine. I think we, 
I don't know if, if we need quartz and rich dye. We can check it out. Okay, so basic B stuff, we really actually don't need a whole lot of anything. Okay, let's see if this is making the nether stars go up better. Okay, so why are you having a problem? I wonder if I could speed this up. Do I need to put speed upgrades on the exporter? I don't think so, because I think it's going as fast as it can. Maybe that's what it was. What if I... It's just pretty much speed at this point. So it's just not going fast enough. And so we have four things of this going. This might have been a bad decision. Ooh, we need all the modium and stuff. That's one of the things we need. We need the all the modium seeds and stuff. We'll be fine with that. I don't, I don't think we need those right now. Okay, let's go get the basic bee stuff going. So bee stuff, we really... Oh, the only item that we need is an inactive dragon egg. And so believe it or not, all you need for an inactive dragon egg is literally uh, a hive. So you need... We need to make the advanced oak stuff. And so we need the speed upgrades. Lily pads of fertility. Wait, what? How are they growing so fast? Oh, yeah, lily pads plus water and can. Um... So this is also going to need the these recipes. I love bees. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Bees are really cool, but also bees are not really that cool sometimes. And it feels kind of rough. I like them, but sometimes I really don't like them. All right. So anyway, we're going to go get this stuff. So we need to, first we need a beehive. And so there's not really a way for us to make anything for a beehive. We need a beehive so we can get our pickaxe with brass. And so what we can, can we swab bees? I think we can swab a bee. Let's go find a bee and show it how we feel about it. I think you can swab a bee and make a bunch. Alfred, show your work. Show your work. There's a, there's a video on it. And it's raining, so these guys aren't going to come out because it's raining, right? But I'll make them come out by breaking their dang hive. He has a tutorial, tutorial on YouTube. Yeah, there's a whole guide for it. There should be a bee's nest here. We really just need honey and lots of it. That's unbelievable. You know what? what? Can't we make honey with a dissolver and a combiner? Yes, we need a dissolver. So we need some, some kind of sweet for it. But I'm sorry like this. Yo, Zykes, thank you for that. So let's just grab the honey this way because I'm pretty sure we can make... Can I make the honey? Can I make a honey block with it? You can't make a honey block with this, actually. So there's no way to make it with a dissolver here. There's no way to make honey bottles with this. You can't even make the honey blocks. You can get the honey combs out. You, so if we make the honey combs and dissolve them, we can... Just put the honeycombs in the bottler or in the um, centrifuge. They should go through the centrifuge, right? And then that'll make me wax and honey. So, yeah, we could just do that. So, let's go back and see. We need the dissolver. I think we need magma blocks, which I think we can make all of that. To get honey? I could. But I think that would take a lot longer, right? We're going to need honey blocks anyway. And so, let me make this. I think I can make all of that. I think I have everything for that. Um, dissolver. What is this? The combiner. Boop. And then we need the dissolver. Can we make magma blocks? Ooh. Can we make magma blocks? Yeah. Oh, no. You didn't want a cup? That's a sticky piston. Right? Did I make the dissolver recipe? Don't, 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 don't. This poor thing over here. Okay, so... That's got energy. That's got energy. Okay, so to make honey, we need sucrose and triglycerides. Triglycerides come from honey. 
but it also comes from wool wool can I just get wool why would triglycerides be in here oh that's the combiner Oh my god. Okay. We'll just get the triglycerides here, and so that makes that. And so the sucrose can come from honey bottles, glow berries, cactus, slime balls. We'll give us sucrose and protein. So let's just grab some slime balls. Because we only have 41,000 of them. And so we'll just get a bunch of these, and we'll put this in there too. And this will give us the sucrose. And to make honey, we just need one triglyceride to three sucrose. Okay. And so there's the honey. And so we just got to make sure we get enough of this. And so to make the honey seeds, we need these. And so we need eight total pieces of honey. So we're going to need some more triglycerides. That's eight total pieces of honey, but that doesn't include the bottles that we need. So we need eight bottles. And so to make eight bottles, we need a lot of, we need a centrifuge. So this dissolver needs to keep making sucrose here. And so, yeah, we just need to let that work. Can we speed this up actually? Where is my speedy uppy wandy? I wonder if this stuff explodes. That'd be kind of wild, wouldn't it? I think we got enough. Oh. Cool. Chuck that back. Oh, God. I don't know what I just... Oh, God. I just broke it down into a bunch of things that I don't know about. Oh, God. Chemistry. Not chemistry. And now we need a centrifuge. And I think we need the better centrifuge, right? Can I do a powered one? Oh my God, I can. Cool. Centrifuge. That's how you spell it. I only need one, and I need a bottler, I want to say. Can I get a bottler? Ow! Can, why, just stop. Just stop while you're ahead, Gibraltar. You were doing so good, and then you weren't. I should have smooth stone. I'm going to go ahead and say that I have smooth stone. All right. I was right. Hey, buddy, I need a lot more glass. You know, it would really suck if my reactor blew up. All right, so let's see. Where is a place that I can freely work off of the power for free? Oh, look, right here. So we're going to do a powered centrifuge. I think it actually goes. Powered centrifuge. Can you, Does the bottle automatically work like this? Speed it up, eh? Pew. Pew. And this should automatically get some honey inside of it, so we throw in the glass bottles. One, two, we need eight. Give me eight. I need more than five. Am I right? I need four, so I need 16 of each. We need to go get a lot more wool going. My math is off. It's two per, right? No, I need eight of each. What do we have in here? Protein, keratin, protein, keratin. We need to get some more wool. My math is not off. We need string. Speedy up and go. So where's all my sucrose? 
What was the other thing that I needed? Triglyceride. Don't don't want to have some more triglycerides in here. Where's all my triglycerides? Man, I still had a ton. Bam! Bam! What am I missing here? Is this... Where's all my sucrose? Can I just put that in there? Oh, cellulose. That's not sucrose. Stop. Stop making melon seeds. That's annoying. Wait a minute. It's two per and I need four. That's eight. Do I have enough? Oh, no. Do I have enough? Is it enough? Because as soon as you make four, it's on. Because now, to make the honey seed, you literally just need... Producium. Producium. How much Producium did I have? Let's go ahead and just make ten. So I can make... I only need four, actually. And so I'm glad that I did this because now I can come over here to this. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. Let that make my honey seeds. And we're going to do the speedy uppy thingy on the middle here. Bam. That'll make some of the honey seeds. And then I can place that here. And now I can come over here, look inside of this, and get the honey essence out. Throw the honey essence in this. Wait for some more honey seeds and hope that we got some more honey seeds. I hope we're doing okay with essence here. I think we're pretty solid on everything. I need some more honey seeds though. So we only have one honey seed for the time being, but I'm pretty sure we could just make some more honey aglum out of these. Ooh. Did you give me another seed while I was working on it? Of course you did. Prudentium. It is taking its sweet time. I don't think y'all understand how much this actually helps. Especially once we get a bunch of seeds. Because now I can literally just make honey treats out of, like, everything. So I can come over here. Now we can do the bee stuff. We can literally just make honey treats out of that. And so once it knows how to make these two, once it knows how to make the bottles or whatever like this, so, like, if I grab this one and then I tell it how to make the bottles, I can just come shove all these in real quick. And so now I can just tell it how to make a honey treat. And so honey treats are the easiest to make. So, bam. And once we have the essence or whatever, we're good to go. So, like, if I just get more seeds and just plant more seeds, we're good to go. And so now we can just make those honey treats that I need. I don't know how many can I make 64. Bam, I just made 64 honey treats. And so now we need an obsidian hive. We actually need a lot of obsidian hives. What up, Ethan? Obsidian nest. That's what it's called. So we need to make a bunch of diamond swords. Actually, I need six or five rather, because we're going to just do five. And so while that's crafting that up, we'll give a spot for the honey seeds question mark. Cool. Okay. It's because I was looking at it. And so let's go to the end. Oh, that was a quick teleport. You know what I just realized? I ain't got no way to catch these bees.
Why don't I have any oak? Now we take the super famous fasty one. Boop. 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 Give them all a good little hit. Speed up the ticks a little bit more in the first one. This is where Lobster watches this, and he's just not happy with me. Oh, bro, why did you go back in the hive? Oh, no, I got him in time. I was going to be real sad. Gotcha. Come on. How about... Gotcha. So these are all draconic bees right here. They all actually have really no productivity, which is terrible. This one should be done faster than that one. What? Bam. He scared me. I jumped. I was like, oh, no, he's going to get me. Bam. All right, there's five. Okay, and so now I can take these home. And set up a advanced beehive and all that stuff. So now we actually have to make all these things. Oh, God. Day 48. We're not even halfway through to 100 yet. So now we need to get the advanced beehive recipes and all that stuff. We don't need none of this anymore. So we don't even have the upgrade base recipe yet. So we got to do that. We should have all of that. We have the speed upgrade recipe. We have the cone block recipe. We don't have the clock recipe. Um, we... Oh, God. I needed that in active egg. Okay. And so advanced. So we need productive oak... Did we make all these recipes already? No. Okay. Because I was like, how do I do this? So we need an expansion box. Our oak beehive. We're going to need shears. Hold on. Let's actually change that recipe. I like how the all the modium alloy axe is one of the things you can make. Can you just be normal shears, please? So we need this and then a campfire. So it knows how to make it all of that. And so now let's see if I can make the advance. I need the expansion box too. That's one of the things that I didn't make. Should be easy. Bino, 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 bino. And now I need baby upgrades. Or babby upgrades. And it can be any kind of plant here. Poppies are good. Um, but I think it could actually be rose. Can you use a rose bush for this? Can it be a rose bush or does it have to be a normal flower? Can it be a tall flower or not? I don't think you can use a tall flower. So we'll have to make this. Last time I think I think I did the mystical agriculture ones for this one. Could be wrong though. Because the baby upgrades, we need poppies, right? And there's no way to grow a poppy, I don't think. Ooh, we can grow poppies. Okay, cool. What a go- Oh. Is it all full? No. Shh. Shh. I should have used this earlier in the game. fast. Man, can I make the speed upgrades? I only need four right now. We didn't make the speed upgrade recipe. Speed upgrade is one of the things we need. Bam. Oh, I grabbed the wrong ones. And so now we need a simulator upgrade. I forgot about that one. We got to grab that one. That's an important one. 
We don't have that. We're screwed. You can also just buy poppies. Oh, you're right. I can buy poppies. Good idea. You're a genius, Lissy. Didn't think about that. Okay, and so now we really just need a dragon egg. We have an extra dragon egg. We do. Cool. Our bee is literally just going to, like, chill right here. Missing. Sh can I just make some shears? What is it? Iron? Do I need, I don't want the advanced, I want the expansion box. Okay. Simulator upgrade. I don't know if I want the baby upgrade. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't think we need the baby upgrade. But we do need the egg to be like right there. Actually, we needed to be one down. That's where the egg needs to be. And so that should work now. And so we do speed upgrades. And then because it's daytime thing here, you know, we should put this in the uh, ever bright or whatever. Straight to the star. I know a few of those. You can hear them rustling in there a whole lot faster. I think it's nighttime though, isn't it? No, it's daytime. And so this will just, we don't really need to get farther than this because we just need enough to make one of the eggs and that's pretty much it. So I've made the baby upgrade. We don't really need it. Um, and so we could just move on because that should start the bee stuff. So we're done with the bee stuff. So let's go ahead and split. And the next is the piglin heart farm. This one's kind of dumb. This is what we needed the stuff for, but we actually need hostile for this one. And so we're going to need the piglitch one. So we need a data module. Do we ever make any more of these? I don't think so. I just need one. Can I make all of these? Ooh, there's one. And then, so where is my deep learner? Remember that time we were gonna try to make all the stars? Oh man. And so this is what the ax is for. So the ax, we have a gym over here that I really like called the tyrannical gym. And so we grab a smithing thing and we throw this in here and we throw the tyrannical gym on here. This will add 15% current HP damage. How's that at the end? Are you losing a little time in the first round with immersive? I didn't know that about the Tesla coil. I learned that. Like, that was one thing I actually recently learned. Somebody, I think one of the devs actually said it, so. And so now, we just go to the other, which is why I actually have this, what is this? Dungeon other. We're gonna go here, and then I believe, as long as my game doesn't crash, the pyramid is there. Is this the lag from the pure amount of spawns here? Oh God. We probably actually probably do have to clear these out. So if you're on a single player, you probably would have a hard time clearing this out, but this is just making it where my server doesn't lag super hard. There's not like you're going to, if you're on a single player, the only way for you to do is go in there and break all the stuff. Or there's like a, I think there's a certain setting that you can turn on. I'm not hundred percent sure. But like, if you're on single player and you're doing this like me, you absolutely should just jump in and clear that out if you have cheats. And so it's not necessarily like, I'm just clearing it out because they're all from spawners and they stay. Double check it just in case. Yeah, Tesla coil, yeah, it's already there. Micro missiles as well. I didn't know micro missiles were one of the ones and I was kind of sad about it. Oh, I can fly faster. Okay. So now we just got to find a piglitch over here somewhere I am sometimes they spawn down here nope well now I'm on fire I think you need to break these spawners. And I also need a place with no light. Oh, I'm actually taking damage. Can y'all quit trying to hit me? Is that deadly poison? Oh, 
Well, we got to come over here so I don't die. As long as I don't get hit by a blaze randomly. As the witches. I was wondering when it was going to... Wait, do I not have food? Oh, God, I only have two food. Okay, so one of the things is that I actually need a place with no light. And so we need to grab out some cobblestone and make a wall, basically. If I remember correctly. Okay, so we're still in the structure. And so now, there's a little bit of light, but it now should spawn some of these guys. I don't even know if there's any spawned. That's the one problem with this is that there's so many mob spawners and stuff here. I just need to find a couple to kill is pretty much where I'm at. And I wonder if it's because I don't have the middle things spawning the pigs. I don't think that's the case. Because they still should spawn. Could just make redstone comparators. To turn all these spawners off. It's just so that they don't spawn anything. But this should definitely be spawning some stuff. Yeah. I can use the experience here, but this is the most annoying part because this part we have to see if we can spawn the pigliches here. And this kind of sucks because they should spawn wherever it's dark. I get a gem or two from this. I think I have base overheal is why I'm healing so much from these attacks. Should one shot everything. I just got to basically clear all of this. Even the babies. I know you guys still aren't spawning. Just to clear up some of the space. Oh my god. What did I get here? I need to get away before these guys hit me. So we should have these guys spawn. They should spawn on top. It's the thing. They should be spawning here. This is the hard part because this doesn't have like a clear I'm going to spawn here thing. The witches are worse. I hate them, bro. These are all flawless though. Nether site laws. Okay, so we've got to just if I hit control U, you can actually pull this list up and it'll tell you if you if it spawned one of them. And I think it might not spawn these because the pig spawner in the middle is out, but I could be wrong. This should still spawn the the guys in. Shouldn't matter. We can also come over here and turn up our simulation distance. And so that way it tries to force spawn these things in. Oh God. See how they only spawn so far. I think there might just be too many things spawning. We might not have, we might have to find another pyramid to see if we can find them because we should see these guys spawning. And I think if you take the thing out in the middle, it messes up the structure. 
but I could be wrong. Because if I, if I took them out, you would see a piglet in this list. So maybe we find another one. Which is going to kind of have to suck. So we're just going to RTP and see if I can find one. This blows. See if there's one nearby. Please be one nearby. 3,000 blocks, bro. That's not even close. We're going to turn down our view distance and simulation distance and all that. I've completely ruined the pyramid and vector plate the hell out of thing and they still spawn. So I'm not sure what's up with yours. I had the same problem before, so I'm not really sure. I don't know why I'm going that way. I think it's because everything is just there. I just generally destroy the whole pyramid and have no issues spawning before. I think the problem is that the reason why I'm having problems with them spawning is because there's too many mobs there. And so like, even now, if I hit control U, everything is despawned because I flew far enough away. So maybe that was the thing. Maybe I just needed to fly further away. I usually destroy the whole pyramid. That's usually what I do. I'm going to have a stroke watching that. That's what I normally do. And so, like, I don't know what it is, but I have a lot of hard times, like, trying to get these to spawn for whatever reason. So. Thousand blocks. Oh, I went flat. I flew past it actually. I load that many chunks. And my computer would cry and explode. Probably. I saw your message, but I have to deny it because it has the, it has a bad word in it. But I understand. And the other dimensions for all the mods nine. How do you disable it? You had to disable the mod, but like I don't suggest on doing that because it's part of it. So yeah. No, you're good, dude. Misspells, mistypes. It happens. All right, so we're over the pyramid now. Ah, piglitches. Come here, let me touch a... No, not a zombie. Piglitch. And so now we have to kill six of them. Can I please hit you? The reason why I can't hit you? There's 500. That's that's him dead. So that percentage health really helps. So now we got to find six of these guys. So that's one. Can I hit you, please? Why are they? Do they have the smallest hitbox in this size of the Mississippi? Oh, I jumped too high for that. Ooh, that hurt. Something hurt. Must have been the piglitch. I think I'm out of food. Am I out of food here? I think I'm out of food. I got a potato. How many more that I have here? You should use a drigme farm then. I've only collected two. Let's go home and back. They can't fall down a... Okay, hold on. Let's go see. Wheat. Can I make wheat from nature's essence? Okay. And so now I can just make me a ton of food here. Uh, what does this make? Bread or a toast? Now know more of that. Can you swab it? No, nah, no more swabbing. They took that away. Well, I think those. I think it actually never was allowed to be swabbed. Okay, so here we go. Okay, something just crashed me just then. Don't hit me, sir. All right, I got three more kills. 
Don't run from me. Why are you so hard to hit? Do I have to hit your feet? Good God. Two more remaining. There's the two that I need. Bro, he hit me twice and it actually almost killed me. This dude's got hands. Not too much of hands because I just killed him. Ah. Can you quit hitting me right now, witch? I'm trying. These are trying times. All right, so that's all of them. All we got to do now. Done with this place. A mob needs a spawn egg? Yeah, so this one doesn't have a spawn egg. That makes sense. Okay, so what did I get out of this? Netherite sight, howling. I got a brawler's gem. This gives you max health, armor pierce. I don't think that actually matters anymore. Uh, steel touched. Oh my god, that's a good hat. Too bad I don't care. Uh, golden sword can go in the trash can. All right, cool. So now we can put this stuff up, delete that. Put this up, delete the gym. I think I might actually need the gym later. Okay, so now we can take this wherever the hell our setup is for hostile neural networks. Where do we put our setup at? Did we get rid of it? Is it in my backpack? There's a loot fabricator. We need the data. Blah, 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 blah. A simulation chamber. Do we not have? Did we put the sim in here? Simulation chamber. Do I just need to? Did I put over here? I feel like I put it somewhere. For mythic, I don't really care for this stuff right now. Where did I put the stuff? I made stars and stuff in front of that, so I had to put it up in a backpack or something. There's the gas burning gins. It's in my backpack, isn't it? I'm just blind. It's a loot or it's a simulator. Oh, I'm not blind. I just set it up somewhere that I don't know where. Simulation chamber. Did I leave it over here somewhere? Oh, I'm wearing the oh, I'm wearing the hazmat suit. So I have overhealing on this thing then. Yeah, I have the overheal. That thing is what kept me alive. I literally fought all those things in a suit. I know where the simulation chamber is. Why are you hiding in here? Yeah, and so now this should be making me some combs. It's not going to make much, but I don't need a whole lot. So now I just need the simulation chamber here. And I need a fabricator here. And then I just need an item pipe. Oh, this is going to be tough. Because now I got to take this off. And then now I need the uh, prediction matrices. Prediction matrices. So we show those in there and then we got to take the deep learner off. Dude, I can't believe we went and fought the dude in a hazmat suit. That dude probably was terrified. He's like, what is going on here? And so this is going to suck because this, even though it has all the power and stuff that it needs, it's going to take forever for this to work. And so this is going to go output into here. And so what I'll do is I'll do a drawer. We'll lock it with the configuration tool. And, uh, blah, 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 blah. My backpack is probably giving like so many people anxiety. Okay, and so I don't want this in here. And so now once this gets in there. Yes, are you still awake? I'm still, well, I've slept. I slept for the night. If I speed this up, we're screwed. So this is gonna give me hearts. I just gotta tell it to give me hearts. It'd be like saying, are you saying that I smell so bad that you'd be in this? Wait, what are you saying? What? Yeah, hot here. Supposed to be bad weather today. So we need a total of 252 for 253 piglet tarts. And so we just got to let this simulation chamber run. This is like a very easy situ or simulation chamber. Nothing special. The piglets. Oh, I was like, what? We can get rid of the osmium site. Why would I need osmium site? We don't need the bee cages anymore. We don't need these swabs. I can make more later. We can get rid of the flint. 
the hopper, the bars. We don't need these are my good pieces of gear, those um, vector plates. Good God, there's just so much drig me shards and whatever. And so this is just to get the piglet heart farm. So this is all we have to do. And so we can split this. And so now we get the R stuff, which is why we have the R's tree in my backpack. Woo, there's a lot of R stuff here. And so the R's thing, so all we need from R's is we need a book. So we need the spell book. So we actually need each of these iron pieces here. So we need the level one spell book. There's a level one spell book. How's the babies? They're doing all right. They're a little, a little bit of a butt last night, but they're all right. And so now we can upgrade this to tier two if we had the quartz. I don't know if we care to upgrade it to tier two because we really don't need it to tier two. Uh, they can just go in the trash can. I don't know. I'm still holding on to it. All right, so we need the first book. I think I actually don't need the book at all. But we do need a couple of things. They're your kids. They're from you. I always forget. I, this, you get that from you, too. All right, so enchanting apparatus. We need the arcane core. We need the source gems. I don't think there's source gem seeds, so then we need... We don't need the table. We do need source jars. Nope, we just need the arcane pedestals. And the ritual brazier. So we need to get some lapis out. I'm a saint. Lost. Uh, and then we're going to grab these recipes. So we need some source gems too. So we need some source stone. And so that's going to come from source gems. And guess how you make source gems? Embuement chambers. So guess how you make embuement chambers? These. Wee. We need a whole lot of source here, but this should be enough. Okay, and so now we need these things to be source gems. And so when these things get done, what was I gonna do? Oh, speedy uppy wand. Where's my speedy uppy wand? There she is. Speedy uppy wand. I don't know how many source gems we need, but we're gonna pump them all into here. There you go. I got you some some leet. Love you. Oh come on, get in there. Love you. Hope you're. I hope everything's going well and you're okay. S storms are supposed to come out tonight, just so you know. Sweet is where sweet is where you sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we talking about now? I'm confused. It's on the way. What's on the way? What am I losing? I can't use it unless I have up to three here. And so this should give me some source gems. And so now I should be able to make this source stone. I don't know how much I need, but we need to make the pedestals here. I think we need, I think we're gonna need the pedestals later. Cause we need, we need the ritual thing first. So we're, we're going to need the ritual brazier or whatever. Brazier, 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 bras, brazier. Uh, the different ways to say that. Lily said you're losing your mind. I'm losing my absolute mind right now. Now we need the wild and tribute one. So we need this thing. So how do I not? Okay, hold on a second. We need the tablet of the wild and so I actually need a couple of these. I actually haven't gotten any wild in any things right now. So I actually have to make this first. So I can kill the things to get the initial things. Oh God. And I also just realized that I just broke down all the trees. What type of, uh, I need vexing. Where's the vex? Is that a vexing tree? That's a flourishing tree. You vexing cascading. 
vexing. Thank you. Okay, cool. And so now I should be able to make these because I'm going to need like one of these for now just so I can kill the things. And so I need this for the ritual thing here. So I'm actually just going to take this over here, plop this down, throw this in there and turn it on. And that would just kill things. Come on, bro. Why did you hit me like that? Probably going to need more than one, depending on what spawns. All right. There's two out of three. Hello. I probably need. Okay. Yep. I'm going to need another one. Hello, bro. You're not what I need to kill. I need to switch armors though. Okay. So there's two out of three. We need one other thing. So we got to make another one. Dun, 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 dun. There you are. At least we can make some leather now. Oh God, that dude just spawned in my face. If it wasn't for the overheal, I would absolutely die here. Okay, so now we need to make one more. Before we do that, we need to put on our armor. Just hope we don't ever go back there when it's messed up. And so now we need to do this. So we need one of each thing here. So we're going to go here. This is probably a bad spot to fight this guy. This is probably a really bad spot. Brazier? Yeah, I just like to say bra. Is this going to summon this guy? Oh, there you are. What up, buddy? Oh, you look a whole lot different than you did before. Can you not go towards those guys, please? Come over here. Can you come over here? I really hope that doesn't do any damage to something. Can I hit you or are we just going to look at each other? Come here. I think I actually one hit him. Come on, come on, run over here. Oh, you look real cuddly right now. Bro, you just got two tapped. Come on now. And so now we need, we don't need the Archmage's spell book. We need this. So the enchanting apparatus. And that means we need the arcane core. So this enchanting apparatus. So what does go? This arcane core goes here. Chanting apparatus, we need some more of those ritual stones or whatever. God, we didn't even need the book, bro. I don't know why I have the book. And so now we need some arcane pedestals. I need like eight of these, right? I can't even remember how many we need. How many do we need to make this? We're doing this to do the summoning thing, the focus of summoning. So we need five. Perfect. Cause that's all I can make. No recipe found pestle. What? what? Cool. And then now we just need these things. So we need to pull out a gold ingot. And we need this. Eight is the max. I think I don't need eight for this one. So one of each horn, golding it, plus the thing in my boobler. Just going to accidentally build a whole bunch of stuff. What we get? We're missing the horn. And then what's in the center of this? Our source gem block. Hey yeah. Sorry, wrong recipe. Yeah, there's, I think the max recipe is that. And so this should give us the summoner's focus. And I think that's all we need for this. Let me double check. It's in the chapter three. That's not in this one because I haven't updated. Pretty sure it's just this that I need to make the dragon thing. And I think that's all you need for Mars. And so that finishes the R stuff. Split. So cultism stuff, this stuff is actually pretty easy. Oh man, we actually might get this in time. We might actually get this in time. That's kind of funny. Of 
cool. So, okay. Um, cultism stuff is actually pretty easy. So we need a couple of things from here. So I'm just going to hold A over here. Meow. Um, I wonder if I back this up with seeds yet. I almost did. We're good on honey seeds. We don't need them anymore. Okay. So now we need for occultism. We need the gym. We need the actuator. So we're going to grab this recipe, this one, and this one. And those are for those. And then we're going to need... Cultism needs a lot of chalk, so we're going to need one of each chalkier. Right? So then we're going to need the chalk brush, because I swear to God, if I don't have the chalk brush, I'm going to cry deeply in Spanish. What is it that I'm missing here? Wool? String? You know what we don't have? Emeralds. Okay, so to make this one, we need Strigor's Higher Bound Binding. Do we have the demon fruit stuff yet? No, we don't. So we need to actually go back to the overworld to get that. I kind of want to... I'm kind of scared. I want to go back and check our, check on our stuff. See if our antimatter... If we're making antimatter, it'll all be here. Oh, God, we're halfway through antimatter. Should get some bone meal out. So we can just bone meal this and get it from here. Uh, demons for dream seeds, fruit seeds. Cool. Hmm. Don't we have a spot over here that I used? Bone meal. I love this. Uh, we're literally just growing this for the fruit. Okay. Should be a good amount of fruit here. Okay, now we need a book. Boom, 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 boom. Am I not am I tripping here? Let's go get it from occultism. Cultism. What up? Das, dude. What up, buddy? Oh, it's the seeds. Yo, what up, Das, dude? How are you doing, man? I'm actually going pretty fast. Thank you for the 52 months. That's insane. We're going to come over here. We're going to click all this, and this will complete all of this. And so now we need to figure out the rituals. The first one, the occultism. This one's Strigor's, Strigor's Higher Binding. We also need to do um, the crusher. So you need uh, this guy right here, summon foliate crusher. We need this recipe. And so we also are going to need the sacrificial bowls, the golden sacrificial bowls. We're going to need that. Um, and this ritual, so AVR circle. So AVR circle It's going to be one of the first ones we're going to get done. But we got to get all the demon stuff first. Um, so we need to grab out my flint and steel, wherever that's at. All right. And we're going to set fire to stuff real quick. Okay. So we're going to get some anisite here, which I should have some of my bike pikey. I'm not your buddy, little turd. You love me and you know it. Okay. That was oddly a, more aggressive than I thought it was going to be. And so we're going to get out an oak sapling because we're going to convert those over as well. We only need one. So we're just going to, here's what we're going to do. We're going to throw this down, bam, and then we're going to set this on fire, bam, and then we're going to just throw these in there, and we'll convert that. I'm going to grab some diamonds here, because we're going to need it. God, I needed some diamonds going. Diamonds, bam. That's going to get all those. And then we're going to throw this. I can't remember what Spirit Fire all does, so we're going to make... I need ink, I know that. Do I have any ink? I think I actually need to go get some ink. If I hit you here, I'm pretty sure I need ink. Oh, black dye is what I need. And so we need the other wood war. Yeah, black dye. So black dye, we should know how to make. I still don't know what you're doing. Half the time, I don't know what I'm doing. So don't worry. And then now we need to grow this other world sapling. And so it doesn't matter what we do because we can't. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. We can't actually see this until we. Oh, my God. There's so many dumb seeds in my inventory. Why are there so many dumb seeds? Okay, so we got to eat this fruit. 
until we see Jesus, okay? Cool, we see Jesus. And then we're going to do this again. We got to make sure we see Jesus when we break this or it doesn't work. Can you not? If you don't see Jesus, it doesn't work. Okay, so now we have some of these other wood. I think I actually have to smelt these down. And the spirit fire is the other thing. And that gives me the other world ashes. Control you. Go. Oh, hold on. There's the ashes, and then we combine this with burnt other stone, which is smelted stone. Which, by the way, did I put all that up? I did. We'll get this a little bit later, but we want to smelt some stuff. Mm -mm -mm. How you been, Doss? Okay. And so now we should be able to make the chalk. Because we only need one. Or we need one, two. Oh, we're going to need more wood. We're going to need more wood. Actually, or are we? I don't think we need more wood now. I think we're actually good. Unless we need that for some other things. It's just for the chalk. Oh, just sweet baby Jesus. Thank you. But we are going to need to set this on fire again. So this time we're going to do it on other stone. And so that way it just, we're just going to go put it over here next to this stuff. So we're going to put this up here. We're going to set this on fire. Oh, hold on. I got to throw the demon's fruit first. Bam. And now that's permanent. And so now I can take this chalk, turn it into normal chalk. We need to make gold chalk which I already have over here as a recipe. Should be able to make this, right? Is gold the one that you need? You need gold dust for. So let me grab some gold dust. And bam. And I think you can only make two chalks, right? Because the red chalk, you need the aphrodescence. I don't even think we need the red chalk, right? Red chalk, 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 chalk. We need the end stone. That's what it is. And so we should be able to throw this. And then now we need to make the stuff. So we need to make the sacrificial bowls. I don't remember how many we need exactly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we would need one golden sacrificial bowl. So we're going to need to make one more of these. And then we need to make the spirit of tune crystals. So we need candles too on top of that. So we need these. And then we need to put that up, 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 put that up. And then we need to go ahead and make, let's see, what is it? I think we should be able to summon the first dude. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to need to go grab AVR circle, which is, should be this one. Let's just go to the pinnacles. Let's grab AVR circle. Let's grab that, throw the sucker down. We need candles. That's what we need. So we see Jesus. It's true, though. So we should make a Minecraft candle, which is just wax, which is what we made over here in our centrifuge, wherever the heck that is. Where do we put our centrifuge? Wasn't it over here? Oh, yeah. It's over here. Nice centrifuge. Okay, so candles, vanilla candles actually work. Oh, we could have used wax, too. Our normal stuff. Okay, so this needs four candles. So one, two, three, four. And now we need white chalk. So boop, 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 boop. And then did I miss a block? Oh, the golden sacrificial bowl in the center. So we're going to throw this down and then that'll finish this. Now in this first one, we need four. So I know we need four bowls in this one. One, two, three, four. And so what we're going to be making here is this is with AVR circle. We need raw iron, raw gold, raw copper, raw silver. So I need to come over here. And I'm going to get rid of this out of this one because we've got it all in here. Raw gold, raw iron. Well, no raw copper. Let's see what raw things we have in here. Well, actually, I wonder. Is it all in here? Do we have any raw copper or anything in here? Oh, God. Do I have to go get some raw copper and gold? You know what? We need to get all the modium and stuff down here anyway. We... Yeah. Might as well grab some. We're going to need a bunch of these.
Fortune 5 usually helps, but right now my fortune is not actually working. I'm not very fortunate with fortune. That time I got four, that time I got five. That's cool. Do I have silver in here? I do. And then gold. Do we have raw gold in here? I need to get gold. So raw gold. Raw iron. Is raw iron in my back or my pack? Didn't I mine iron or am I tripping? I'm tripping. Say so raw silver, raw gold. And what was the other one? Raw copper. I know that I got in my dank. Yo. FQ, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. I'm going to put this. Ooh, stop. Put that all the money I'm up for now. Four candles. Yeah. Silver. Iron. This. Now we need to make the middle part. So the middle part takes a book of binding, a foliate. So we need to make a bunch of these. Bam, bam. And then now we need to make the book and quill. Oh God, we need ink sacks. Oh, that's not good. We need to go kill us a squid real quick. Y'all remember when we killed squids in the rem or the beginning? Me too. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Squid, 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 squids. squids. I just need to talk to you about our bam. What'd you drop me? Six. That's all you got. I might need a little bit more. Hey, sir. There's 12. Slash home. Okay. We're going to lag when we load here. That's fine. All right. So now we should be able to make this with the ink sacks. Should be able to make this book and quill. We're going to need a couple of these, just so you know. And we're going to make this, and this will summon the foliate crusher. So we're going to need to grab this. We're going to grab this, and then we're going to make sure that we pull this down. And so do we have any end stone in here? We put end stone in our... Oh, no, I know. I have something in here. We only need him to crush down a little bit, so... We need him to, we know, give him this. We're going to get our handy dandy speedy uppy wandy so this guy doesn't take forever to come in. I think it's hitting the. Okay, take forever anyway. Cool. Hurry up. Take this. Make it snappy. Bro, he crushing. Okay. And so now we should take this chalk. We need some crushed obsidian. What do we need? Obsidian. We need two of these. That's why we made four. And that makes us the purple chalk. Okay, we just threw it on the ground. That's my favorite. And so now we have the purple chalk. I think, do we need the red chalk for the soul thing? I don't think so. So we have, the next one is the storage actuator base. So we need, uh, is Evibus, Azevius is whatever thing, this one right here. We're going to need one of these. We're going to need the gold one, which we didn't make the gold. Wait, we did make the gold one. Hold on a second. So white, gold. And now we need the candles. Do we make a bunch of candles or am I tripping? Did he post the speedrun list? No, I have not. And so now we need the golden sacrificial bowl, which is over here, just chilling by this guy, which I was actually accidentally going to kill. You know what I'm just saying? Just boop. He's just kind of vibing, bro. And so this is, again, we just need four. And so for this recipe, not this one, we need the 
Oh, that's not it. We need this one right here. This is the recipe that we're going to need. We're going to need one of these. Is that the right one? So we need an other stone pedestal, which is kind of annoying. So one of those is going to be another stone pedestal. And then we need three gold ingots. And then we're going to combine this. Wait, hold on. Did we, did we throw in our book of demons? Book of demon. I don't think we did. Do we have it? Oh, God, we did. What is it called? Book of, no, it's not called, it's called a dictionary of spirits. Dictionary. I always talk about how you shouldn't do that. Okay, so dictionary, we throw that down. We're going to summon this guy real quick. And this, actually, not even a summon. Can I hit this in the middle and it make it faster? Oh, yeah, it's the middle. Bam. Okay, so we need two of these. So I should have made two of these. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, he's going so fast. Ever get bored of Minecraft? Dude, I'm always bored of Minecraft. I'm going to be real with you. I, it's because I speed run it, run it. It's my job. So that's really all it is, is like, I would love to, like, I there's plenty of things I want to do. Like, I love playing, like, so many different games, but I'm stuck in the sense that I have to play Minecraft for a lot of the times. Okay, so now we need to make the this part. And so we need Strygor's higher binding for this. I'm pretty sure we need two of these. So we're going to close that out and we're going to find his higher binding. Pretty sure we need this for a couple of things. But yeah, I mean, do we need the per we need we don't need the red chalk for this. Okay, cool. We just need the purple one. I mean, I like Minecraft, don't get me wrong. I like speedrunning. I think speedrunning is a ton of fun. The only thing that I don't like about this is that like, I'm kind of like, I have to stream Minecraft. That sucks. I wish I didn't have to stream Minecraft. Not in the sense that, like, nobody's forcing me to. But I'm doing it because, like, when it comes to my career, it's part of it. I think a lot of people don't realize it's, like, there's a lot that goes into what people have to do for streaming. So, like, if I stream and I stream something other than Minecraft, I pretty much lose all of my viewership. And so... When you're like, Alfred, you know, just stream the things you want to then. You shouldn't have to worry about whatever other people are thinking. Well, it does attack your brand when you do that. So when you choose to stream something like that, people, like there are a lot of people in the um, community and not just my community, but in general on Twitch and um, that have a lot, like base your value a lot off of whether or not you are uh, like, have a high average or whatever. And so a lot of streamers will tell you about this, the more of an average, a higher average that you get, you'll actually get way more people to come and watch you. So I need three blocks of quartz, 200 pearls. So it's one of those things that's kind of like, man, does it suck? But like, also it's not the worst thing in the world. Like this is a pretty good job. Uh, I actually really like my job. I like being able to do what I do. We need green dye. But it could be worse. We need two of these. Yeah, I don't want people thinking, though, that, like, I like Minecraft. I do like it. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't do what I'm doing. But at the same time, it gets relatively old whenever you do the same thing over and over and over, you know? So, yeah. With some just chatters to start playing M's and all of a sudden they start. Yeah. I mean, it's the same thing. What up, Darpy? Become it the whore. We what? I do get bored of it. No, I would love to watch this chatting and community night streams with you. And you know, so the thing is, is, I do enjoy having those moments where a lot of people actually do come around and watch my streams because they want to actually watch my streams. And I think that's really dope. But the thing is, is like everybody not saying that you're not being truthful on that. And that's one of the things that I always do is I try to like, 
be a part of my community a lot. And so right now, if you wanted to be a part of my community, you could easily be a part of my community if you come and play WoW with us, if you're playing WoW. If you play Overwatch, you can come and join us. There's like We have servers running all the time. The only thing is that I might not have the time to always play these things, and so I have to end up like not being around for some of them. Okay, so this is the same thing here, which is pretty good. We just have to get the stuff for this one. Stragglers higher binding or whatever. So now we need four soul sand, gold, copper, silver, diamond. Soul sand. Do we have soul sand in here? Um, copper. Diamond. Silver was the other one, right? Not all of it. Diamond to do gold. But yeah, it just depends on what's going on. A lot of people, I'm not necessarily like, oh, people aren't going to do this or people aren't saying being truthful, but like being a streamer is usually a pretty lonely thing. Like most people will want to do it because they're chout, or clout chasing. And so it's just kind of like a oof thing. Like, and uh, you have to be careful a lot of the times. I don't think that a lot of people like viewers clout chase, but there's definitely a lot of streamers that do it. And it makes it a little bit more difficult whenever you have to like put your guard up here and there. But also parasocial relationships is definitely a real thing. Like a real, real thing. Like people, a lot of people want your time when you're a streamer. And so that's one of those things where it's like, it can suck. Okay. So we have everything from occultism now. That's everything that we need. So we're going to split this. So split. So now we got to get the twilight for stuff. I really don't want to get this stuff. How are we doing on stars? Are we going to get there? Oh my God, we only need 30,000 stars left. That's actually not bad. How are we doing on antimatter? We still only have five. Why do we only have five? Um, why do we only have five? Please don't tell me this sucker blew up. Ooh, no. Please don't tell me it blew up. <sighs> Oh, I'm out of fissile fuel. Why well, am I out of fissile fuel? It turned off, but I'm out of fissile fuel. What did I do to get out of fissile fuel? What is missing over here? Is all of this out of power? Am I tripping right now? Oh my God, I just realized I'm out of, where am I? That's got plenty of yellow cake. That's got plenty of sulfur dust. That should be outputting all of this. Where is the holdup on this? Okay, so this doesn't have anything in it. This is uranium oxide. It's missing the stuff over here, right? Oh God, it's missing fluorite. Am I out of fluorite? I don't have the things broken down into seeds. That's a problem. So we need to plant these seeds back. I knew I was going to... I knew I was going to get in trouble for planting all these redstone seeds. I don't really need all the honey seeds anymore. I don't know why I just got rid of all of this. That could have been all redstone seeds. But we can get rid of this and plant the fluorite seeds. And just have those growing. And so that way it has a bunch of fluorite that it can use. Cool. Speed run ruined? Bro, that actually could have just stopped the whole speed run right there. That could have stopped the whole thing. That could have actually, like, I could have ended the whole speed run because I messed that up. That could have been real bad. How much? Why has it only got 512? It's activated. Its burn rate is 512.
I'm still halfway through, so I sh still should be fine. Only producing 512? Yeah, fissile fuel is only producing 512 per tick. And so 512 per tick is actually perfect. Because 512 is what I want to produce. 715 is the max. And so 512 will still get this done in about three hours of in-game time. And so as long as this doesn't mess up like it just did, I should produce antimatter fast enough to do this. This should be perfectly fine as long as it has the 512 that's happening. All right, so now we got to do the Twilight stuff, and we're actually going to cheese the ever-living hell out of Twilight. And I'm super excited to, to get rid of, like, to do it because it's, it's so cheesy. And I'm so tired of doing Twilight, I'm going to be honest with you. So tired of doing it. I've done it so many times. I hear him home. The boys are home. All right, actually, this is a good time to pause. Okay, so let's let's resume. We gotta go make some seeds. So let's go make some seeds. I can still talk while I do this. We gotta continue. We gotta put this up. We finished the occultism stuff. I really hope I got all the occultism stuff. So how much all the modium do we have? All the modium, because we could easily go mine all the modium. I don't actually need to be all the modium. Did we put the raw ore up in here? I did. We're gonna grab that out and then grab this. We can make the seeds. I need, I don't know if I need a lot of, I can just farm this. I can just literally make the seeds, bro. I could just go grab them all, okay? Uh, can we see the butt cushion again? You could once upon a time over the rainbow, but not right now, no. I got so much stuff in my back of I'm just gonna throw that away. Um, so I can watch some All The Mods 9. That's where I'm at, bro. I wanna finish so I can get to All The Mods 9. Okay, so we need to get some vibranium and some, uh, uh vibranium and all unobtainium. So do we have much vibranium in here? Oh God, is that enough? Do we have any vibranium? Did I put it over here in the bag? Where's the bag? Where is the, where did I put the bag? Oh, there's a bag. Is there vibranium in here? Oh God, there it is. There's all the money I was looking for too. So we need, oh God, we need some vibranium. Do we just need one ingot to make the side potion and then we need unobtainium. So we need one to make the ingot. So. Do, 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 Oh, it's day 51. Oh my God. We're not going to make it. It's not going to, we're not going to have enough time. One, two. All right. So this is just going to give us some vision. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to smelt these two. And so we're going to do powder. I don't know if y'all know if my little feet, these are bouncing. They're not really little. We don't do little around these parts. We need some mundane. Do we have any more mundane potions on me? Bottle. So one, two, three. I think I'm actually going to make the charm for these. I said I wouldn't, but I think I'm actually going to. Oh, this needs to be redstone. And now they always say congratulations. What up, Ruthless? Glue, glue, glue. Do we get the other powder? Powder? Vibranium site, cool. So where is the bot? Did I, okay, one, one, two, three. Glug, glug, glug. Glug, glug, glug. Okay, so we're gonna grab 12 vibranium 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 charm unobtainium 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 poof okay so the easiest way to find vibranium is actually going to uh the nether believe it or not the nether is actually easiest way to get there i'm gonna stream at four and now it's eight i took a nap my dinner is was crispy cream donuts crispy cream crispy cream you had Krispy Kreme? What kind of Krispy Kreme are you on? I had to have a little peek. Chosen's videos are, are slow. But that dude posts every day. What do you mean? That man posts more than I do. What do you mean? That dude's insane. He is insane. Always makes my tongue itch. All right, let's see if we can find some vibranium.
Watch me find it in this charm site not work. Oh, the run's going well? It is. It's, ooh, there's some right there. What up, baby? Beautiful. Ooh, original glaze? Bro, glaze? You don't like the raspberry-filled ones? Oh, my God. Those are so good. I'm a huge fan of the raspberry ones. Oh, God. That's going to be my weakness. I'm going to be real with y'all. <gasps> That's got a load to be finding that one. You can find them anywhere on the ceiling, the wall. They're going to be anywhere there's, you can see, it's anything above 64. So it'll be anywhere, pretty much. As long as it's, like, along the wall or the ceiling. But it pretty much has to be in Netherrack. So, like, right here, I'm not going to find it because it's not Netherrack. This is a different kind of Netherrack, so. We have to get away from this biome. Or we have to fly in this biome, but more. Oh god, this is not good. Oh, that's not what I need. Oh, we're gonna run out of the charm. Okay, we might find it here, right? No, because this biome isn't gonna work either. Oh my god. I love raspberry field. Oh my god, they're so good. Dude, the raspberry filled ones are so good, though. Now, do I have to randomly teleport to find an actual good place to find these things? Because you're not going to find them in there in these biomes that has like this. RTP. I love those. Every day is not five, five, wait, like I need. Wait, what? Dude, listen, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest with you. I hate that I can't up like upload more than one video a week or one video a month like that sucks four attempts don't tell me i just went to the same biome i'll be upsetty spaghetti i hate it like i would love to upload more but like i can't it doesn't have to be warped or crimson it's in any biome now in the nether see we're in glowstone gardens we need 18 to make one seed you just need to find a place with netherrack because it only spawns around with netherrack places like on the ceiling or whatever. It's mostly on the ceilings. You can find on the edges of the walls and stuff, but it's mostly on the ceilings. I'm stuck on something. Yep. What up, TM Evans? You maybe know why? It might be disabled. If you're talking about all the mods 9, it's, I think it's disabled. I'm not trying to... Why is this? Is this the wall? Oh, no. Don't let this be the wall. Bro, I hate this biome. Get, let me go. Oh, there's some over there. Wait. Ow! I need 18 per thing, so I'm going to take 36 to make two seeds. I don't actually need a whole lot of seeds. Honestly, I should be spending more time. Ooh. That's going to be a juicy one. Is this exposed? Why is this not exposed to air? Oh, it is exposed to air. Are you winning? I'm getting there. It's getting the all the mod star is what I'm going for. What up, guys? It's me. The guy who literally would love to trade with y'all a little bit more. Ow. <gasps> Ooh. I need 36 total. Ooh. Wee. Where's that other piece at? Ooh. Yeah, this is this is a hive one. Y'all just got back from the gym? Oh, God. Okay, there's that. So now we go to home. God, I should have looted that chest. But out of interest, what happened to the, uh, the 100 plays? So, so I'm continuing those. I'm just going to upload all of them. And so it's going to take me like eight months if I were to just work on just that video alone. So instead, I'm just going to upload what I have. And then um, unobtainium is the end. So we got to go then. And then hope that's enough. 
So we need to go RTP here. I don't think I can RTP here. So we actually need to go get out of here. I think the fastest, let me do in Highlands Biome with the Nature's Compass. So instead what I'm doing is I'm just uploading the rest of them that I have and I'm just going to send them, I'm going to shoot them out for people to watch and uh, it's not going to be heavily edited. It's not going to have any voiceover or anything, but I just want to get closure for you guys. And so the reason why I'm doing this is so this speed run right here, I was going to do a last speed run anyway. And so this is all going on YouTube and I'm going to focus on putting this on YouTube because it's going, to, this is something where my voiceover is already with it. And so I don't have to like struggle and take a lot of time to be able to get it all done. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's where I'm at right now. I wish it was different, but this is how it's going to be. So I want to get those series done. I'm doing the, all the mods, all the mods nine start too. And, uh, I would love to do more with them. I would love to do more, all the mods nine stuff or all the mods like playthroughs, but I personally prefer doing like, um, like, my video series where I'm like, uh, my tutorials and stuff. I love doing those. Those are like my favorite. And so if I could do those all the time, I would. They're also the ones that I feel like do the best, but, uh, I'm going to continue my playthroughs. I'm just going to only continue my playthroughs based on from stream. So I'm going to stream the playthroughs. This is the end. This is not an end Highlands biome. These are not considered high in Highlands biome. We got to find some more. Do you know what I mean? So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Bro, this music has got me pumped, actually. This is an end Highlands biome. I saw some. When I was playing the body of the moose, I'm still playing with the body of the moose. I'm so behind, though, because I know a lot of people are playing all the mods 9. I want to start an all the mods 9 series. I'm sad that I haven't. And, like, I'm a little upset that I'm, like, so behind. And I have so many things that I want to do. And I feel like all the hype is going to be dead by the time I would ever get that video out. And on top of that, every video that I do for my channel, if it's not, um, like if I do the video, the all the mods, uh, eight video and like keep working at it with a quality level that I have, it would literally take me, like I said, like eight more months. And every video that I post is going to get like less people are going to watch. And I've already proven this with my past are my past five videos. So it's like one of those things It's like, imagine basically spending eight months on videos that it's going to slowly become where less and less people watch. And so it's like, man, at what point do I start like doing things that like would speed up the progression of the channel? Like it'd speed up the idea that people would be able to watch in different ways. Like I would much more prefer to do the playthroughs on my YouTube and then go from there. An awesome server for the wife and I to make our home, and we've been having such a fun. My wife is a super invested in my cause. I've been focusing on trying to get a P and then just starting to learn some mods, but probably mostly magic based. I love magic mods, dude. Magic mods are so much fun. There's um, like I've been I've been slowly falling in love with magic mods more and more. There should be plenty of unobtainium now. I don't know how much as it is total, but it should be plenty. So we're gonna get these seeds going. I need a total of 252 unobtainium, so this is like not too far off than what I need. But I can make these seeds out of it if I make these into blocks. So I need four blocks per seed. And so then we need insanium for this. Is it insanium seeds? Insanium blocks. One, two, three, four. We have plenty of insanium. Is it a prosperity base seed too? Yes. But I, I feel like awful that this is kind of where things are. I would love to change things up to be where I can make things a little bit better for everybody. I would love for it to be like, like I hired an editor and I'm really excited for what me and my editor are going to be doing. But I feel really bad in the sense that like, I don't think it's going to work out in terms of if I spent all my time working on this video, I feel like it'd probably end up being something rough. So it's not too laggy. Usually that's pretty laggy. Okay. And so just so you guys know, you need magical soil for this. And so magical soil actually takes four dragons, whatever. So we actually got to go kill the dragon. 
Did I put the dragon stuff up over here? So there's, it takes four dragon scales to make this magical soil. And so you need insanium blocks plus insanium farmland. Okay. Insanium. I'm going to make what? Three seeds. So I need three. I need dirt. And then I need a hoe. So I need to disable this. And we need three of these. I couldn't something with a baking grease. Hold on. That's not what I mean. Oh God. What have I done? This needs to be insane in blocks. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we need 12 of those. Okay. So that should do it to make me some magical soil. As soon as I speed this up, it should be instant as soon as it puts the block there. Oh, do I have to put the block there? Oop. Should be instant. Unless I didn't hit it right. All right, three magical soil. So I should be able to pick this up out of here. And so let's go ahead and get these seeds done. And so how we would have to do this is that it's actually not good to put this on this kind of farmland. So we replace these right here with the three. So we get rid of these redstone seeds and then we plant one, two, three. So we can grab the unobtainium essence out of here and the vibranium essence. It's not going to make extra seeds. There is no way for it's going to make extra seeds. And so I'm going to put these in here. All the modium I can just farm. That's not that hard to do. Okay, so it's time for the twilight cheesing stuff. Twilight cheesing is fun. Deleted, 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 deleted. We still have an obtainium running us. So we need the structures compass and the nature's compass. And so we have this. So we need a destruction gadget because we're going to cheese this hardcore. And so I think I actually have to go to the other world. Let me see. Diamond. Water. And then I was growing a poppy over here. Was I not? Did I not place this with a poppy? Am I tripping? I thought I grew this with a poppy. I think I can just grab a bunch of roses. Question is, how is the hearts going over here? Do we ever set this up? Oh God, we did not. Does it have any more predictions? So we need 250 something, so that's fine. That's not too far off. You can use saplings if I recall. I think this is fine. I'm just, just going to go here and just kind of wing it. It's not that big of a deal in my opinion. I don't know if it needs a clear view of the sky or not. That might be a problem. Oh, look, that's perfect. The song is not hype, but it works. Bam, Twilight. I bet my portal in cave. Okay, 
It's good to know. All right, so now we're gonna cheese this hardcore. First one up is the Naga. I usually you just literally spawn in. It's funny because I was just watching them do this yesterday. I was just watching um, Dark Fan do this. Well, that cut him in half. Do I have my? Okay, there's part of him. Come here. Oh, he's dead. Hate these random things. There should be a chest that spawns. Yep, there it is. And so the only reason I'm grabbing this is because I need that. I need that. So I actually follow the Twilight Forest progression. So I look at it here. The next one is the, the Twilight Lich Castle. So we just go Twilight Forest. Castle. I think it's the Lich Cast Lich Tower. Uh, 293 blocks the Disa way. How's your axe so strong? Uh, it's enchanted to do basically, what, 29% health damage. So it just does 29% per hit. Uh, and then it, it executes at 100 or whatever. Uh, or, sorry, at 9. What up, dude? This one actually almost kills me because I'm really bad at it. Hit me. Throw something at me. Oh, God. Because this actually hurts. Is that the real one? That is the real one. Did I break your shield yet? Come on, one more. No, let me hit you one more time. Bro, why is this book not dead yet? Come on, let me hit that shield. Is that the periodic table of elements right there? Why is that there? All right, he died. Cool. Why is there a periodic element? Kind of funny. Or periodic table of the elements or whatever. Okay, so we need all this stuff. We don't need the bushes or anything like that. We're good to go. What have been, Drax? How you doing? I'm doing all right. Yeah, so it's my axe is pretty strong. And so the next part of this is we got to go to the swamps and go to the maze. Oh, man, I, mess, I messed up. And so we go swamp. Uh, we go maze, I think, is what we type in. Hedge maze. No, not the hedge maze. Twilight forest. Not the hedge maze. This is called the labyrinth. 357 blocks of these away. Y'all are going to hate me for what I'm about to do. Y'all are going to be like, why are you like this? Uh, I, I got a guide on how to do that. No, or no, but seriously, on how to do what? The axe? I don't know. Y'all are going to be like, why are you like this? We're going to need torches in my offhand. Is that the boss? Oh, it's just a spawner. Why struggle when you don't have to? And now I can just take this chest for free, which we actually need to do this so I can grab the steel leaf stuff, which I can, I don't think I could disenchant the steel leaf stuff, but that's fine. Just going to do this to find the hole in the ground. I so struggled so hard with this last night. What, doing this steel leaf? We need a lot of steel leaf, so I'm okay with that. I'm gonna just using this and it just de deletes everything. I mean, I don't know why I'm not going to sit here and do all of this. And, and I think you should. I think if you've never done this before, you absolutely should. Don't let me stop you from telling you you shouldn't. But, like, I've done this so many times. I'm speed running. Night vision would be handy. It would be handy. I can easily give myself night vision. Ironwood? Am I tripping or do I need that? I don't think I actually need that. 
guys are a little annoying. I'm really just here for the steel leaf stuff. Not really a lot of steel leaf either. Usually you can find a steel leaf in these things. I don't, I, the iron wood ingots I don't need. I need steel leaf. Ah, we almost got enough steel leaf for what I need. I think we have enough for what I, what I plan on doing anyway. These guys are just chilling. If I can break bedrock, bro, I would. There it is right there. There's my entrance down. We, And now we just go down here until we find the hole. Well, so we're just looking for the hole. It'll actually spawn the entire spawner. It won't get rid of the spawner. I've learned this. So, like, I went and tested this before yesterday. I'm going to make sure we get these chests. Now we don't even have to make the steel leaf thing that I was going to do. But yeah, we're doing a speed run, run so I'm kind of like trying to hurry it up before the storm gets here. But if I want to talk... Ooh, that looks like a really good chest. Hold on, let's get rid of all that so that way I can get all this. Make sure there's nothing in here. Ironwood, maze breaker. You can use the maze breaker, breaker to like break through the stuff, but it's not that big of a deal. Steel leaf is what I need it for. I'm, oh god, we got a lot of steel leaf in that one. Cool. What I miss, we're just cheesing this real quick. Is that the spawner? There he goes. All right, that should finish this. We should get the chest in the middle. We got to drink. We got to eat this Meef stroganoff. And then I believe now we go to the Hydra, right? Yeah. Oh, God. It's just going to happen when you least expect it. Oh, my God. I'm literally just going to be sitting here just like, where? when is going to What is going to happen? Where is the, the place out of here? There it is. Only problem with this cheese is that if I, I can actually legitimately just not know how to get out of here. Oh God. So I could just spawn back home and then go out from there. We need the, le the Hydra layer. So I had a problem with the Hydra layer actually. There it is. So I don't know if it'll actually work out or not. So we'll see. Guarantee it's not a day this man. Dude, thank you for all the gifted subs. I appreciate that. Hydra layer. Okay, so let's hope that I can kill this guy in a couple of hits. Oh god. I do like no damage to him. That probably sounds awful to you guys. Way there. Hydra can't really cheese. I think you do more damage when you hit him when he's like on fire, I think. Oh, there he goes. He dies. Oh, we got a good bit of fiery blood there. All right. Next up is the Enter the Dark Forest. This one is. Four. We're going to need to get the Night Stronghold. All right, but I actually have to take a break. All right, let's run it back. Let's keep going. We got to keep going and get this Twilight stuff done. So we got to go this way. If you thought I cheesed the last one, just you wait. We're going to really cheese this one. I should have, we're going to use the Fiery Blood later. Just making sure I can get rid of all the stuff in my inventory that I don't need, like the string and stuff. I don't need I I don't think I need the fire chest plate, so I'm gonna get rid of that too. And so here is the dark forest. Fun fact about the dark forest is that it can all be deleted. I don't actually want to do this. I just want to do this to get inside of it. Giggity. I just want to get underneath it here because the problem is is there's this there's this place. This I have to put a Poor, I'd have put some kind of like um, one of the things here. Can you not right now, dude? Oh, I need to actually hold on a second. How did I think about this? I need to swab one of these guys, I think. Can't remember which one gives me the stuff. Or maybe I could just kill him. Pretty sure I could just kill him. 
fortunate nugget. Why do you, why is this, why can these things be, I don't understand. And now it's like, oh man, you made it. And I'm like, but did I though? I'm literally just going to cheese this. Oh, we got to kill these guys. And so they give me these scraps. Did I just cut that dude in half? We need the armor shards, and this gives me the armor cluster, which gives me this. So I need nine per ingot, and I need nine ingots, so I need 81. So I need like a stack and a half of these armor shards. And so I can always just do this and grab the stuff in the chest. A lengthy iron. Usually I swab these guys and make a thing for them. My vision would be real good here. Ooh, armor shark. These slime beetles are annoying. So this won't actually delete what I'm supposed to fight. What's that trash shortcut? The delete key. Oh, is this it right here? Oh, this is just the guys that I gotta kill. And so I can actually just spawn or speed this up. And since I have fortune on this ax, just get all the stuff that I need from this real quick. God, you guys are so annoying. All right, so that should be enough there. Nine. Perfect. Okay, so this is all to make... So if I hit you here, it would do the steel leaf block or whatever, because it's one of the things we need. And so this is... I need to make the fire metal, steel leaf, carbonite. So... Steel leaf just takes fire ingot. I already have this. So I really just need the, need the carbonite one. So now I can just continue going and ignoring these guys until we find the spawner. Maybe it's not far down. Like, are you the guy that makes quests? I am the go a guy. What's up, buddy? I am the guy that indeed makes the quests. What's up? I'm also the one that speed runs it. Speed runs the entire pack. Where in the hell is this stuff at? Where is this boss battle at? Steph, if you deleted it, you can't. I've tried it. The quest tips that you write help a lot with uh, learning mods? Hell yeah, dude. Thank you. I'm glad that they help. That's that's like one of the biggest things is the reasons why I do quests is because I want to help people learn how to do those things. I want to, it's like a no quest and modded is like, can be very difficult and be something that people need like a little bit more clarification on or something to help them like kind of get a little bit more guidance in. So I understand it. So the thing is, is I'll just randomly find the the spawner here. Thing is, is I just got to dig out until I find it. But I am kind of worried because I should have already found it. Oh, no, I'm not low enough. It looks like. 
Like it should have been like right around here. But it could be lower. Something just hit me. Pack still gives me nightmares? Oh no. What Greg Tech pack did you play? Thank you so much. I appreciate that. We're going to do, I was talking to the other dev or the, the main, all the mods dev and, uh, a lot of people don't actually use quests. And so we're going to, we were talking about doing a poll to see if, uh, to see who uses quests and who doesn't like to get an idea. Okay. So here's the problem. We should have found it by now. And so there's not even any other places that this thing could have been because we've dug out almost all of it. I guess we didn't dig out over here. I use quests. I think a lot of people do. I use quests all the time. They can help me set my goals. I think the number is in between like, I think like 60 to 70% of people actually don't use quests. Something like that. It's not, we don't know that for a fact. I just think this, that's the, like a pretty close estimate. All right, did I f*** up? That's the question. Nope, there it is right there. No, never mind. This is not it. This is close to it. It looks like a mob spawner, but it just straight up spawns things in. Did I mess this up? Maybe we actually have to delete it all. Or we can't delete it all. Sad thing is, is we have to actually kill the thing here to get to the next part. So there's not another option here. You think the quests are very helpful? Well, thank you. I think a lot of people, the, the reason why we're tired about it or whatever is like, a lot of people don't use quests, but I, th but I think it's because a lot of people who like don't actually know about quests. And so if you don't really know that, that like before the quests weren't that great. And so now that they're a lot better, you know, you could actually like use it and it could help you. And I think that's one of the big things though. Yeah. I think I might've actually deleted it. I don't think you can. I tested it before and it didn't delete it. But I could be wrong here. I might actually have to not cheese this because it should be like right in this little room here. Now that's where you spawn in. Oh, does the pumpkin knights No, they spawn with a thing in the center too. It should be right here somewhere. When the other spawns have been deleted too, those are just regular spawners. I'm looking for very specifically for a big one. It should be an extra large spawner. And so if it was here, it could be above me. I don't think so, but it could be. I need to just get rid of these things. So every time I pick them up, they don't, just don't go in my inventory. I could just haven't found it yet. Not having night vision kind of sucks. That's an anvil. I think it has something to do with the anvil though. Cause I think the anvil is part of the knights maybe.
Because I have everything now for it. This is where it would be, though. It would be on this level of the spawners. Like, it would be right around here. Wherever the walls are. Whatever. We'd find out. We'd see a spawner here. And it could have very well deleted it. I might want to cut my losses and just go. You need night vision? I don't, like, as soon as I'm done with this, I don't think I'm going to need it again. But, yeah. I've tested this, and it didn't delete it, so I don't know what's going on. That's weird. Are just kind of winging it? No, I have a whole plan for it. I've planned this thing out a couple of times. All right, so we'll just have to go ahead and find another hedge maze thing. Ooh, that's going to hurt. What is going on? Are they going to go away anytime soon? Might have to randomly teleport to find another one. Another one over here. I'm just going to use this to get into it. Could have just messed up with the um the way that it like generated in the world, maybe. Extra deeper darker dimension? I have no idea, but to be honest, to be completely honest with you. Okay, there should be a way down. I'm kinda worried why there's not. Should be an easy way down. This is just a empty maze here. This whole thing empty? No, oh, this whole thing is empty. Getting juked by Twilight Force wasn't on my list of things to do. I'm confused as to why there wasn't a pedestal thing up here or, or a thing for me to just open the gate here. I'm starting to wonder if that's part of it. Because there should be a mountain here, and there should be a thing for me to put the thing on. But I'm just going to see if I can go find it down here. So this is part of the room or whatever. We just got to find the boss. Is it the wrong dungeon? No, it's the right dungeon. So it only takes away the walls so I can open up the walls. What up, John? How you doing? Oh, I heard the explosion happen. 
Explosion means that there's knights. It wouldn't be another explosion. That means that the bosses spawn, I believe, because it thought that I got close enough. No oh, thanks. Hello? Hmm. No, nah, it's not by the iron doors. That's something else. Starting to wonder who's bugged. Dude at the end of the hallway just chilling like what's going on. What up, dude? This part of the run sucks, I'm not gonna lie. That's a Twilight Oak log. Cool. But is there a place around here I can go to? Here he is. Cool. No, I heard the explosion. Can I not hit these guys enough? Okay, I can. I was like, why? Oh, y'all. Yeah. Yo, I'm just good. And thank you to follow. I think that's how you say your name. You actually hit me, sir. Don't need the phantom helmets. Okay, so that's that one. Then the next one is the year gas. So this is the Carmondite Tower. So we're going to do uh, Twilight Forest Dark Tower is what it's called. Except my, any way of pronouncing my name? Okay, can I call you Jass? Yes, okay. Okay, hold on. We're going to do depth. I'm going to go all the way up. I'm going straight out of the sucker. I don't even care at this point. Take me out. Take me out of here. I want straight out. Okay. 350 blocks of that away. We need Carmenite stuff here. All right. Sweet. What's the desk? Do you need the trophy? I don't think so. Mm -mm -mm. Should be all right. I'm hoping that I get enough Carmenite stuff here. Bloop. I hate this because I can hardly see where he's at. I drop any carbonite gasoline stuff. Oh, we got plenty of carbonite stuff. Cool. And now is the Yeti cave. Mm 
And heading to bed now. Just want to follow and thank you for some great hours. Like, yo, thank you for hanging out with me today, man. I hope you have a good rest. I appreciate you. Thank you for, for lurking all day. We were just looking for the bosses is all it was. Now for the Yeti cave, which is under here. I don't think we need anything other than the fur. I usually take the trophy just to take the trophy. I think the next is the queen. So this is part of the star. So we need to grab a swab for this. Cause I need to swab the queen here. I messed up. Oh, never mind. This is the Aurora Palace right here, right? Nope. It's all progression based? Yeah. So you can't skip one. You have to do, it's all, this is the Aurora Pass. This should be right here. I was like, well, hello. You have, you can skip them. You got to do all of them all at once. I don't remember which one she's in. Oh, there's a, there's this. That's cool. I think she's in this one. See, that's what happens when you do this. Is something in my break or is this her sound? Okay. Oh, I need the trophy for this one. And did I swab her? Bro, I didn't swab her. That's okay. We'll just go find another palace because we only need to do two. I was supposed to swab her, but that doesn't even matter because I actually hate doing the swabbing. So yeah, this works. Just need another palace. Nah. Maybe we can find another palace randomly. Oh wow, it literally teleported me right as soon as I did this. And there's one this way. This is probably easier than swabbing, actually. Because I hate doing the swabbing method. Cause you have to, it breaks her farm too. It can break your blocks all around it, but I forgot to swab her. I could have just done it and just killed it somewhere else, but this will be all right. The amount of chunks that I'm generating now is so bad. Oh, Hey, found the palace. Thank you. Cool. So that's the only two things that I need. And then I need to combine this with iron. Cause I need a block of fiery metal. I need a carbonite block and I need Block a steel leaf. And I need an armor shard. Oh, I gotta smelt those down. I was like, I had a mini heart attack just then, y'all. Not gonna lie, I had a straight up mini heart attack. Was terrified. This goes in the trash can. My backpack's so full. I thought to use a gadget, I spent way too long on this the hard way. I mean, you need to do the, if you've never done it before, you should absolutely do it the regular progression way the first time. Don't like do it the cheese way. I'm speed running. It's a little bit different when you're speed, if you're speed running it, sure. But like, don't do what I'm doing. Not a good idea. And so this should go in the middle. Oh, wait, I need to kill her one more time. I need to do one more time because I need three trophies. Can I make this any somehow? I could do the snow queen prediction loss. Okay. So I need to go back and kill one more time. What are you making? I need to make the middle one. I wish I'd have changed the recipe on this.
Do what I say? Yeah. There you go. Hoping for another one. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, we got another one. Always not the same one we've already done. Nope. She's like, what? You know, there's three of y'all, right? There's a multiple of y'all. You ain't much of a queen. Did I just get gypped out of a chest? Okay, I was gonna say, did I just get gypped out of a chest? Okay. Now we can go home. And that'll make me this. I'm making the Olimon Star, which takes like forever. And that's kind of where I'm at. So we have those three. And those can go in here. Apparently, the, oh, because that's the binding snow. Why? Why is it giving me this stuff? I can go all in there. So we can split because we got the twat more stuff. Okay, so we need to actually put uh, have another bag for all this star stuff, which I think I do have over here. I don't know where I put all the bags there over here. Let's get all the stuff for the bags for all the star stuff out. So anything that goes to the star will go in this bag in front of me. Hmm. You know, we got to kill the wither again. Fun fact, we're going to have to kill the wither again. I think that's everything that goes to the star stuff we would have made. The rest of the antimatter should be... How's our antimatter looking? Do we have all of our antimatter? We're missing three. That's fine. Okay, so FDBIC is actually very easy. And so for this, we need the all the mod star. We need uh, FDBIC, FDBIC. We need the nuclear reactors. So we need to grab the recipe for this. This is actually very easy to make. That's a reactor chamber. So we need a nuclear reactor here. We're going to need an iridium circuit plus the basic. Oh. We're going to get there. That's in the compressor. This is made with different things. We need an advanced alloy, so we got to teach it how to make this. What is this? Tin, constantin, and iron. We got to teach it to smelt that shoot down. All right, and so we need to teach it how to make constantin dust too, but that's fine. We'll get there. That's one of the things we got to do. We also got to do lead plates, but we could just do lead, and then I could just grab my thing. Dece or hammer. Grab a bunch of those. We're going to need to make some more platinum more hammers anyway. Okay. So we need some of these uranium fuel rods. Hold on. We need these recipes. Get emerald started. I missed when you came back. Oh, I did not get emerald started. Those will be really fast though, thankfully. And then I need fluid cells. You know, we don't have now that I wonder, am I still working on these yellow cake? Uranium is still good. Sulfur dust is good. Do I still have uranium going? I do. Okay, cool, cool, cool. This and high X are two of my fail happy songs. We say now I'm lost. I'm very lost. I just need an empty fluid cell. Honestly, I just make a bunch of these like this. Cool. And so now we need the nuke. We need two nukes. We need to go grab the recipes for these. Okay, so we got the quad fuel rods. Did we get the advanced circuit one? Oh, that's easy. We just turn this into 
easy melting job. Does it have to be rubber? Smelting slime balls, easy. Quick question, if my Alamo Spikes don't have abandoned desert or deserted mine colonies, but I've seen them in other videos, I think it might be a disabled thing, but I could be wrong. Okay, so we have the quad, we have the advanced circuits. Did we get the advanced machine block one? I don't think we did. So this one needs, we got the advanced alloy. So let me grab this, grab this. Then we just need iron rods. I could just make those pretty easy. And this is what, coal dust? So I could just literally do coal in the crusher. And let me put these up. And let me grab, we need to get Constantin dust. We need copper dust and nickel dust. That's not what I wanted. Do we actually have nickel right now? Oh, we do. Hold on a second. Let's just break this down into ores. And then let's just grab a platinum. All right. We're going to make a bunch of these. Should be able to do copper too. Do we have a lot of copper? Ooh, we do have a lot of copper. And so this should work into Constantin dust. And so we don't just melt those down. We can just keep it like that and then I'll make the recipe. Okay, so that takes care of that. So now we need, this is gonna go in the compressor. So we should know how to make a compressor. Was a stone plus electronic circuit plus machine block. Did we get the machine block? I don't think we did. I'm pretty sure that we got the industrial grade fuse or whatever. I think we got that. Let's see if I can make the compressor or not. I can. And so we're going to need a couple of more things. We're going to need, what is it? The canning machine. Which we should have all of this. Yep. We're going to need transformers. This is a little bit different. We have silver already smelt. Oh, this is aluminum. We'll just teach us how to smelt it. Turn this back down. Can I make this? Yes. Okay. And then now we need to make the solar panels for all the power. So we're going to grab all the recipes here. I think we know how to make the basic generators. Did the advanced circuit. This is comp cres compressed ones. Are you looking to beat your last one? Yeah, I, so I have 30 hours is my last one. And so right now, I'm pretty sure we're on par to beat this like a whole lot faster. Like we're pretty close to beating it. We're like really a lot closer than I thought it would be. And so what is this? A large coolant cell? We need that. Just a lot of recipes here.
Okay, can I do the MV solar panels? Can I make this yet? To craft 10. Let's go ahead and craft those 10. And then, so we need the EV wires. What is it? I think it's EV. Is IV? Yeah, IV cables. You can actually make these really easy. So you just take the crystals. So we should be able to do IV. And I should be able to just make 64 of them. What is it waiting to smelt? Interesting. Solar panels. Those are still crafting. I wonder if it's just these. Speed upgrades. Grab all four of these. Solar panels. There's the tin that we need. We have the compressor. We've already made that. Did we make the canning machine? We have the compressor. Did we make the canning machine? Did I tell it to make it? Don't know if it did or not. Okay, so there's that. Do we know how to make the nuke? We should be able to make two nukes here. Missing the uranium fuel rods. That makes sense. TNT, the iron rods. All of that makes sense. Okay. And so we need the quad uranium fuel rods too. We need one of these. Missing the four uranium fuel rods. That makes sense. We need a bunch of copper plates, like a bunch of copper plates. Uh, and then I think, let's see, we just need the nuke. Um, we need the antimatter constructor. So this is one of the recipes we need. That's my tower. Oh, things I need to make. Do we get the iridium circuit? We did not get the iridium circuit. That's. Know how to make the advanced alloys. We don't actually know how to make the iridium alloys. And that's where we need the advanced plus the iridium. So that's where we got to make. Got to come over here and grab the. Where is she? Block of raw iridium here. And just shove all that in here. All right, how are we doing on storage? Are we doing good? Perfect. <laughs> I hate sneezing. Okay, so now we're going to go make this. This really doesn't take much to make. We're going to make this right here. So, what? Oh, God. Oh, God. That's not what I want. Okay. Okay, did I ever make those cables? Okay, I did. All right. Did it ever make those transfer upgrades? It did. Okay, so basically we literally just need the compressor and the canning machine, and that's it. You know what? Screw this, because this only works at nighttime. We're going to go do this in the Everbright. To duplicate items, I am. Okay, this should give us some plenty of power. Right, am I tripping? Does it just not work here? Oh my god. I'm gonna be so upset if this doesn't give it back to me. It should give me machine blocks, I think. Nope. I think it's these that if you break it, it has a chance to give you the machine block back. Did it give me a machine block? Nope, gave it to me. Okay, so these just don't work here. Can't take advantage of that here, so we're just going back. Speaking of which, how are the stars doing? Oh god, we actually are producing enough stars for this. Whew, that's good.
give the follow, Sanic Gamer. Okay, that's giving me power. So canning machine, this is actually very easy. We got to take these over here and just give it a bunch of water. So we literally just come over and just... Oh, God. Can I do this on a sink? Answer is yes. Can I join? How do you... How This is a single player world, so that's kind of confusing. Be almost impossible, wouldn't it? You can do your own speed run. I challenge everybody to do a speed run. I want people to speed run, bro. I don't know anybody that's going to be able to speed run. Like, I don't know anybody who speed runs this, and I would love for somebody to speed run this. Like, absolutely love this. Okay, so the canning machine. This is how you make the quad. You would, I would fail. I failed the first time. Fun fact, I had never made the star before, before I made my first one. And so if I want to make the quad uranium cells, I need one of these. I'm missing four uranium fuel rods. I also need this to make the nuke. So I need four. So we need two nukes. So that's eight. That's nine of these. So I need 36 of these. And they're pretty good at it, in my honest opinion. I'm actually the only one who does this. So that's kind of where I'm at. I don't know anybody else to speed. I've heard people say they, they'll they do it, but I've never heard of people actually do it. So, like, I've heard of people be like, yeah, I'm, I easily do this. And I'm like, all right. You got to, you got to, uh, what's the words I'm looking for? Nut up or shut up? I get a challenge of your own to try and speed run this faster than Alfred. Oh, what? I've had plenty of people say that stuff, and I'm like, you have no idea what you're saying. I'm like, bro, I don't think you you know what you're saying at all. How many did I need of these? I needed nine, right? So I need 36 of these rods. Spilled my water all over my desk. Okay, so I am not liable that all right that's not me that wasn't on me okay i just put it out there people say this stuff all the time though like all the time they're like bro bro and i'm like don't 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 bro me but you don't know me okay you don't know me you don't know what i got you don't know about my downstairs but please tell me y'all if y'all don't know about old greg you're probably gonna be like what do you mean your downstairs mix up oh uh, my god we need so many copper plates for this part I'm old Greg. Never was something in the back. Good night, Shadow Star. You have fun sleeping. I hope you sleep well. All right. Everybody say goodnight, a shining star. Crazy. I love you. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Thanks for the good, heartfelt laugh. Man, people are so full of these days, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, try me. I just wish people would do, like, actual speedruns, though, because. I find it fun, man. Challenge me. Fight. God, it's nighttime, bro. We can actually go to bed because we're like really far ahead. I'm going go to go to bed, but I got to go back home to go to bed because it doesn't work here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Every time I go somewhere, it's like, <laughs> I'm listening to you and finishing up my college algebra. I was like, I hope it lets me sleep. And it's like, there's an enemy nearby. It's like, no, there's not. That's just Bill. He's just chilling there. Okay. Give the XQC a challenge. Wait, what? Doesn't XQC do speedruns? I don't know what kind of speedruns he does, but... I know he speedruns. I think he speedruns the vanilla... I don't know how many I need of these. Has Body shown up for a cameo in this? He has not, but he is somewhere. All right, so that just made nine quad uranium fuel rods. Can I make the nukes now? I don't think I can. I'm missing two TNT, four iron rods, two carbon plates. I think I need a bunch of carbon plates. How do I make the carbon plates? 
How do I make this? This is this thing. I need carbon fi- I need to just, like, make 64 of these. Vanilla doesn't have the tension span for this. I don't think anybody should do this. I'm just going to put this out here. I don't think that's... I don't judge anybody who doesn't want to do this. Like, don't do this. All right, this is 30 hours. Like, I want somebody to challenge me. My favorite is when people talk and then they can't follow up with it. They're like, yeah, man, this is so easy. Yes, I... Blah, 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 blah. It's like, well, do it. Speed run it then. I don't see how speed run I'll even give you my layout on how I speed run it. I don't even care, bro. All right, do it. Do it. Yeah. Do it. I don't even know what I need these for. Can I make the nuke? I need iron rods now, I think it is. I need some more platinum or amber's platinum. Why do I have it? Where's my iron? Oh. Is that body? It's the body engineers. Yeah. Missing four TNT. Can I just not make TNT? Am I just dumb? What? I love that moose. Yo, body kind of got famous from, <laughs> from that series. I ain't gonna lie. Shia LaBeouf meme. Ooh, body's like a lot of people know body, and by people know body from what being really attractive. Nah, body's like I will literally hit you in the mouth. <laughs> this is like I will literally just punch you in the mouth. Like not even trying. You know, it'd really suck if I accidentally destruction gadget that. That would literally suck. I would cry deeply in just the worst tears ever. Okay, so there's the two nukes that we need. And now we need antimatter, and so that's the next step. And so to make antimatter, we need a constructor, but we're missing compressed coal balls. So now we just need coal balls. The question is, can I actually make these, or am I missing... I think I'm actually missing flint for this. I don't know how much I need, but I'm going to do it anyway. When it not used for safety, bro, I've messed it up. And all the way, time, he's famous. He's really famous. Um, I started all my night when I had around 120 muds. Now I feel like I have a mess in my base. Kind of want to start again. Do it again. I've got, I literally just put out the whole entire thing in my boobler. I just did the whole thing for people to be able to do it. Okay. Antimatter constructor. Oh, sweet baby. Come on. I need to hurry up and craft. Hurry up and craft. There we go. Oh, we almost got all of our antimatter for mech too that's pretty good okay and so now i'm just gonna speed it all up Meow. 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 is this speeded up right here i think it speeds it up i think i actually have to speed this up There's one. Okay, so what does it take to make the EV solar panel? One, we literally need, oh God, we need so much stuff. We need one antimatter, but I'm gonna need a lot more antimatter. We're gonna need 11, we're missing one carbon plate. So that's not bad. We're missing 88 compressed coal balls. The problem is how the hell am I gonna make flint? How do you make, is there a way to, okay, that's how you make flint. That's easy enough. Compressed. Oh. Oh, I love Post Malone. I see the problem with this seat is that if I don't sit upright, my ass takes the, well, I don't know what I was going to say there. My ass hurts. Did it say I needed 88 coal balls to make this? I know it didn't say I needed 88 coal balls. Oh my God, this ain't even gonna have power. I don't know what I was gonna say. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I was just kind of like, oh God, not like this. Did it actually mean I need, dude, that ain't right, man, right? Hold on a second. That can't be right. 
This is, I just need one, right? Oh my God, I actually need a lot of coal balls. Oh God, I actually need a lot of coal balls. Where's my compressed coal balls? Oh God, I need some. I have the plates, I think. Yum. Yum. That you were going to say that in backpedal. What was I going to say? I know exactly what you were going to say. You know that? Dude, I done forgot what the fuck I was talking about already. I'm already at that point in my life. I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. You are you talking about my ass? I got a lot of problems. It's crazy. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I just got a lot of issues. Okay, so now we should be able to make an EV solar panel. And the thing is, is I actually need this to make the antimatter. So I'm going to place it down. I hope I can make it again once I break it. Um, do we ever make the nuclear reactor? That's got to get made too. My problem is I, I have this problem where I think I know how to make everything. And I think I'm doing everything right. And I'm not. That's my problem. Is this making this? Did you know Posty streams? I did. The dude's actually legit. He he streams Apex. He even did the Apex thing the other day. Uh, is this going to make this? Stored? Oh, God. We got to smelt all these? Yo, I think we got enough power, though. Is this even getting these fast enough? Oh my god. This is so pretty. It looks like the bars are go Is it me or are the bars going up? Am I tripping right now? Can I just take slime balls and shove them in this thing? We're going sideways. Dad, I miss you guys. Ooh, that's nice. I think I messed it up. Ah. Thing is, if I connect this over here the wrong way, so like if I connect it to that, it'll blow up. So we got to make sure not to connect it to that. And this should work for this. Oh, we got seven already. I think we need four antimatter crystals. So we need, we need one antimatter for the star. Where's the backpack? There it is. And so we need the nuke. We need the nuclear reaction. Not the chamber, but we need the reactor. We're missing six plates. Carbon. All right. And this needs to be done. How are you, dude? Great furnace? I could. Honestly, I got all the stuff for it. Nuclear. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I need four for these, right? So four of those. I don't need the chamber, bro. I need the reactor. Cool. And so now this is making me 13. Can I make four of these out? Missing 11. Don't be night time. Don't be night time. Make me more antimatter. Don't be going to bed now. Ah! Okay, whatever. We'll just wait for that. How are we doing on the uh, unobtainium seeds and stuff? 
Are we making enough for this to work? All right. You know, we should make a compact drawer for these unobtainium ones. We should just make a compacting drawer. I don't know if I have the recipe for the compacting drawer yet, though. Uh, we can go ahead and split for the compact that because we don't need that. I think I know how to make everything else but that compacting drawer. So now, if I take out all the unobtainium that I have, it's all 11 ingot, or all of this, and then we put it back in here, we should have 22 blocks, 198, so we're almost there. And so how are you doing on piglet hearts? 48? That is not good. This is the worst. I am like, I'm the worst. Hey, I, I wanted to do this as a cheese way of doing this, but I'm going to do this legit. This is, is, it would be wrong of me to do this like I have this currently set up, okay? This is just wrong. Where's my point at? Do I not have any points in here? I think they're all in my inventory. I'd hate if this cost me the run because I did this bad. Okay, so now we need a drawer. But it's too much far, a farm or fun watching this derp cheesing, bro. I'm trying. These are trying times right now, man. I don't know what you mean. And then this should output. Even just hitting this thing once usually speeds it up so bad that it actually can't keep up with the power output, but I think we're fine now. Oh my god, we can't actually keep up. Why can we keep up with the power output? Why are we able to keep up with the power output? This is insane, actually. I didn't expect to be able to do this. Don't forget to configure the upper. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Be smart. So we just need 200 and something of these. So industrial foregoing is the next one. I actually hate industrial foregoing because it's really annoying to do all of the stuff for this one. Okay, so this one we need. Have we made the antimatter crystals yet? We can't yet. Okay, so this out of the industrial foregoing one, we're going to need a couple of things here. Can I click here, please? We're going to need the nuke. So the infinity nuke is one of them. We're going to need the wither compass. So we need the wither builder. And so those are the two things that you need. And so the wither builder, these all take a, a lot of annoying things. So like, 
because we got to start all the way from the beginning. And so this is for the daytime stuff. 2.30. I'll get you some rest. I appreciate you. Good man just messing around all of my night watching out from waiting for the family to get home from the parade. Dude, is... Oh, God. Is it late for you guys or is it just me? Is it not late for y'all? This... I guess it's not really... It's late. It's what? Not 8 of 9 o'clock here? Is there an easy way to make this? Oh, my God. There was an easy way to make this. I remember now. It made it a whole lot easier. You smell cured rubber, and I think we already have the recipe for cured rubber, right? We do. And so that'll make me all the plastic that we need. Easy. West Coast? It is 8.34 for me. 2.30? Oh, my God. Ethan, you're like, I'm here for the long time. Wait, Ethan, are you on the U are you in the US or no? Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. Oh god, it's gonna take forever. Cause we got a bunch of plastic, so we don't actually need to do the plastic start. We need latex though. Can, is there an easy way to get latex besides the latex processing unit? Um, this is not it. We got to start using this upper one. Usually I do like four of these. Am I tripping? We need to put this nuclear reactor up in my inventory. Also, I need to make sure that we make a bunch of prediction matrices and put it in a drawer that gets output in there. So this needs to be like right here. And then we need to do prediction matrices. We put those in here. And then we do an item pipe going up. I don't know, but I can figure it out. And then now we need to put in that there. We just need 200, so this should be fine. You got me to install almost eight and start the uh, run instead of nine? Well, I hope eight is, uh, suits you well. I hope you like eight, because eight is probably my favorite. Sequence failed. Fail that. Uh, are we doing the stars properly? Oh my god, we're actually going to have enough stars in time. How about the antimatter? Do we have it yet? Oh my god, we have all the antimatter that we need. Okay, we actually have a really good shot at this. Oh my god, we actually have a really good shot at this. We got to get going. Oh my god. What's the wand you got? This is a this basically speeds everything up. So latex, we need the latex processing unit, but we need the fluid extractor. We need like four of these. Ooh, we're doing really good. And so these are kind of annoying. Do we have any points left? Don't think we do. Or that is annoying. Honestly, that means we can go turn the SBS off. We can turn the reactor off. Don't need the antimatter for anything. SBS can come off, and then that means the these things needing the points here, we could just tap into this power anytime we want to, which this should still be going. Yeah, we have everything going, so we're producing 121 million out of this. So, home. It's a speed wand, essentially. It speeds everything up. Okay, so we're going to do this right here. Actually, no, we're not going to do this because we have to save room for it. So we're going to do this right here. Okay, so we are going to need the network stuff. Network. Yo, Ben, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Adding to the tower of receivers. Ooh, 
Okay, so we need a, I don't, I want to do a constructor. You know what? I don't really want to do a constructor here. Let's do, we need a latex processing unit, so we need to grab that. Wish there was an easier way to make the latex stuff. We're going to need a bucket of latex. And so I'll just make that. I think I, I think I only just need one. So realistically, we just need a bucket of latex. We just need any kind of oak. I'm really good at this game. And so now we need to give this... We don't have to give this power, but it's just good to give it power. Okay. And then we're going to give this... Do we have the ultimate cable still? Ultimate universal cables. And so now we're going to do our handed dandy, very quickly, speedy wand. We're also going to grab some mechanical pipes out. And we're going to grab out a tank. Actually, screw the tank. Let's do an entangle porter. Much love, much love, Ben. Acacia is faster. Yeah, but it is like when you get a speed one, it doesn't really matter. Why did I make an extra one like that? I'm going to need like more than these. Okay, I need two for now. So one of these is going to be latex. And so this is going to be latex. Well, yeah, latex. And then we're going to turn off all the sides here. Except for the fluids, we're going to input from the right. Okay, and so the latex is going to come out the back here. We're going to configure these to pull. And so that'll put all my latex in here. So if I scroll, you see I got a, a thousand going. So now if I come over here and I grab the crystal staff out, bam, we're going to need to make some crafters too. What's the name of the sp that speed up one? This is called a crystal staff. There's a little bit, it's a little bit harder to get than you, like most people would, because you have to do a couple of rituals for it, but you need the accelerated powder to make it. Look at how fast that is. And so that's kind of where it's at. And so now we have 3000 buckets. Can I use a bucket in this thing or do I have to actually use, can I bucket this? Oh, my computer is struggling. I actually have to pump this out into a tank. Just need a bucket of latex. The problem is I'm going to need a bunch of buckets of latex. So I might as well actually output So I'm supposed to input in there. Okay, so that goes in here. And now we have 7,000 in here. So we can grab a bucket, ma'am. And then we need the latex processing unit. So latex, what is it? Latex processing. Did I? Oh, I have the recipe in my inventory still. All right, so this machine is actually not needed because now we just need the dissolution chambers. So I wonder if I've made the recipe for that. Yo, Mason, thank you for the follow. Dissolution chambers. We need four of these. I don't know if I have the stuff for it. Missing diamond gears. That's an easy craft. All right, so this is how we're going to set this dissolution chamber stuff up. Check this out. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ah. I said one, two, three, four. Okay. 
And so let me show you what I do and how I do this. So we're going to grab every latex recipe here. So latex, that was just to make a dry rubber. So I'm going to hit you here and I'm going to go to the dissolution chamber. And so any kind of like, I'm going to need, I think it's a purple lens, right? I think it's called to get the, I'm colorblind. We do need these add-ons though. Don't need the giant add-on ranges. We need this recipe. We need the purple laser lens, I think. Okay, and so that'll make the next machine frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this out, make sure that we have everything for this. And I'm going to grab this. So any of my latex recipes that I need, I'm going to do this here. And so dissolution chamber, it knows how to make all this except for the dye. So I'm going to tell it to make the dye. And then I'm going to tell it to make this. And so as long as I take the latex out, it should work fine. Making some room in my inventory. And so efficiency two, same thing. I'm going to grab this recipe. I'm going to make sure that it knows how to make everything. And then I'm going to take the latex out. I'm going to give it the recipe. Same thing. Range tier six. Give it the recipe. Speed tier two. Give it the recipe. Um, and I think we need the simple machine frame, right? That one takes latex. Take that out. I think we have all of that except for the gold gear. It needs to know how to make a gold gear too. To avoid spaghetti cables, it just it's wireless, so it makes it so much easier for me to make things with. And so now we're gonna go over here. Everything that has a recipe for this is just gonna go in here. And so now I'm gonna take my cables. I'm gonna run this over here. What up? What up, K Joseph? All right. And so now these things need power. And we're also going to need importers. So we're going to get a cable like this. And so now the magical part about this is that all I have to do to do this right is make room over here to go under. And so then I use the entangle porters here and set it to the right thing that I want it to. So let's go over here. Let's clear, clear, clear. Let's go fluids. Let's output up. And then now we just set this to latex set. And then what we'll do is we'll break this, pick it up. Put this here, and then we should be able to take the configurator, and it should output the latex down. I might have to go. I'm going to do like this. So this is going to take latex, so we have to tell it to come take it. So fluids, we want to input here too. And so now it has it. And so now all of these trees will be making latex, but over here it will put latex in this for us. So bam. Yeah. Uh, and now all I have to do if I want to do like efficiency upgrades or whatever, if I want to do the simple machine ones, which we need to get to the making the advanced one, which is pink slime. And it's the same thing. Pink slime needs the mob slaughter factory. And so we can actually go and make that recipe. Yeah. The add-ons, all that stuff. It's going to make all of the, everything automated for us. And so it just needs to know how to make these two. So now it should be able to make the mob slaughtering factory. And so this is what I'm going to do the configurators for, or the um, entangle porters for. So we just need two for this one. And so we need a range add-on. We need a range add-on of six on this one. And so I told it to ma make it and it'll make it. Actually, the importer's not connected. 
So I need to put a cable on top of it. And that'll import it in. Okay. And so on the back side of the very center here, I'm going to break this out. I'm going to place this down this way. And so now if I show range and I go add on, grab out the add on that I need here. Let's go ahead, add on. Let's make the speed, the processing, and the efficiency. Is it just to make it easy? Yeah, it just makes it a whole lot easier. So now we just need to give this sucker power. And so now when the mobs come out, we want to have two spots here. One is going to be right here. We're going to make sure we clear this completely. Do the same thing here. And so now we need to tell this that we want the meat, giggity, to go push left side and the pink slime to go right. And so really we only need pink slime. So if we go pink slime here and then we do fluids and we go input here. And then now we could just output this input and turn this one to meat. And now we just, once we turn on the spawner, oh, that's going to take care of a lot of things here, isn't it? We turn on the spawner. We should turn off the working area. And we should start seeing some meat. Yeah, there's some pink slime in here. And we're going to go ahead and hit this mob slaughtering factory. Make it a little bit faster. Let's see what add-ons we have here. Getting a little bit of frame lag here. There we go. And so that should output the pink slime into this right side. Confused as to why it's not. Doing the left side. Is it because it's getting rid of this pink slime first? Too vast? Maybe. I did this last time too. We got the faces backwards. Wouldn't make any sense if I did because it's actually pumping it out, right? Oh, that's pushing meat in here. I don't want meat to go in there. Hmm. Weird. It doesn't matter because at this point, should be able to push out. It's because it was full. That's what it is. There are Dex Panda. And bam, 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 bam. All right, so now this has pink slime in it, so now I can come over here and grab another entangle porter. And now I can use the entangle porter here for this one. And so we're going to again clear the sides. And so we're going to make sure this gets pink slime by just switching into pink slime set. And so now with the pink slime, I can just look it up.
Mm -hmm. So we're going to hit you here. And now I'm going to get the recipes that I need. So I need the advanced fr fr machine frame. I need, we don't need pink slime. We can't make any of the infinity stuff. So it's really just the advanced machine frame is all I'm here for. So advanced machine frame. And I need the, oh man, hold on. I didn't do that right. Got to make sure we got the advanced machine right. Dex is having fun. Yeah, he's just doing his thing. All right, so we got Deborah, Nether Scraps. Okay. And then I should be able to take this over here. And we should be able to do advanced machine frames. And so the advanced machine frames, that's when we can start getting into pink ether gas and stuff. So ether gas, we're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need industrial and then stasis chamber. So I'm going to need one of the stasis chambers. And then I'm going to need the, oh God, we need some couple of things here. We need um, laser. We need the laser drill and then the fluid laser base. Did I make the purple thing already? Did not. Just go ahead and make me one. Ethan Gas, that's why I only drink milk. Dun, dun, dun. We should also make, I mean, we can make the other stuff too if we wanted to, but this would be fine. How are we doing on stars? Stars are actually coming along real nicely. We got to go get these recipes. Oh, this is a legit one. So the only thing we don't know how to make here is a diamond pickaxe. And this one? We know how to make everything. Laser. Ooh, we're missing nether bricks. I'm only going to make one. How do you make nether stars? I'm making the nether stars over here. This is how I'm making it. I'm singing redstone into this to be converted into blocks of redstone. It goes into here with a tome, and the tome puts out all of these nether stars into this. And so this is actually making me nether stars. It's kind of hilarious. So we made the fluid laser base. We made the laser drill. Do we get the stasis chamber recipe? We did not. Let's get the stasis chamber recipe. I think we have the soul sand. Is the book in all the mods nine? Yes, but it, I believe it got disabled, which personally I think it shouldn't be disabled because I think that it's actually a fun way of making nether stars. And while it, it might be cheese, it actually doesn't like the other options for making nether stars is literally killing the same thing over and over and over and over for infinity. And so that's like, I personally think that's perfectly fine. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. Like that's the way I look at it. What does this take to make? Why is this taking so long? Cause it needs an advanced machine frame. The other options that are fun. Yeah. It's, it's, it'd be cool if there was a little bit more fun with it. Is this not doing the stasis chamber for the advanced one? Am I tripping right now? Did it make the stasis chamber? Ah. And so now we need that glass. Because if somebody figures out how to do what I just did, so be it.
Am I really one glass short? Oh no. 57 days. Yep. Oh, I'm literally in the range for it to work. This is where I'm going to build the wither at. And so we would need wither skelly skulls. And we need soul sand. And hope that he doesn't spawn and kill us all. One of these long ass streams, my head hurts at the very end of it. I'm not going to lie. Like it's it. My head absolutely hurts after the end of the stream. It is uh, no bueno as one might say, but it'd be all right. I'll be fine. But I'm going to take some time off after this, out of this stream. I'm just going to chill. All right, and so this is the purple one, right? I'm pr pretty sure the purple one is what we need for this. Purple. And this guy is on Y254. And so now this just needs power. Are you going to finish the all of my star in this stream? Probably not in the stream now. Ever use blue light glasses? I have them. They're just dirty as hell. And so instead of trying them, I was like, no. All right, so this should work. Yeah, this should work. We just need some speed upgrades. So we need these add-ons. I think I can make them for here, too. But this is the bad boy that I want to put it in. I think there's been studies that show they don't really do anything. Oh, no, it's like, it's real. The blue lights, there's a couple of things that it does. It adds strain to your eyeballs, but also it makes it where you have a hard time falling asleep. Like, they've proven that. They've proven it many, many times. There's a, the blue light filter reduces, or so blue light into your eyes um, is what gives you the whole problem where you have, um, whatchamacallit, um, your, it restricts your melatonin productions. And so that's a big no-no. And this one's going to be ether gas. Even though it's a gas, it's actually a liquid, so yeah. Is it going to give me any ether gas? Two fifty four. All 
Oh, you can do processing in there too? Is it me or is this just not creating it? Did I not set this to ether gas? On an entangle importer work? It doesn't, it has a buffer, but not really. Is this actually working? That's not what I meant to do. Nah, it'll work without it. Maybe I just have the Y level wrong. 254 is where it says it's at. I think the laser needs to be one lower. Like the laser itself needs to be one lower. Is your my withers right here? So he's like right here at two fifty four. All right. Can you not play sideways, please? Bro, what are you doing? Can you please find a target? This guy's going to blow up and he's just going to kill me. It got ether gas that time. Got it that time. So we need, I want to say, ether gas wise. To make the nuke, we need 2,000. And then to make the wither builder, we need a supreme machine frame, and that's 135. So we need 2135 out of here. And that's what our goal is. Can I kill the wither in the stasis chamber? Do we know? Okay, by the time I set up this other entangle porter, it should work. Ooh, we gotta take the U. Ah. Uh. And then we gotta make the range add on 12.
Kind of weird how this looks. I don't think you can take damage before it does a little pop. All right, maybe. We need the Supreme. So can I make the Wither Builder yet? Oh, I didn't even make the recipe for it yet. We might actually use the Wither Builder. Oh, it doesn't know how to make the Supreme Machine Frame. Does it make advanced machine frame from industrial craft leaves water inside? No, I don't think so. Ooh, woo, 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 woo. More in the other? What do you mean? Yeah, vibranium is in the other between zero and 40. That's what you're looking for. Zero and 40. Yeah, it's along cave walls. It's in the quest book if you're on Olamaz 9. It has to be touching air. All right, and that should just make the machine frame, and then the wither builder should just be done. And so that's done, and now we just need the nuke. Missing one. Do we not have the add-on? Nuke. How do we make the nuke? So four TNT. TNT. Do we have TNT? Ooh, we don't. Why are we I say it all the time? Okay, so four, two nether stars. A diamond block. By the way, we gotta get diamonds too. And then this add on range. Oh God, man, what have we done? <sighs> Nuke. Is this antimatter constructor make me enough? Oh. Antimatter crystals. We need four of these. We need the couple of recipes that I haven't made yet, so I'm kind of worried that I might not have everything for it. Nuke, Wither Builder. All right, so that made all of this. We need to get all these emeralds and stuff, so I'm going to actually go ahead and grab some wool. Do we have some made? Oh, dude, we don't actually have that much string. Kind of funny. Does it, do I, can I make this with the essence? Okay, it doesn't really matter. We need sticks. And then we need to get this up here at the top. We need to turn this on because this one has the evoker spawner. But I just need to swab a bunch whenever they spawn. We need to turn this off in the back because this doesn't need to be on anymore. Is this going to spawn the evokers or am I tripping right now? Am I tripping or am I not getting evoker spawns out of this? Oh, it's because I did this one and oh God. And not this one. Okay, we need these evokers. That's one. Not the Enderman, I need the evokers. God, there's too many of y'all. I should just do a mob yoinker and grab them that way. Just don't want to mess up, you know? Come on now, slowly come down here. All right, evoker, 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 evoker. Four should be fine. 
So I'm gonna grab a fifth one. Come on, bro. Almost missed. Did I grab a slime there? Nope, grabbed another Velcro. All right, let you guys go. All right, and now we need to get some seeds. And buckets. God, I got so much stuff in my inventory. Why do I have my magnet on? This is how I'm going to get the rest of my emeralds. I could grow them, but I don't want to take a chance. Oh, we needed a split. Tesla coil is really easy to do, too. We'll do that in a little bit. We just got to get some chickens going. I like how there's this essence bucket in my offhand. Congratulations, you've been promoted to not a chicken anymore. He's killing all the chickens! Oh, you thought you were going to get away? Sorry about it. All right. Now we can come over here. And let's turn these off. That needs to just get deleted. It's not working. Yes, wait, what? I was dumb. What are you talking about? Okay, so we need diamonds too. So I'm going to save that for now. And we're just going to turn all these spawners into. And so now I'm going to just go ahead and get the rest of these like clocks and stuff. So I can just upgrade the rest of these because we need a bunch of spawners. I haven't been running this thing at max speed just because I didn't want to. Because it takes a lot of FPS to do it. Should I have a ton of sugar? Do we have enough? Uh, f can we make fermented spider eyes? Fermented. How many can I make? Oh, I'm missing brown mushroom. Don't I have brown mushrooms somewhere? Can't I make this with something? Oh. We need gas tears too. I don't know if I'm, I hate this, I hate where that's at. Spawn count two. That was a bad spawner, bro. Mm -mm. 58 days in, man. That's kind of wild. Stop blowing up chicken or chickens. We got to do it, though. That's part of it. Why was I eating that raw chicken? Streamer eats raw chicken live on stream. The numbers have definitely been nerfed in nine. You can actually find better ones in nine than you can in, uh, do I, am I tripping? You can find better ones in nine than you can in eight, believe it or not. Probably going to be like, no, -uh, but no, seriously, you can find zero, zero spawners in eight or in nine. Bow, 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 bow. Zero, zero. Yep. You can spawn. You can find zero, zero ones. Yeah. And so that's zero delays for minimum and maximum. Ooh, I got to fix my chair because I'm sitting on it wrong and it's making my ass hurt. Bye bye, FBS. Yeah. 
stars. We actually 8,000 off. How we're doing on the unobtainium? I think we're doing fine. Got enough of those. Let's see how we're doing on the piglet stuff, which is somewhere over here, right? Oh, we got enough piglet, piglet charts. So we got all those. That's going to be a problem. We actually need to go ahead and make some nitro rods. I'll go ahead and get those crafting up. So we need a bunch of those. And let me think, what else do I need? We can do, we got to do the Tesla coil. So that's actually really easy. So we're going to get the pyrolyzer here. I'm so glad that I don't have to do this recipe. I can just do nether rest. I didn't know I could do that. It's funny. Oh, I got to make Constantin. How do I make Constantin? Don't I already have Constantin? Uh, we need the pyrolyzer. And this is going to be for our coke. Cocaine burner now. Bow bow bam 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 bam. That sounds dope. Uh it's just more balanced. I wouldn't say harder. I think it's a lot more balanced, which I think is a good thing. But I also think that is like one of the things that I didn't. Can I not? Okay. One of the things that I didn't like is it definitely felt um, a little off because we were constantly nerfing. But like, is it harder? I think it's de like if you're talking about an, if I did the same speed run, I think actually it would take me less time to do the speed run on uh, eight than it would or nine than it would for me to do. Can I do, hold on, do I grab these together with planks? Okay, so we need immersive table. There's a specific table that we need. I think it's this one actually. D -E -F -U. Okay, so now we're just making this. This is pretty simple to make. We're just making this engineering block so that way I can make this table. And so once I make this table, it's going to make it where I can get a villager that will cry deeply in Spanish for me. So I believe it's this one. And this one gives me this guy. And so this is why I've been carrying around villagers in my backpack this whole time. How's our mob farm doing? Okay, cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Let's make sure there's nothing on the ground. There's 120 evokers that are spawned, but I don't think they're, I think they're all dying fast. That's our emerald production. Okay, you're fine. Cry deeply in Spanish? Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta cry deeply in Spanish, my dude. So check this out. We're gonna grab some emeralds out. We're gonna grab a, what is it? Saw? Is it the saw that I'm thinking of? What is this? Villager things. I'm going to make this is what I'm going to make. So we need one of these, which we need these, which we need a stone cutter. Not actually going to put it on a stick this time, believe it or not. 
I made too many. Okay. I'm not even going to give him a traitor thing. So I need you to have this at the beginning, okay? I didn't mean to pick you up. Is he the one that has the Tesla coil? You better have the Tesla coil. Ah, oh, sweet. Bam. Split. Get in the bag. Cool man. Tesla coil is one of the items that we need for the star. Ooh. Okay, Tesla coil is done. Next up is A2 stuff. Oh, I've been dreading this part. So this one needs a singularity, which we're gonna actually have to make a matter condenser for. And we're also going to need uh, a ring, I believe it's called, a quantum ring, that's the other thing. So as you can see, we're gonna do um, lazy A2. We're going to do, I think it's lazy is what we're going to, well, actually, never mind. We're going to need a charger. Hey, okay, God, if I could type this in right. Charger. We're going to need this. We're going to need, what's the next part of this? Oh, this is why I just go to the, the damn chapter to look. So I don't forget. We need a meteorite compass. We're going to need the meteorite compass, and then we're going to need the processors. We need an inscriber and an advanced inscriber. I'm going to make both of these. And so the advanced inscriber needs the engineering ones. So I'm just going to teach these recipes over here. Yeah. Lazier. We shouldn't already know how to make that. Why don't I just make that by inventory? Okay, so what do I have over here for this? Congratulations, this is where we're going to do this. So we're going to do nothing. We're going to leave this place alone and go do something different because we don't need any of this stuff. Okay, we're going to go to the overworld. I have a few things. I wonder if it's storming enough or, a tr or like a problem. So now we need the nature's compass or this. This we're going to do a two meteorite select. And I hope this doesn't show me one that's underwater. So we're going to increase my flight speed here. Is this sky stone? Yeah, sweet. Alfred, you should pick up the flawed one. Nah. Hmm. Pretty sure it's Sardis Court, so we need... Sardis Court's crystals are... Tertium. Has this got its seed back? I don't think I put the prosperity seeds back in. I did not. Man, I'm on time. This is feeling great. I'm actually going to make the stars faster than anything. What did I just get rid of? Redstone seeds. This song is called uh, Ashes by Stellar. S-T-E-L-L-A-R. Throw me, throw me crazy. Alright. So that should make me some essence here. Some, uh... Sardis Essence here. Okay, so now we need the Fluix Crystal. And so this is just charged 
Redstone, nether quartz. So charged. So we need nether quartz. In water. So first we're going to charge this. Where did we put this as the charger? Over here. Let me use this over here. Speedy up you want. The one you make in the water? Yeah. I'm just going to make the seed. I used to listen to it all the time. Oh, man. That's crazy. Okay, I can't see. Imperium. Is this how you spell it? For you charging, you can use power. Oh man, I completely forgot about this. I forgot about my nitro things. Did I make 64 of them? I did. We're gonna have to replace all the ones that aren't nitro with nitro. Completely forgot about that. Yo, Jazz Cat. Oh man. Jazz Cat. That's the name I haven't seen in a little bit. I hope you've been doing well. I didn't know you streamed. What up, Jazz Cat? How was your stream? What were you up to? You were playing Ghost? I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that in my life, actually. Is it any good? What's it about? I've never heard of that in my life. Okay, now we should be able to make all of this. So we're going to need some inscribers for this. So I've got to make four inscribers here. I like six inscribers, actually. I hope you're doing well though, Jazz Cat. It's good to see you. I didn't uh, I didn't know that you were streaming. A long time? Ooh. We need the universal ones. We're currently speed running. If you don't know what this is, this is all the mods eight we're currently speed running. I'm trying to rush. I would normally do the raid scene and stop and all that other stuff, but I'm trying to rush uh because we're in a predicament right now. And so that predicament is um we're in a I'm gonna be under a tornado watch here soon. And so I need to get these as quickly as I can. So we need engineering. So engineering press. And one of these needs to be a silicon press. And so we need silicon. So I'm trying to like get to a spot. And I think engineering is diamonds. So that's currently where at we're at right now. Oh, by the way, we need diamond seeds. Got that going for you. Cyber's VR escape from Tarkov. Wait, really? That's kind of wild. What up, Mister? How you doing? This is the one problem is that you throw this stuff in there and it just does it go to the next one? No. Dude, the escape from Tarkov is actually pretty lit. I'm not gonna lie. Stuff is kind of wild. What does it take to make the final one? Redstone. Small stream. Well, that's kind of dope, though. I'm so glad that you stream. Thank you so much for the raid. I uh, I hope, like I said, I hope you had a good stream. Hope everything went well. Anything? Did you get? Did you get a lot of? If it's like VR escape from Tarkov, then that means that you probably played. Um, did you? Is it like the extractions and everything? Can you have a grave describer so you can put 64 out of them? That's what I'm going for. So now I should be able to do the lazier one. Lazier. Do I not? Did I not get the recipe for this? Can I just make the hopper? Uh, inscriber? I did, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Slowly going towards what we need. Okay. Extracts looter. Yeah, yeah. You still do trumpet raid response? Oh, yeah. I said normally I would, as I was a minute ago, is that I, um, 
assist not in scrum. Oh, that's the calculation. I normally would do it. I just, I'm in the middle of a speed run, but you know what? Here we go. We'll, we'll do it. I got you. I got you. We'll pause it and get this stuff started. Okay. And so this will make it where I can make a bunch of these now. And so the more of these that I make, the better it is. Cause we, now we can go to the silicon stuff. We need a lazy one for this one too. And so there's this one. So we need two of these presses here to make it. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, I think I hear, making sure I don't hear the kids being something wrong. Back to speed runs, man, I'm back at it. For every two that I make, I can make the next um, inscriber. Oh God, I love this man. Yo, Mr. Sad Penguin, what up? Thank you for the follow, appreciate that. And then, so now we can work down the line. And then this one can make my silicon one because it needs it real bad. We're almost there. The advanced one is faster. It's automated and I can put more than one thing in it at a time. And so none of these are really that fast. I'm just throwing them all in. I'm throwing these things in here. So every two that I get, I should be able to make another one. Can I make two? No, you can just make one. And so for every one of these, I'm just going to re keep replacing it now. So we have it automated. And so now we can just straight up put redstone in here once we get these things done. So these are automated and they keep going. So there's those. We put those in there, grab these out. We put these in here. And so now I can just throw the redstone in here and now I can just make a bunch of them. I'm alert. Go eat donuts. Dude, donuts sounds so good. If you have a raspberry one, eat it for me. I love the raspberry filled donuts. All right. And so this will make us. We need one more and that will make us enough to make some more inscribers. Make two more because now we have to do basically two for each of them. And so. These have to be powered, right? Let's just do it like this. Okay, and so I hope that thing doesn't blow up. That would suck. We need to make these things. If I want to make the condenser, do I have to? I don't think I have the recipes for those. We need to set all these up, though, before I just run off. All of them need silicon. All of them. So one of them needs gold. Is the calculation press needs gold? No, it needs certus quartz. Okay. And then the other one needs gold, I think. Yeah, gold. And so those are going to be making while I'm waiting. And there you go. You can make three for silicon. What does the care pa package do? If you get the care package, it basically makes it where you can, you get to send, uh, I'll send you like a pack, a bunch of, like a bunch of things. Um, a bunch of, um, like a handwritten letter or postcard rather. And uh, you'll get a bunch of stickers and stuff. Little goodies. I hated this part. This is just... This is rough. Blue eggs dust we can actually just make. Because we just got to figure out the cables, man. Because I don't think you have to have the light gray ones. I think you can just have these right here. Something about my baby. I don't know if we have enough wool for this. to the world is quantum okay so we need 
one quartz glass, four crystals. We need to teach you how to make the crystals. Is that not normal? Hey, by the way, I don't know if you checked in on it or not, but how's the uh, how the weather out here? How's the weather out here for me? Because I'm not looking. I should definitely look, but I'm not looking. Quartz glass. Do I not have the fluus crystal recipe either? Do you like pineapples? I actually like pineapples. Yeah, on pizza, absolutely. It's getting bad. Are you out in Alabama? Now you got me messed up. It's moving in and there's definitely a strong cell with a moving tornado. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm only shitting my pants. It's pretty normal. I'm pretty used to this stuff. Because this is one of the things and this one's going to take two. So we need two logic, one engineering. It's easy enough. Doesn't look like it's going to be anything over your way. I hope not, man. That would be great. We also need, I wanted to say we needed a disc, right? We needed a certain kind of disc. Oh, so let's see. Quantum is, I don't think it's is it that. Okay. So yeah, quantum ring is done. Bum, bum, ba, da, 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 ba, ba, da, bum, bum. Wait, can I make this matter condenser? So I need a 64K thing here. As cool as this is, I actually need a 64K. 64 per item. So we need 64K. So I need to make a 64K disc with this. So it needs to be a 64K storage part from Emmy storage part here. Sag. I think it's 64. Young enough to say, do, 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 do. yellow at best for you. Oh, well, that's good. So now we got to see what we need for this 64K one. And so we need 13 calculation, 36, 26 per our gold ones. Do we even have a calculation processor going? Oh, we do. Good, good laugh. I think this one just needs to be sped up. Go faster and faster. I don't think this actually works on this thing. I don't think this actually speeds anything up. I don't know how that it doesn't. It feels like it does. Maybe not. Six more. I think there's speed acceleration cards or whatever. There's all those. I don't think this is working, actually. Am I tripping or is it just not speeding it up? Let's see if we can get an acceleration card to make it faster. I don't think it actually needs an acceleration card, but it doesn't hurt. Of course, it needs these calculation processors. I don't think I have any in there. Acceleration. It's got to have the good laugh. Can I just make two? I think I can afford two. Much faster. Ooh, that's so much better. Oh, my God. I'll take it. Oh, God, now I said a redstone.
So what do we need for that 64K storage drive? Nothing else. So I don't know if it needs to be, okay, it's just be this. Can the water, eternal water blocks work on this sucker? I don't know, if, do I need, can I put the acceleration cards in here? I just need one singularity, so we could just let this sucker go. Thought you were gonna be done with it? Dude, I'm actually really close. So we'll split this one. Oh. Okay, and now we need evil craft stuff. So evil craft, we need the humanoid flesh that turns into gar garbombuja. We need this. So we need this. Rejuvenated flesh is what we need. So we need the garbombuja. So we need, we have a blood infuser already over here. So I'm gonna show you guys how this speed run part works. This is hilarious. So first off, we're gonna turn this off. And so I'm gonna make, I didn't know this. So I'm gonna make these spiked plates. And so I should be able to make these. I need like 40 something of these. I'm just gonna make a bunch of them. And so instead of these plates right here, we're going to need pedestals. So there's these sanguinary pedestals. This takes dark gems, dark blocks. And so I'm going to go underneath this. Or am I? Okay. Turn that off so I don't accidentally get killed here. And so we're going to drain these. I think this is fluid, so we could use a mechanical pipe from this. And so we're going to put the blood infuser right on top of this. And so now when I turn this on and they fall on this, it will stack my blood up easy. And so now instead of doing this, what up Code Meister? How you doing? Are those not getting killed? Okay. Yeah, they're getting killed. See, easy. So now we need promises and all that stuff. So we need a promise acceptor here. So we need iron. We'll turn this on here in a second and this will just go. We need the bowl of empty promises. This is a dark power gem. So we're actually going to need to make these with the dark gems. This is what my speedy one is for. What up code Meister? How you doing? Okay, so we're going to need like a lot of these. And there's so much blood in the pedestals that I don't have to worry about anything. So we're going to make these dusted bowl of promises and then we're going to do crushed. Do I have to crush these? Do I not have any crushed? Mate, how's my TPS? Spark TPS? I have 20 TPS. What? What do you mean? I got perfect TPS. Is there any crushed stuff in here? Where's my dark gems at? TPS is uh, your 
ticks per second. And so 20 is what they want you to be at. And so that's where 20 is like perfect. And that's where I'm sitting at. Bro, this is taking forever. My game would be sauce. Well, right now, this is to prove to everybody. Everybody says, oh my God, mob farms are, sorry, these farms are so laggy. I can't do them. You're crashing people's worlds. I'm like, I'm not doing shit. That is a user error. I've got four farms running and I've got perfect TPS. And I'm pretty sure my chunk destroyer is still going. So, bro, why is this not going faster? Yo, Pine Crow, what's up, buddy? You tell him, bro. I don't even care, man. I don't even catch somebody. Come get these guys. What is this? I need a block of lapis to make the promise of productivity. Oh, whoa. Is there a trick to keeping it low or is it hardware related? Partly because it is hardware related, but mostly because. One of the things you need to make sure that you do is you don't always have to have the max upgrades in the scythe. Second thing you need to do is, oh my God, we need to get all these seeds out of here. You got to make sure that this never gets full like this ever. If it gets full, you're screwed. So we're going to put these seeds up. So that's one of the things because then you start having things everywhere. Next up, don't have too many different seeds in one plot. Even though I have a bunch over here, you'll see a bunch come in or whatever. Um, don't have too many different seeds. Use an advanced item collector if you're doing a bunch. It should make it easier. And then that's pretty much it. Cats or dogs? I prefer dogs, but as I'm getting older, I think I will like cats more. I still love my dog. Don't tell my doggy, though. Don't tell my doggy. I love that dog. So we need to make a gold promise collector. So we need gold here. Is this just going slow just because the ticks are beside it or because, oh, it's because I'm not doing anything. Seems much better than the back. No, backpack with magnet is the best. Backpack with magnet just doesn't have the same amount of range. So that's what's different, Oakley's. The backpack with the magnet is actually the best one. So we need a promise tier one here. So need a dusted bowl of promises. I would prefer to use that if it had the range. Do you still have to be with a certain range of the mob farm for it to work? If you have, um, oh God, I almost died there. You see how it says ignores players. If you have nether stars, you can ignore it. I have a guide for all of this on, you want to go and look at it. Or tenacity two. We found these fill his blood up i missed that ender ir pharma station it's still i think you can still use it i think it's still there the tier two tier three or whatever we need the diamond promise acceptor i want to say diamond i need to get diamonds dude that's actually got to happen has to have a full thing of blood here we need to start making some diamond seeds that's actually going to be something i need to do soon Bro, this is going to take forever. The next part of this is actually annoying. Oh, that just made it quick. All right, so now we need to make Garmin Bosio, I think it is, or whatever. So this is just materialized vengeance essence. Okay, so the problem with this is that I actually need a vengeance ring here. So you can make the Pearson Vengeance Focus if you want to. This is just spirit killing beam. Uh, we need the vengeance ring to begin with. And so this basically makes it worth might attract summon vengeance spirits. And so we can shift right click to toggle a boost. And so when we go kill things, so let's go to the nether or the other um, and kill some things. I should just be able to kill things here and lag into the cent next century. Oh my God. And so that's a vengeance spirit. I think I can't kill it like this. Want to say that I can't kill it like that? 
What I could do is go back home, and I think the mob masher might be able to kill it. I think I need the spirit vengeance beam or whatever. Yeah, the entity spawns there are pretty rough. And so I should actually theoretically get some vengeance stuff in here. No, I don't think so. I actually need to make the spirit killing beam. So we need the vengeance focus. I don't think I need to. I want to say that I don't need to. This used to be the old recipe, by the way. We. I don't know what's hitting me. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Please be quick. Probably the ally is just running around. Here we go. You're kicking it. Thank you, Lily. So when we kill this guy, we should be able to just go. There we go. Revenge of the spirit. And so now I should be able to make this materialized vengeance essence. And if I put it in this tier three here, something is hurting me and I don't know what it is. It's probably the spirit vengeance thing. How much do you need for this? 50,000. Good thing I have 150. Am I, is it the vengeance stuff? I'm just gonna put those things up so they don't hurt. The sheer amount of stuff I didn't need in this. You sold me. There we go. Garmin Bosia or whatever. This is one of the things that is needed. Because you need this for the rejuvenated flesh. So if I have the hungering flesh, which I think is in the backpack that I put over here. Or is it in my backpack? There it is. So we just combine these two. And we get rejuvenated flesh, and that's one of the things we need. All right, so split. And now we have elemental craft stuff. That's annoying. Uh, we need to make diamond seeds first. Diamond seeds are tier five, so they don't duplicate. And they need some premium. And so we should have plenty of some premium. So diamonds. The last go let's put the quantum ring back in the backpack. Oh, all the mods eight star. And so this should make me some day 60. Oh God, what am I doing? I keep forgetting where I'm at. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lily, by the way. Because we're going to need the diamonds here. So I'm going to go ahead and get the diamond essence. And I'm going to come over here to this this crafter, I think it was. And I'm going to tell it to remember this. And so that'll just convert everything into diamonds because we're going to need a bunch of diamond blocks. And so that should keep things going for a little bit. I don't know what the hell that sound was. All right, so that should be enough. Appreciate you. Uh, all right. So the next part is the elemental craft stuff, and this is actually annoying. Elemental craft is like the worst part of this. Um, because elemental craft, we have a ton of stuff that we have to do with this. One of the things that we haven't done is we haven't set up for this power stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. We need the nitro rods. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put these up. And so we're going to delete all these rods. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, and then we're going to see if we can do this properly. So this one should be able to go from the main power now. That works. I got to do elemental craft. Let me work on power walls. What up, Robert? How are you doing? That is how I feel right now, too, my dude. Huh. Am I really doing this with this guy right beside me just hanging? Add a banana. Batania is one of my favorite mods. I, uh, I'm glad you enjoy it. I personally don't use Batania, but um, I don't really like... I've done it a couple times and it's not my style of mod. Um, I think it's just because of the way the pacing goes in the early game, but otherwise I'm a speedrunner, so that's why I like things to go fast. But uh, Batania is pretty cool in the way they do things. Uh, that's not going to do. They, neither of these are going to do anything. Dun dun dun. dun uh, so let's test this theory if these guys actually hold up or not. I wonder if these on the ceiling are going to be too high or not. We're going to test out right now. Let's test it out by making a nitro crystal. Whew! That was quick. I love this song, dude. It's so relaxing. Show Greg Tech, but it's confusing still. Is it just a power mod? It is... Greg Tech. I don't know what's the best way to describe Greg Tech. Greg Tech is... Um, it's, it's a mod that makes... It's basically, if you've ever done IC2, like the original IC2, it just makes... 
like the original it's basically like playing in real life where you hate yourself but you can't stop hating yourself you follow me oh well that's still bugged that's still bugged I'm just kidding though. If you do enjoy that sort of thing, there's nothing wrong with it. The mod for Masochist. It's a really enjoyable mod. Mostly what Alfred said. Oh, uh, Gibraltar is the dude who does the quest for it. Okay. So the reason why I'm doing this is because we're going to get some recipes for this because we need to get the all the modium recipe. So grab this. This wasn't in here when I did this before. Piglet charts. I'm just going to go ahead and get the recipe with this. What? Oh, I'm in the wrong recipe thing. All right, so how are we doing on vibranium blocks? Do we have vibranium blocks? No. That's how you spell vibranium. Vibranium is now vibranium. Oh, vibranium. I love me some vibranium. Well, other, it's, yeah, it's basically its own standalone mod. Like, it's it's meant to be challenging. Burn -a -burn -a -burn -a -burn -a -burn -burn I wonder if this is going to work fast enough for me to export it. There it goes. Weird. We got a plenty of stuff. We don't have enough alimonium. So we need to go grab some. Because I don't want to go and do this uh, other stuff. I've done elemental craft like seven times at this point. Oh, I just dropped that. It's actually something very important to do, and it could be the thing that costs us. We're not going to make 20 hours, but we'll do 24 hours. I think we're actually really close to making all of... Like, really? We, we're going to get it in the morning. Like, I'll get this tomorrow. Like, I'll get this tomorrow easy peasy. And I'm going to get it in... I'm pretty sure we'll get it in 24 hours. Do I have air infinity, or infinity on my thing in a boober? I think I do. I wouldn't be farming this this, this fast. This is why I don't make seeds for all the modium because I'll just tear through everything. One of the things that's going to be a problem is that we got to go summon the wither again. I'm going to kill it a few times. This song is actually a bop. I think the limiting factor at this point is actually going to be. I wonder actually if we have the stuff for it. We got to go look. That song it was called "Numb" by Christian Gates.
Thanks, my guy. You're welcome, dude. I love that song. Wait a second. Did y'all just see the wither bar? Okay. Whoa, that kind of scared me. There we go. Now we have enough. Okay, so here's the problem. Okay, I don't think that we need the third one. There's three alloy blocks, right? Am I tripping? I don't think we need the third alloy block, right? What is it? This one, this one, and this one? I don't think we need this at all. No. Okay. This is where it gets funny. So all the modium, we need 28 of these. And here's the problem with those. Is this needs... Oh my god, it's going so fast! Yo, the mysterious fellow, thank you for the follow. This is going a lot faster than I thought it would go. I'm actually perplexed. Uh, cool, I guess. I'll take it. Did not expect it to go the fast. Okay, so now we're going to go do elemental craft. This is the part that I really don't want to do. Okay. But we got to do it. So elemental craft. This is what needs the dimensional. So we need the dimensional C. This is what we're making. So to make this, we need spirit. Oh my God, I forgot about the soul steel for C. Oh, I forgot about roots too. Or not roots. Oh God, this is not good. So we need the miniature portals. Hey, BG girl. So we're going to need the mini portal recipes here. I'm actually hating the way that these uh, were made before. This actually killed me the way we made this. Like the way we made it in nine is actually kind of annoying as hell. And uh, it's funny because... That's 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 the answer that I got right there. It's funny. Okay, so we need a bunch of importers, exporter, exporters, importers. What time is it? Ten o'clock. Missing string. Are we actually missing string? Do I, am I at a string string? Like, do I have no string string? I should have the Shale 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 Aquarius these. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We need to make at least 10 more of these. So this, this part I actually kind of really don't like because we need a couple of things. So I think we already have the drenched iron stuff. We have 15 drenched iron left. So we need to make these damn things. These things are so annoying to make. So we need the binders. Do I have the binders in here? Can I make a binder? And so we need the fire eyed ingots. Fire eyed ingots. We need the crystallizers. So this is going to be a ton of fun because you need like basically one of each thing over here. Speaking of which, can I actually use, can I make a couple more element containers? Cool. Are you not having items drop from your seed farms? Because they're being collected by a advanced item collector. All right, so we just need one of each of these real quick. Okay. Earth. Okay, so now we need to branch these off. We still need to make the drenched iron ingots and everything, so I'm actually going to do the element infusers is what we did last time. We're going to need some more of those. 
And so this is going to import export like we did before. Going to need a lot of those. I turned off our diamond farm, our iron farm, didn't I? That's totally what it was meant to be. Cool. I turned off our farm over here. This needs to go. Did it pick up my vector plates for this? It did. Cool, gotta get that going. You can't blame me. I turn off and unplug every time, every, I'm thinking, everything, every time, all the time. Wait, why? We need our network stuff. Yeah, it won't be tonight that we make this. I'll tell you that. But we're going to try and I'm going to have it done by 24 hours. I'll tell you that. Look at our tower. Look at what we've done to the ba uh, big boy. I don't like my electricity draining into the walls. That's fair. That's very fair. Okay, so the thing is, is I need these drenched iron ingots. And so I need actually all of these things. So I also need crystals. So I'm going to grab another water, which I have should be. So I need another fire, another air. This is red. This is earth. And that's empty. Okay, so we're going to do infusers here. These are going to be the infusers that make the crystals. So. Okay, and so this needs to be, oh, I just realized this is not set to whitelist. Oh, it is set to whitelist. Is it making drenched iron here? Oh, got it is. What up, Zagos? How you doing? Make sure all of these are set to a whitelist. Why is the why do I have two water containers? This is a fire container, right? Can I not grab another fire? Oh god, did I color blind the shit out of this? And then, so these are all going to get crystals. All of these at the top are going to get a crystal. Bro, I love this song. Is it me or is it not putting a crystal on this? It's all connected. Is this supposed to be a, a crystal? Infusion. Yeah, it's supposed to be a crystal, and it's supposed to just get it. 
And this is an importer blacklist, whitelist. Oh, okay, because these aren't set to whitelist. Okay, and so this one, there we go. This one's supposed to be fire crystal. This one's supposed to be air crystal. Water crystal. And earth crystal. Okay, and so now we have the four elemelons. These are going to drain real quick. Okay, so I need to make the... We're eventually... We're trying to make the pure crystal. Is one of the things. We need like 11 pure crystals, okay? And so the pure crystals are annoying as hell to make. Because you need to make each of these things. And so we need a pure infuser. So we're going to need a pure rock, which is actually... Is it air that makes that? It's earth stone. Okay, so we need to do the same thing here. We do an importer. We need an infuser. Could have done this earlier. Okay, so this is going to need some more water. We can always replace this whenever I need more. Okay, and so fire, I believe, makes glass. So that's what we need these. These are annoying. Okay, oh my God, we're going to need so much amethyst. So these are really annoying. This is like one of the most annoying ones. So we need air, we need an element binder. And then we need the air crystal, redstone, drenched iron, and this. I don't remember how many we need total, but I remember that these are actually annoying to make. And so... Can I auto-craft this? I can auto-craft this. Yo, Fo Sheet, thank you for the follow. I can auto-craft this. This is my air one. So binder can go on here and then well, let's grab all the things that I need to make this. I could auto craft this with a modular router. I could auto craft this with a modular router. I know how to do this. Why it's literally just like hitting me all at once that I could do this with a modular router. I really hope this works. Otherwise, I am wasting my time. We're going to set this to, we're going to do one by hand real quick. 
And so we're going to make this one by hand. I've never done this before, so this is kind of like, bear with me. Gold, drenched iron, copper. You have to do this in order. Gold, drenched iron, copper, redstone, air crystal. And so in this puller module, well, module we're going to make sure we set this to whitelist and then it will pull that and then we'll do the importer goes on this. And so now Swift, let's see if it'll craft it. I'm a goddamn genius. I did it. I auto crafted this. Can I do 10 at a time? I just made my life a million times easier. I don't think you guys understand how much better your life would be. Yeah, dude, modular routers is definitely my favorite. I don't know how many I need of these, but like, it's always good to just make a bunch of these because these are actually needed in a lot of different things. Like element binding, you need this for the pedestals. You need this for fire aid ingots. You need this for literally every, every pedestal. What do you need for the gem crystallizer? You need it for the gem crystallizer. We only need one of these. Do we need strongly contained crystals? So we need to do the same thing for the water. So this is a water. I know I did what I was doing, but you're the goat, dude. It's insane to me that I just did that. Like, that just blows my mind that I just set that up. And I can do it again, too. Watch me. Okay, modular routers. You don't actually need the five modular, or the Mark II of these. This will work without it. Do we have another binder? Dude, they're so good, man. I love them. Also, thank you, by the way. You the goat. Do I have any more importers? Am I out of importers? All right, and so this will do this. So we need to get this for the amethyst one. The spring align shard. I can't believe I just figured out how to do this like this. I'm actually like my mind is wait, what is okay. We should have a lot of amethyst blocks. Did I throw the amethyst blocks in here? Oh, we should just have a lot of amethyst. Okay. Apparently I broke them all down. Oh yeah. Cause I went crazy. I remember. And so we just need to make one. So what is it? It's amethyst. Amethyst crystal water thing. That moment when, give it to me. I don't know how much I need of these, but we're going to make a couple of them. I'm just blowing my mind right now the fact that i just automated those 
Like, I just cannot explain it. I need a gem crystallizer, though. We need to get this recipe going, too. Um... All right, so this is going to make these guys right here. I can probably just make the recipe for this. And then these pedestals all have to be made. I'm not going to automate this because this is just one, but we do need the gem crystallizer. Gem crystallizer. Oh, God. I'm going to grab the recipe for this. That was an expensive one. I only need one. Okay. And so now, so we need one of each though. That's the thing. This is one of the things that I haven't done yet. I can put this on this because I haven't done this one yet. Laws, what is this fire? Fire is the one I think we need the most gems in. So we need one pristine earth for that one. I want to say that I did one for this. Okay. So no, I need one pristine fire gem from here. I need one normal gem there. And I think, yeah, I just need two fire gems here. And so check this out. So you, you need gem. So you need a diamond here. And so we need to make the pristine fire gems. So I didn't know this, I could do this, but you can take the raw fire ones and you can actually make, like increase the chances of how these work. So you put in a fire crystal in here like this. I'm going to need a speed up thing. So you throw in a crystal, right? You throw in the diamond and then you throw these around the ring like this. And then it increases the chances of it to be a better item. And so now I got a fine fire gem, a gem. So crystal, you got to do diamond and then do all the way around. It did it too quickly, but I got a pristine one. So that's fine. Two pristine fire gems. Sweet. So we got to keep those. Dup, dup, dup. Cool, cool, cool. And so the fire one, the fire one needs, you need either a fine or pristine one. So you need this for each one. So we're going to grab the gem crystallizer and then we're going to find, I think I have a water one already like ready to go. So we're going to place this down and then I'm going to grab the crystallizer and I'm going to do the same thing. I have too much stuff in my inventory. Do I need more than one of these? Is the other one water? No, it's just so this one, I don't really need that. Yeah. I don't think I need the pristine one for this because I don't need any of those. I just need it for the water. Right, because I need it for the water pedestal. I just need one of those, and the pure infuser doesn't need it either. Okay. And now we can put this up and grab one of the... We did fire already. We need air. That one's not even remotely full. Now I don't know what that looks like, because... Oh, God. This is air, right? Air. That's not it. I want to say we need several of these. What up, Swap? Swapney? Is that how you say your name? I want to say we need a perfect one. Pretty sure we need a pristine one for this one. It's for the Jewel of the Demigod. We need a pristine air gem and we need a pristine earth gem. So. My game crashed? Nope. Hmm. 
<laughs> so I need a pristine one, so I'm gonna just wait for this one to give it like enough. Even though it takes a little bit of time, I want to at least get one pristine one. This will at least increase the chances. I need a pristine one. Got my kiddos down. Oh, 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 what you going to do? This is killing me right now. Speed runs in it. Can't do it. Can't beat this. How am I doing on the Alamodium stuff? Okay, I've already made this. So we need the Vibranium. I'm going to, I can swear I need two of these, right? So two. Ah, I got a pristine one that time. Cool. Okay. Those are all empty. That one's not empty. Cool. I'm not sure what she wants to do yet. Okay. So now that I've got this, now that I've got all this stuff, now I need to make these. Per so we need a binder, which I think I've already got a binder. I probably need to make another element binder. So let's go ahead and make another binder. All right. And so with this binder, we need to make each of these pedestals. And so each of them has to sit on top of one of their whatever. So we need a lot of white. I think all of the recipes are the same except for the gems. So we need four infusers. We have seven right there. And then we need the swift. We need one of one a piece. So one, two, three, four. And then what was that white rock, right? So we need one, two, three, four of those. Right? So white rock. So one, two, so it's infuser, gem, alloy, two rock, rock, and that's on top of a binder. Okay. So let's do it with this one real quick. So infuser gem. This one's water. So infuser gem. Swift alloy. Two two white rocks, right? So we need more than four. We need eight. Okay, so let's do. So one, two, three, four, five. Speedy up, you want. Is it enough? Ah, one. Cool. Can I not? And now we need the binder on something else. And let's do it on this earth one. So I'm right here. No. Huh. Yeah. Okay, cool. I don't know what I just broke back here, but I broke it. I didn't use my pristine one, right? This one's air. So infuser, air, do, do, do. And the last one is fire. Bro, am I going to pick this? Hello? All right, so we need a binder. We need infuser plus the gem. Is that black pink? Wait, what?
This is um, KDA. Dude, I love this song. All right, so this is the part that sucks because now we actually have to put all these out and then we have to set this up. And so we have to do like the infusion or crystal. That's the crystallizer. Did we make the pure thing yet? Did I craft this yet? I don't know if I crafted this or not. I thought I did. But essentially, you place this down and then everything needs a place to be. So we got to go. This is a terrible place to put it. Still a terrible place to put it. And so earth, water, air. What is this last one? Fire. Okay. So now this is where all of that like practice was going. All of that stuff that I was doing leads to this moment right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line these up. So this is earth. I've got an air one right here. So air goes back here. And I don't know if I want to go all into one or not. And then so water is this one. And then we have the rest of these. Okay. So this is fire. Maybe one of this, maybe I'm. So the thing is, is we need like 10 of these full ones for this to work. Did this, oh no, oh no, oh no. I don't think we have enough air. Oh no. Oh, that sucks, actually. That might cost us the run. That's the only dangerous part about that. I need every single one of these to be full, and I need every single one of these to... What, what kind of element goes in this one? Air? I need every single one of these to be full. Every single one of these. Give me my waters. Am I doing this math wrong? So far, we don't have enough air. We might have enough fire. And so the thing about this is this is a pure, this is the recipe for the pure crystal. And so each of these needs a crystal on top of it. And so what I'm doing here is we need each of the crystals on top of this. And I think it's that I need 11, but I could be wrong. Oh, this is going to be tough.
why the wither frozen like that? He's in a stasis chamber. He's just kind of vibing right now. He'll be all right, though. So the reason why I'm doing it like this is this is the earth pedestal is because I only want a certain mini to be done. And so if I put all of these on here, that means that they're automatically going to be pulled out. I know I'm going to need the configurator here to pull from the bottom here. Keep those going. So that's earth. This is water. And so we need 11, 12 of these. And so that'll stack that on there. And this way I don't have to worry about it automatically messing up here. And this one should be there. And so in the middle, we need the pure crystal. In the middle, we need, I think it's a diamond, right? And so the diamond goes in the middle here. So we can actually just run this cable. We're going to need an exporter. And an importer. Put me on a chamber? Wait, put me on a chamber? What you mean? I am tripping right now. Because this is the most annoying part, I think, in my opinion. This is the most important part of this speed run. We need to set this to diamonds. I just need to give it one diamond. And so now I need to take my element pipes and I need to pump all these suckers out into this one pedestal here. So the thing is, is the more cables that I have here pumping out, the more that will come out. Oh, in the I'll put you in one. Yeah, he's just vibing over there, bro. He's chilling. He'll he that Sasa chamber. We gotta kill him a little bit later, but I need to get mystical enlightenment on a sword first. Okay, so that's one, and now we gotta do this for each one of these. Why did I place that there? What's your favorite way to get OP? As in, like, are you talking about in general? Are you talking about all the mods nine? Uh, favorite way is probably getting a bunch of resources, but apotheosis is really fun. Finding gems, stuff like that. That's also, that's all really fun. Like, I enjoy that a lot. Question is, did I connect these? Did not. Gonna run out of element pipes at this rate. In general, I'm like, but I'm playing nine. Yeah, I would. My favorite way would probably be, uh, like I said, just doing apotheosis because it's so much fun. Apotheosis is so so much fun. I I don't really like the infusion enchanting because that's annoying. But otherwise, um, I do enjoy. I'm gonna need sixty four of these. I, I do enjoy the uh, axes and all that stuff. Like, that's all really fun to get into. Uh, I don't think we have enough for this. Because I need a ton of fire, and I think I need a ton of... I think I just need a ton of fire. I think I'm not too worried about it right now.
I'm so to or like focused in right here. You miss one on the other end. Okay. I don't know if more pipes are better like this, but we're just going to try it. To put it on extract? Okay, I'll get it. That's full. That's not full. Why is this one not full? That one's full. Because I didn't set these to extract, apparently. I missed a bunch of them. Why am I so fast? Apparently I missed all of these. Did I really miss all? Am I that tired? So you guys know, for those who are watching on YouTube, this is 11 o'clock at night for me right now. So that's full. These are all set to extract. That should be all pulling out of this and connecting. Oh no. That should be full. Okay, that's filling up now. We have a pure crystal already in here. And that'll go in the importer here. And so let me count what we need for the pure crystals, okay? So we need two here. So one, two, three. Don't need a pure crystal here. So let's grab the pure crystal here. So that's three. And then we need to make, um, in the binding, we need to make three plus, that's five, seven, eight. Nine, ten. I think that's it, right? Just ten? You beat it by tomorrow? Oh, I'll absolutely have it tomorrow. Absolutely. The only thing I'm worried about now is if I have enough of this earth and stuff to use. Because each one of these are going to be using a ton. See, like, I'm almost out of air already. And so, we're talking about air... Like, fire is fine. I think I have plenty of fire. Um, but air over here is a problem. Because I'm already out of air shards. And so, what drops air? Spiders? Endermen? Phantoms? Shulkers? Spiders? Do I have any eggs? Let's just do Enderman. And we're going to just get a gate. That's not a gate. We're going to grab a swab real quick. Just going to let these guys get out of range. Like, they'll teleport to me or whatever. Matter of fact, I wonder if it's actually worth me killing these guys by hand. Because I should have a bunch of crystals and stuff I can give to them. Can I kill you guys, please? I don't, I really don't need to kill all these guys. I don't know if I need the earth or not. But like the fact that we ran out of air this whole time and I didn't know it kind of sucks. Didn't we have another bucket of experience that I was holding on to? Yeah.
One thing, though, could actually mess this whole run up and make this take a whole lot longer. All it takes is one, because I ran out of air seeds. I feel like chickens should be air. I can probably spare one of these to be a Enderman. All right, let's see these things go up. Do I need more than one Enderman? I think not. I think this should be plenty. Thing is, is this is for evaporating. So if this doesn't stay full, like this has 64, this has 30, this has zero. And so these three are the only ones that aren't filled up. And so we have one, we just basically got to fill these up. And so we can fill these up by doing this is where we're at. So how are we doing on the crystals? Pure crystals we have, what did I say we needed? Let's double cat, all right, double check. Cause we don't need the element source reader pedestal. We need one for the jewel. So that's one. Okay. So let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six for the other one, seven for the fire at ingot. And then we need eight, nine, 10. So we need a total of 10. And so I'm going to take out two of these. Because right now we should have three crystals and there's six in there and there's one in there. So that should be enough. And so right now, what is taking the longest? Air? Yeah, because air is almost empty. There's literally one that has a ton in there. There's two. Water is full. This is pretty much all done here. I wonder why it takes so long to pipe this in. It's literally piping it into this one, which is super weird. It's like filling these up, which is really, really, really weird. Because I don't know why it's filling these up. These are all set to output into here. So there's four in there. So we need five more or six more. It's like all filling into there, which I'm not even minding at this point. Sixtieth day. Just weirded out at the fact that this is pulling into here. Like this should go straight into this one. It's almost the perfect amount. Yes, almost. I don't understand. All the rest of them are pumping out just fine.
Okay. So it should be enough to make the more more of the pure crystal. So we have five, so we need five more. And so right now, what we're hurting on the most is the raw air shards, which we should have plenty now. But man, this actually made this run way worse. This actually screwed this whole run up, actually. Because I shouldn't have to be doing this at all. I'm like literally wasting like 30 minutes doing this. These things need to fill up. I wonder if I should just put the evaporator on top of this. What if I just make the evaporators here? And then do the raw shards in here. So that it just gets a steady flow in there. Can I please put this on top of this? That'll keep it up. All right, so there's six, so we need four more. And then the fire eye ingot is the next part. So we need one of those. Um, spring line, we need one of those. We need swift alloy, we need one of those. We got that. And this is pretty much we need the pristine gem. We have should have most of these. Let's see, can we make this? Oh, sh Do I need one for each of these? Oh, God. Ugh. Sardonzo! What up, buddy? What up, dude? I will finish it Sunday morning. I will. It'll probably take me another two more hours to get this run done. And so that's currently where I'm at. This is my spring line shard, isn't it? Yeah. So we need a binder. I Yeah, I will finish this. What up, Sardonzo? How you doing? I'm kind of excited because I know I can do it. And so we need swift alloy. So we need, what do we need? One more. Please, please go. Thank you for the two months prime, bro. Is this not the recipe? I will be uploading it on YouTube, but it will be available for a playthrough. You'll be able to watch it on um, Twitch as well. Am I tripping right now? Is this supposed to be an infuser? Hold on a second. It's a binder. Gold, drenched iron, copper, redstone dust, air crystal, 
Oh, is it over water? Or is it... Oh, I think it's over air, isn't it? No shot that it's over air. Ugh. Probably where most of my stuff went to. Which makes this more fun. I need one, and this all has to be used. And this one is going to give me some. I got to cancel this over here. Over. What is going in here? I'm going to need like two or three, aren't I? Please, for the love of God, just make the swift alloy ingot. Is it because it put too much stuff in there? Oh, it did. Made it. Okay, so we should be able to make the Jewel of the Phoenix. Why do I have so much stuff in my inventory? Okay, so we should be able to make the Jewel of the Phoenix. Jewel of the Demigod takes two, but it also takes these Totems of the Undying. I don't think I have any totems right here, but I should actually have some over here. Oh God, what have I done? One, two, one, two, three, four. So I should need Jewel of the Demigod, so I got that. And so that knocks off two, that knocks off one, so that means three. And I should be able to make this, right? I'll make miss some pork chops. Bro, I got pork chops back at the house. Let's go back to the overworld. I gotta, I just gotta find where my portal home is. Oh, it's over here. I got some raw pork chops I can grab. I think. I think I can grab some raw pork chops up top. I missed the beginning and I will be at work tomorrow, so sadly I can't watch the end. Oh no! That sucks. Should have pork chops in. I think it's there. It is one, two, three, four. I don't know if it's four or two. And so there's the three jewels that I need. Wait, one, two. Okay, one, two, three. There's the three jewels that I need. And so crystal wise, that knocks off three. So I need two more air. I need two more crystals. That's tough. Oof. And so that pretty much leaves us where we're just waiting on air at this point. There's not much air in these at all. I think we're, oh, that one's full. What am I waiting on then? Water? Or, don't tell me it's earth. Earth has plenty, bro. Actually, I don't think earth has plenty. Can I please just place these on top? Why do you have to take them off? You really think I'm trying to take these off? I think this is a really cool idea that ended up not being really that cool. Cool. I love the spiral galaxy you did. Yo, thanks. That's actually one of the images they have in, uh, in Ad Astra. That was a part of it. Okay. So I needed, I need literally one more. I need one more crystal and I've got it all. I think fire, right? Fire, right? Is over fire, right? Yeah. 
And so we need Swift Alloy, Spring Lean, Crystal. So Swift Alloy. Oh, God, I got to make one more. What up, Sky? You know, thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate it, man. I wonder if I actually have enough air to make this over here. I should actually. Oh, I'm still crafting the other one. Oh, no. I just picked all that up. like hold this for me can i just cat can i just ask for this please oh is this just turned off or something whatever oh i needed that in my inventory so swift alloy make this i need an elementor bind elemental binder we need netherite Was it netherite, swift, springling, 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 and then we need uh, a pure crystal. I just want all of these to be over with. And then now we just need to grab a bind. I think I have a binder. I just need to grab something with fire. I think I have a fire one over here. Are you speed running on a super flat? Nah, this is uh this is the mining dimension in all the mods in eight. This should actually make the fire ironing it. Okay, that's one of the things we needed right there. That can go in the garbage. Actually, no, I need this. No, I don't need this. I don't need this. Okay, crystal. I need literally one more pure crystal. Just one more. Just one more is it. So water's full, earth is full, fire's full. It's literally down to air. So we're just going to hit all this. I'll leave a lurk on my account. You're, you're good, dude. I'm heading to bed here soon, to be honest with you. I won't be up too much longer. So I can finish this in the morning. Should get this within 24 hours. I'll literally be able to say that I got, I got all of this done within 24 hours. Have you done the run in seven sky? No, but I don't think it's that hard to seven sky. Cause you literally start off with like infinite stuff. So, but I think a lot of people said that seven sky was one of their favorite, um, Oh God, hold on. Do I have all the crystals here? This has a fire crystal. This has a water crystal. This has an earth crystal. Oh, did I just get another crystal? Oh my God. Did I just finally get the last pure crystal? Okay. So that's six. Let me make sure here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So now we just need to go make these stupid thing in booblers. We need to make the portals here. Or right, so the, these things. So we need fire, fire and air. Of course we need air. Of course we need air. Of course. Wouldn't make any sense if we didn't have air. Okay. Actually, hold on. We have an air over here, right? We have this air right here. Let's see if we can make this the one with air. So it's teleportation core. We're going to need three of these. All right, please make this quickly. A lot of people say that it's their favorite, so I wouldn't. Teleportation core. Um, pure crystal. You know, I made this recipe. I made this recipe right here. So this is the jewel of the demigod here. So it's that, this, this, this. Wait, hold on a second. Did I do that wrong? So this, 
than this. So you only leave yourself the blame? Bro, I hate myself for doing this. I don't know if I did this recipe right or not, so I'm just going to take it all back. Because if I remember correctly, just put this all in here. So it's core, crystal, block, jill, block. Okay, so core, crystal, block, jewel, block, crystal. I wonder if I have enough for this one. If I don't know I have enough, it will lit. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. That's such a relief, bro. And so now we just need fire. So we just take this off the top here. We just need two things of fire here. I think we honestly don't even need two things of fire. Grab the binder over here. Oh, I had the binder in my hand. Okay, so fire, we just need this one. So we need core, crystal, dragon egg, jewel, dragon egg, crystal. Do I even have any dragon eggs? Oh my God, I have to make a dragon egg. And that's where, where do I have that set up over here? The prediction matrix? I need the dragon one. Where did I put the dragon stuff? All right here. And so now we need a prediction matrices. I now only play modded and, uh, you only play modded? Why, Direwolf got any mods? Yo, same. Direwolf got me into mods as well. I remember playing a long time. I wouldn't say he got me into it, but I remember watching him and him getting, like, me playing. I need some Dragon's Breath, too, so. Hold on a second. I remember watching him a ton when I was younger. I think I need the Dragon Egg for this one, too, so we need three Dragon Eggs. And so dragon eggs part of the star and let's go back over here to the fire fire. Okay. So teleportation core. So I need both of these. Okay. So let's think about the way this recipe goes. Okay. So this recipe is core crystal egg, jewel egg, crystal core crystal egg, jewel egg, crystal. Okay. So, Core, crystal, egg, jewel, egg, crystal. Blew my mind. Dude, it is kind of crazy to think about. All right, so there's that teleport teleportation core. And then, so that gives us this one done. And now we need two blocks of netherite. I don't know what happened there. Okay. So core crystal. And then this is going to be the last one, right? Am I tripping? Am I doing this right? So jewel of the piglin. Okay. Core crystal netherite. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. I make this? I can. All right. We can just hit split on this because we're done with this one. Do I not have a dragon egg on me? Do I have in stone in here either, bro? Come on now. Cool, got the three parts of that one. Dope. We can put this in this bag over here full of parts that need the star. And so now, emeralds, we are done with the emeralds. We can get started on this. Let's make sure. You know what I wonder? How the hell are my bees doing? Where's my centrifuge at? That's over here, right? Oh, this is enough. 
This looks like it'd be enough for what we need. So otherwise, we're kind of screwed. Oh, yeah, this is going to be plenty. Do we have any eggs in here? Oh, God, we got to have an egg. Did I pick eggs up at all? Oh, God, do I just need to spawn a bunch of chickens and kill them? We need to have a total of eight of these. Oh, there's a chance I might even be here. The R's video or R's being, wait, 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 wait. But you definitely got into the, really? Did I got you into it? That's kind of dope. I mean, I really enjoy doing this. Like I really enjoy playing modded and like, I have a good time like going through these things and trying to like speed run them. But I find that a lot of creators um, end up just kind of like, not really falling flat for me, but they all like, I don't really want to watch people just play. You know what I mean? I want a story. And so that's me personally, you know, spawn the chickens for killing spree. That's the plan. Y'all remember the video that I did where I literally murdered a bajillion chickens over and over and I did it into the sound like over and over and over again. I know you remember. It was like, that was hilarious. Okay. We'll just go get some chickens and kill them for eggs. Actually, do you, can you? All right, y'all ready? We got to go kill a bunch of chickens. That's what we're going to start this off with, okay? Let's do that. Let's do, go start off with some chickens. We got to get some eggs. All right, let's do it. Y'all ready for this? We got to get that initial lag out. So as soon as you first log in, you hit E, you got to get the initial lag out, blah, blah, blah. All right, just to show that I'm not cheating, here we are. I think we're good on emeralds. I think we have enough emeralds, so we can turn that off. And then, so where's my chickens? My chickens are going to be right here. Come on, chickens. I need the chickens. Come on. Where are my chickens at? Do they just drop eggs when killed? I don't think they drop eggs when killed. I think you actually have to let them lay eggs, right? Right? They'll just lay eggs. Can I make an egg? Pretty sure you can't. Oh, wait. Protein plus calcium, carbon, and blah, blah, blah. Pretty sure they just drop it, right? Because you can't kill them for it. Chicken massacre? I think I just spawn a bunch of them and let them just chill around until they make eggs. I just need one egg. I think that's what we're going to do. Just don't wander in that place. You'll die. Okay? All right. So that'll do this. I just need one. Okay? Yeah, they don't drop eggs and kill. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We got to start making all the stuff at the start. We got to double check to see if we got everything from the start. We also need to get rid of some of the stuff in my backpack and stuff because I just got too much stuff in my backpack. So all this elemental craft stuff can go up because I don't need it. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if we can get all the star recipe stuff. Okay. So these are the things, the main things that we got to make. And I'm going to double check to make sure that we got everything. So, soul steel and nature's are those two things we got to make. Then that's easy. Creative essence, we can literally make that right now. Why is it? Okay, this is for the recipes and stuff. Let's go ahead and make the creative recipe for this one. This one's just insanium gemstone block. So, we can literally just, we have the insanium blocks. We just got to teach it to make the block here. And so, this is pretty easy. I think I already know how to make that gemstone. So, let's go ahead and shove these two in there and then do insanium. Gemstone block. We need four of these. And then we should be able to take the master infusion crystal out of this one. It's got it in there. So we'll take this one. Can I take this? Thank you. Okay. Love you, K Jeff. Have a good one. Bye. And so we should be able to take the creative essence. That's done. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. So that's done. I think I do need the master infusion crystal a little bit later. We'll throw that back in there. And that's done. Creative essence is done. Bam. This one we need to make, we've got the nuke, we need the batteries, we need this, we need this, and we need the solar recharging units. That's actually important. Solar recharging units. We're gonna need this and a couple other things. Uh, we need to teach it how to make this. So this, we got the polonium pellets. Hopefully we have the polonium pellets. I think I already have the modular base, but I could be wrong. Um, we're gonna teach it how to make this. I'm gonna teach it how to make this. I wish solar power or panels weren't so annoying to make because if they weren't so annoying to make, I think people would actually enjoy making solar panels. And so can we make the uh, solar recharge? I think I need two, right? Yeah, I need two total. No, I need three total. Ooh, that's going to be fun. So three. One, two, three. We have everything for this. We're missing bronze nuggets. 
So do we have any bronze in here? Should be able to craft it. There's so many things happening so fast. Well, we working on it. Solar recharging any panel. Solar recharging. So we need three of these. Hopefully it'll make that easy. Because the other thing we need is a gravitational one. We'll get this, the high density capacitor thing. That's easy. So let me go ahead and get the recipe for this. We're using mechanism for this. So that should be easy to make. It's got to go down into yours. Yeah, with mechanism, this makes it easy. Takes a lot of iron, though. You know what I might not have? I might not have a lot of iron. So what is this? The high density power capacitor. Okay, that should be easy enough. Eventually, there it goes. Okay, got this. Can we get the solar recharging? Did those get done? They did. All right. So that one's done. Power. We got to teach it how to make this in the power one. What's the flower thing in the background? Wait, where? Those? Those are my... Those are a couple of things. Uh, we got the solar recharging unit. We need to teach it how to make the power stuff. Hold on one second. Resume. Okay, so let's keep going. Where are we at here? Okay, so the power, we need the power stuff for the batteries. That should be easy enough. So we should, we're just going to teach it how to make these batteries. It knows how to make almost all of these already by default. But we need two of these and we need to fill both of these up to make what we need. Shouldn't know how to make all of these. I'm going to also ask it to make a couple other things. So you need two nitro batteries. So now when I throw all these in here, we're going to need another crafter. I think I already made the another crafter here. I did. Ah. Uh, okay. Battery. We need two nitro batteries. What up, Jow? How you doing? The dog wants in. So that's going to be being made right now. And so that'll be good. The soul seal stuff is just annoying to make. So that's, that's fun. Um, that'll take care of, well, we got to make this. This is, should be easy to make. Can we just straight up make this? Okay. Never mind. We can make that. That's easy enough. Okay. That'll take care of all of this. We actually, we need the storage part. So just so you guys know, it's, we actually need something more from power, but I can't auto make it. I don't think. So we need, um, storage wise, we need refine. Actually, I think it's disc. I think it's the, let's see, fluid disc. I want to say our fluid part. I want to say it's the 1000 fluid part. Yes. The 1000 fluid part. This is actually the easiest way to make the star. Instead of making all the other stuff, you will need some unobtainium for it, but it's the easiest way to make the star. I did see something there that I meant to make. I need to make these. I need to teach you how to make the withering processors. That's uh goes into my whatchamacallit. Okay, these go in here. And then this goes in here. Teach it how to smell that. Okay. So let's go back into it. As long as it knows how to make some of these, we're good to go. I think it knows how to make some of these already. It's just got a, a bunch of buckets, it looks like. Because this starts with 64K and goes all the way down. Throw this in there. Fido, I swear. How does this not melt your brain? I've done it like 45 times and I prep for this. This takes me a long, long time. Okay, so where are we at? This Can I just straight out make this now? Let's see if I can make this. Please, I hope I can make this. I'm missing string. Really? That's it? Can I just make string by something? What is it? The or whatever? Can I make enough string for this? Okay, I can. Okay. That was actually one of the parts that I forgot about. Having all the string. Still missing a bunch of string? Oh god, we actually have to get a spider, don't we? What's the easiest way to get string? Spider essence? Right? Flax? How much of this do we have to make string? Um... Spider eyes. We can use the spider eyes to just get string that way too. So we could just grab a spider. Do I? It's 267. So just 267. Let me make a spider thingy. Moobler. 
Spider gate. Let's just grab the string that way. Actually, I'm just going to make a spider spawner. A swab. Do we not have any swabs in here? Yeah, we have one swab in here. So let me grab a bucket. The watering can doesn't work on, on nine. You might have turned it on, but it doesn't work on nine. Can I, do y'all have eggs yet? Do y'all have eggs? Ah, there's an egg. Inactive dragon egg is done. Okay. So let's go over here. Let's do a gate. I'm not going to do the whole thing here. Just going to swab one and use it. Yeah, there's a config that you can change. What up, Ethan? You back already? Can I just get the string this way? I could probably get the string this way, but that's going to take too long. So we need to do this plus this plus a seed. Do we have any more seeds? Can I use any seed for this? No. Where's this chicken? Where's the chicken at? Bro, I hear them clucking. Where are they? I hear them clucking, but I don't see them. There's so many chickens. There you are. Congratulations, Evoker Spawner. You got turned into a spider spawner. And we can actually cardboard box all the ones that aren't Evokers. I think we actually need to do diamonds, right? Do the Endermans too. And then turn this sucker on, which my key is right here. I always forget where it's at. I like how this picked up eggs before anything. And that should give us, some, does this turn into silk or string? I don't think so. And that should give us a bunch of string real fast. Yeah. All right, so let's see if I can make the 148 thing now when I put this in here. Yep, okay. That's gonna take a little bit, I think, to craft. I want to say should take a little while to craft up because it's got to smelt a bunch and that's fine. Um, and so while that's cooking, let's see what else we have to make. We have the nitro batteries. We have to charge those. So I got to put those in my inventory. And so that's got to get charging. So we know how to make that. Philosopher's fuel. We need to get the insanium coal block. We have the quad uranium fuel rod. We need the oak nascent, which is literally just dragon's breath. That's why I got the dragon's breath earlier. We just take this and throw it into a dissolver. So we can just get this out of here and throw this in here. And there's our o o Ogan whatever. And so we'll keep that. All right. So that's that. Uh, hungering for, we've got that. We need to make the miniature twilight portal, or portal and that one. That's good. Um, Nexium emitter, we have, we need to make the wireless universal grid here. There's a solar recharging. We have the EV solar panel already. I just got to go get it. Got to go break it. Did we ever get the solar? I don't think we got the, uh, singularity out of the AE2 stuff. Did we? Should be in here. All four of them. All right. How did you get to the end of the suit? This is the, my, this is, uh, the, um, the, whatchamacallit, the mining world. Let's go ahead and make some of these. So we can't make the Awakened Supremium Furnace, but we can make the Supremium Furnace recipes first. Uh, so I think I know how to make all of that. I just need to go to the Supremium Furnace and down. And then we'll need to uh, make the Awakened version. Because it should already have all the recipes for everything else. Supremium. Missing one Prudentium block. Do I not know how to make a Prudentium block? Do I not know how to make a block? Oh, does it not know how to make a block at all for the rest of these? It doesn't know how to make any of the blocks. I got to make all these cold blocks too. So this works. Cause I got to grab all these recipes. 
I just did the prudentium one. A prudentium. Pru prudentium. And then we can hit you on this to get the block recipe. Do I have enough patterns in here? It's the mining dim. Oh, the matter! What up, my dude? Welcome in from the raid. How are you? We're doing a speed run right now for all the mods. I'm sure that you know it. So I've seen you around a couple times. I didn't know you streamed though. Just streamed like eight hours? Hell yeah. How did your stream go, dude? Can't believe I never taught it the block recipes. What were you streaming? I will get you in just a second. I think it's the Insanium Coal Block is what I got to make, right? Okay, I know how to make the block, so I don't have to do all that. Let's run it back. We're going to continue doing all the mod or the, the speed run. Right now, I'm catching up and getting all the things that I need. So that's where we're at. Um, where did I... What was I making? I got the Oak Nasum or whatever. We were making the uh, Insanium Coal Block is what we needed. Should be immediate uh, insanium coal block that makes that and so we have the fire eyed ingot we have the nuclear reactor we have the do i have the quad uranium fuel rods in here there's one in here i need that um and then let's see this makes the this is going to be annoying i could just easily make this and just need the awakening stuff so i'm going to need that stuff i think the awakening stuff is pretty easy to make right oh i actually got to go get soul stone got to go get that so that makes the philosopher's fuel um we need to put the music back on you're welcome, my dude. And so I wonder if the 148 drive is being, it's still being made, so it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, let's see. The improbability probability device we learned how to make. We got the supercharged coil. That's on my SPS. I got to go grab. We got the Tesla coil. Pulsating black hole. Nether star quantum. This, this. Got all of this stuff. I need the vial of searing expulsion. I just need some gems for that. I don't know why this stuff is up there. Um, I need to grab that wither compass. We have all four of those. We need the three gravitational modulating units. That's important. I think I put the antimatter over in this box. Yep. Cause I need that. We need actually two of them to stay. And then we need to teach it to make the gravitational whatever. Cause we need three of these. And this is actually annoying to make. So let's go ahead and tell it to make this. Cause if I don't tell it to make this, it's never going to get done. Gravitational. We need three. All right, so hopefully that makes it. By the way, I'm waiting for to my RAM so I can edit easier. So I'm going to try YouTube too. Dude, YouTube, I wish I'd have done YouTube first. We can cancel that one. That one isn't there. It's still crafting this. This is going to take a while. Like This is going to take a little bit. It's been crafting for nine minutes, and it's still got a while to go. Uh, I say it's not too far. Uh, well, it's scheduled some of this. It's all going into here, which this just needs to be sped up. Is this an exporter or importer not going to work faster? Oh my God. Can I please click it and make it work faster? I can't pull it out or it will mess the crafts up. So anyway, um, that takes care of the withers compass. We got everything for this. Those gravitational things are being made. This one, we have this, this, this. Um, we have the two snow queen head. We got the piglet hearts. Do we have a dragon scale? Do we still have a dragon scale? I put it in one of these chests, I believe. There's a dragon scale. We need the warden's heart as well, which is in here. Um, I need to make some gem dust and all that, so to make the vial of searing or whatever. So that'll go in here. Um, dragon scale will go in there. We got the four there. So the heart is, uh, the gem is in there. Cool. Oblivion chart again, we've already got. And so then that, all that leaves us is these two right here. And let's see on the nether star star. Oh God, we made way, we've got way too many stars. We got more stars than we ever need. So we need 15 of the three times compressed blocks. So three X star. And so we need 15 of these suckers to make the outline of the star. So we're just going to go ahead and make the recipes going down. Put that in there and then we should be able to craft it. 
We need 15 of these. 90,415 stars. We literally got that. That's crazy. Can I put a second importer on the furnace? Maybe. Imagine doing an all the mods nine speed run. All the mods nine is actually not that bad. I don't think at least. I, I don't think right now it isn't. Okay, so now we need all the compressed stuff. So 5X emeralds is one of the things that we needed. Pretty sure we need this for the, yep, we need the 5X emerald. So we're going to compress that down. We should have all the emeralds for this. We have like 900 and something. I think the diamond is what we're missing right now. So I'm going to throw that in here. Okay, that should craft. So there's our 15 nether star blocks. Um, do we have the 5x emerald crafting still? I just realized something. Do we have enough for that? There's our 5x emerald. And so we need a 4x a diamond. Just to double check. Yep. So we're gonna teach it a 4X diamond. This is, I think, where we're missing. But there's a couple ways to easily get this. We can turn the spiders off behind me too. I think this is the one that we're missing the most on. I think we're not gonna be able to make a 4X. We're missing, oh, I was wrong. That means we can turn this mob farm off entirely. But it doesn't matter. Dun, dun, dun. I like how you have an introduction. So that's cool. I actually I don't know if we have enough diamonds for that. Because it it should say that I have it says that I have the diamonds. But I might not actually have the diamonds for it. Because it says that I do. We just have to cancel it. Diamonds. So we have five, seven, two X. Yeah. So we don't have enough. We have to get to the four X, right? So we need three more. We should have plenty of diamonds. We'll have to put some more. We need to get on that real quick. So let me make some more swabs. That is wool plus sticks. Two, three. I'll go up to the top here and I'm going to turn this cave creeper spawner on. Bro, really? I'm going to swab these guys. Okay. Grab out some buckets. Uh, we're just doing the last little remaining things. We're getting all the remaining things to go, which I'm almost done. Seed. Can I use these seeds to do it? I don't know if I can or not. No, I can use these seeds. I don't know if I can use the seeds like this, though. No, it has to be regular seeds. The two should be... Oh, no, dude, we need, we need a third seed. It's in my dank. Where there's chickadees at? There should be. It says there's one right. Oh, there's a couple in this hole. There's a chicken out here. All right. I'm going to turn this off. And we're going to sneak this one off. Sneak this one off. Sneak this one off. Actually, I should have put this one back on for the evoker. Which one which one's the spotter that had the no AI? This one should have no AI, so it's chorus fruit. It just had slimes on it. I just want to make sure that I do no AI back again. So cave keep creeper, cave creeper, cave creeper, cave creeper. And so that'll turn them all on the cave creepers, which cave creepers drop diamonds. Turn this back on, and that should give us the diamonds that we need in time. All right, and so that works with the, we're doing the dim seed recipe right now is what I'm working towards. So the dim seed is right here. So we need 
Obsidian times five, soul sand times five, in stone times five. Okay. So in stone times five is in here. I can get an in stone times five pretty easy in here. In stone times five. There's that one. Oh, we got to take that. We almost messed that up. Can I please just put this in here? Okay, instant times five. So we need soul sand and we need obsidian. Obsidian is going to be the first one. So it's an obsidian times five. Is that right? Or is it obsidian times four? Obsidian times five. Okay. Let's hope that I made enough of these. this obsidian. Alright, it knows how to make obsidian. Easy. Now it's just got to compress up, which should be almost instant. Right? We're fine for me? Yeah, it doesn't... The no AI slimes die. Like, they, they die too quickly. Um, are, are they... Or, sorry, they don't die. They have a bug where they just don't die, which is weird. I'm going to need a lot of soul sand, actually, so hopefully I have a lot of this. This is initially what I was supposed to be working on. Am I doing this wrong? Okay. I was confused for a second. I'm not going to teach it how to... Did I get the fire essence? Oh, God. Okay, we have plenty of it. You literally don't need much at all. There's our obsidian times five. I'm gonna need a. I'm gonna need a lot of soul sand compressed times one. So we'll see how that goes. This is gonna be emerald. So we're missing diamond. Diamond times four is what we're missing. Oh, it's a netherrack times six. I forgot about that. That should be in here too. Netherrack times six. Is there not a netherrack times six in here? I'll just take this times seven. Break that into a times six. And uh, use that. Because that does the soul sand. Okay. Another right, times six. Two dimensional storage actuators. We have all of that. So we can come over here and place this in. All the things that I need in here. So we're missing diamond times five at this point. We have the all the modium mixed with the we have the twenty eight compressed al are the alloy blocks. This needs I need this for the casings, so there's all twenty eight of those. We need the unobtainium and vibranium. I need these two, and then I'm actually gonna need to make. I'm gonna have to take the vibranium blocks out too because I need those. We have to kill the Ender Dragon or the Wither with something with mystical enlightenment, so that's gonna be there too. And so that's everything with the star, right? Yo, Christianator, thank you for the. Brand new tier one sub. That's huge. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have the three on the top. We need a mining portal. We have the soul sand. We have... Okay, so we have everything with the diamond times five. So the thing is, is we have a 3x block. And we have it compressing... We don't have anything to compress down into. This should give me the diamonds that I need in time. All right, so there's my time is... Okay, so I have... I need three more diamonds. So we have... I need three more diamonds, stones, whatever. So let's go ahead and grab out a stack of this. Tier 5, I'm pretty sure, is a premium. So we need to just make, like, a stack of these. And we're just going to make a, a bunch more diamond seeds. Because that's going to be the limiting factor right now. And that'll make me a bunch of diamonds. Cool. Again, this story you got tornado warning issues that you had last night. Everything was actually good. Yo, Chrisinator, thank you so much for that fresh sub, bro. That's huge. Uh, yeah, everything's fine. Everything's good. We need to go to the nether and break up some soul stone real quick. So we're going to go grab that real quick. I don't have a portal to the nether. So we're just going to fly there. I need to go get some soul stone. See how that goes. Everything's fine. We, I, I, don't, I didn't even look to see if we have anything outside that's like damaged or anything. Probably should have checked that. Usually the way I find it is I go through the walls here until I find it. Like that. 
I don't know how much solium stuff I need, but I don't think it's too much. All right, so we got all those. See, Brielle, how are you doing? I believe we have to smelt this down into soul stone. So we're going to do exactly that. Do we have the 148 thing made? We do. It goes in the backpack. And then let's see. So to make, we need one of these seeds, the solium seed base. We need one of those for the dim seed. So we're going to need to save that aside. We need... So we're just waiting for the diamonds at this point. So we need to go plant these diamond seeds. I only have eight made. I don't need to plant them there. What is this? All redstone seeds? I don't think I have any more solium seed base. Maybe I do. Oh, yeah, I do. All right, that's going fine. Do, 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 do. Okay, so what does that leave me to create? The vial of the sand. So we need, all right, we need four gems. We need to break down. Doesn't matter what gems. So one, two, three, four. Perfect. We go to our salvaging table. I don't even think we need four gems to break down. There's that. And then we need the vial of expulsing. We need a thick potion, which is glowstone plus water bottles. Bottle. Oh, I remember Enda. You may bow, 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 bow. All hail Enda. Okay, so what was I about to do? I don't forgot. Okay, we got the emerald. We have, do we have any more of the five times? We have the soul sand we got to pull out of here. The four X. We have the netherrack four X. We've already made the soul sand. We need to make the diamonds if we can, but I don't think we can. Because we need more diamonds. We're making the seeds right now, I think it is. Is that what we're going for? The seeds are being made and we're putting we need to put them over there because I made a bunch of seeds. Got six seeds right here I gotta put up. Alright, and so I believe I needed to make the solium things. I need to make um well oh, the vial of the searing, whatever. So we we're making thick potions. That's what we were making. We made one thick potion. And then so we need to make a lava bucket. And then we should be able to make this. And so that adds to the list of things that I need for the everything. Solium seed. We're almost out of seeds. Oh, Ignacen, we got this. Discord ping, what's up? You made the speed run? Wait, what? What are you saying, child? Are you Discord pinging for a reason? In town, so we're going to watch together. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. great stream. So got to go see ya. See you later, Sean. What's up, Shallow? Did you message me? Are you hungry? Oh my God, it's 11.30. Um, sure, if you want to make me some food, I might not eat it for a little bit though. I don't know what you're going to make. Thank you. Uh, I love you. Uh, we need these two out. And then this can go in there. Okay. So, got that. Got the Insanium Cold Block. Got the storage part. Put that up already. Um, flight module is annoying to make. We should go ahead and make this. Because this is going to be annoying. Um, can I make everything up to the flight module via recipes? I'll make the orange chicken. Oh my God. You the best. Do I actually have to infuse these damn things? She is the best dude. Hands down. I love her to death. I think I know how to make all of this. I just need to make the syringe real quick. And then we got to get gas tiers. How many gas tiers do we have in here? 35. We got to make a gas portal. I think it's just a bug. I think it's there. Everyone needs a shallow fax. Uh, we need to get this to level 100. Quit shooting me, dude. Oh, God, please don't shoot that direction. This is a bad idea. Please don't hit things that I need. Okay. 
Did that fill it up? Okay. This is a bad idea over here. We got to fill this up to 100. Okay. Here's the problem. I think we do actually have to finish this. This is such a bad idea. Shouldn't blow up? Potentially. Some things are just finicky and I don't want to chance it. So we have to finish this one. I'm scared. How far along are we boys? We're really close. I just flew through those. Keep looking at me over here, bro. He's dropped so many items. Okay, we finished it. Nothing blew up, I don't think. Because that would have been real bad if that tried to hit that over there. That would have been real bad. Okay, so now we can use this to make the... We're going to do all the way up to this, right? We need to make the module template plus. Should make it. And then we need to make it ender pearl. And then we need to make this flight modules done. Okay. Like if it hit this backpack and destroyed everything, it would literally ruin the whole game. Like that would be all of it. So there's the three solar recharging units. Wait a second. Okay. There's the three gravitational whatevers. Okay. And then so. Well, that can be deleted. All right, flight module is done. That leaves us with, let's do the soul steel real quick while this is being made. Soul steel, soul steel. This is four compressed soul steel blocks. So we need, wait, hold on. Am I thinking this right? Yeah, we need four of them. Okay, and so soul steel is made with four compressed soul powder blocks. We need four of these. And then a soul sand block times one in this. So we need, basically that makes this. So we need four times that. Okay. So we need soul sand one times. We need four of those. You were here for the CD? You better do it. All claims should blow. I hope, oh, hope not. Okay. And then we need a soul press soul powder box. Oh my God. We need to teach it how to make soul powder. Is there a way to make the soul? Hold on. It was four compressed soul powder blocks. So we do need to teach it how to do this. And then to make, we can't make a soul. Oh God, oh God we got to make the soul powder. Is there a way to make the soul powder? This glowstone. Oh God. A block of glowstone goes on there. I don't think this actually ruins this, but I could be wrong. Flint steel. What up, dude, doctor? How you doing? Not bad. Hell yeah. We need what? Four of these, right? It's four times four, so we needed 16 of these. Missing 54 soul powder blocks. Oh God, this is going to be a while. What up, R. Cole? How you doing? All 
Or is it? Hold on a second. Cool. So we need this, 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 and then we need the compressed old powder blocks all around these. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, oh, three. Okay. You know, what's funny is I made most of these recipes. And like, I still struggle with this. So we need four blocks of iron. Like I, I put these recipes in the game. Please don't burn that up. I think it takes some time. Yep. Otherwise I'm just burning iron. John Bam's fault. He set off too many nukes. Wait, what? Did it burn this one or did it take it? Oh, did it pick it back up? What up, buddy? Proceeds to throw the wrong block in. Hopefully I didn't throw the wrong block in. Okay, so now we just need, we have the Rose of Oblivion that's over here too. That's in my backpack. I need to move this, to be honest with you. The rest of the stuff can go up. Okay, so now we have that part of the star. Now we need to make, not the dim seed stuff, we need to make the awakened altar stuff. Can I make this? There's, I need four of these vessels. And then I need four of these pedestals. Oh, we need orange dye. And I think I need more orange stuff for this. One, two, three, four. And then the altar. Okay. Waking an altar is pretty easy. Okay, and so this is going to make me a couple of things. We've got the vial. We got the gravitational one. So first off, we need to do this one. So this is what we needed the earth essence and stuff for. So we're going to hit this, and then we're going to grab air essence. A couple stacks of these. Uh, earth essence. We need fire essence. And we need water essence. The four elementals. I'm playing too much. Wow. So we're going to put these in the vessels here. Okay. And then, so for this, we need two unobtainium blocks here or two vibranium. We need to put one of these in the middle. We need to put... An obtainium block, an obtainium block, that block, that block. We need a lever. Turn it on. Speedy up you one, because it's a thingy. Bam. One awakened block. We got to do that again. So. Fire essence, earth essence. Air, essence, water. Water. Air. Bam. 
Bam. Oh, well, I didn't even need to, hit, need to hit it there. Cool. Day 66. Oh, God, this is fast. We're going to need these essences, too. I'm going to need these essences for a couple of things. So that takes the care of that one. Now we need to make the Twilight Forest block. And so that's what these Twilight Forest pieces were in here. So we're going to need one of these. We're going to need this, 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 and this. <laughs> and then we put the Snow Queen trophy right in the middle. Then we speed it up. Oh, well, never mind, because it's already done. Cool. And there's that piece. So we've got that. All right, so that's done. So now all we need left, we've got all these pieces. We should actually be able to make most of the pieces here for this. Now all we have left is to make the Awaken some premium. And so this part is annoying because we actually have to get uh, awaken Supremium first. And so we have to grab out. I think we only need one Awaken Supremium, right? Yeah, we need one Awaken Supremium. So we got to make it like this. And so that means we need to get four Cognizant Cognis Dust. And so you actually have to have a sword for this. So that's, that was where we're going to start. Is this broken? No, it's got mending on it. Okay. So this is where we need, um, mystical enlightenment is the recipe. So we got to find something with mystical enlightenment. Can we do mystical like this? And type it. I don't think... I know I have one in here that has it. I think one of the swords actually has mystical enlightenment on it. I think it only goes on a sword, though. I don't want, think it'll go anywhere else. Mystical enlightenment. I know we have one. Because I know I saw it. It can only go on a sword. There's mystical enlightenment 7. And it can only go on a mystical agriculture weapon. So we need a sword. So we're going to make the best sword that we can make with this because we need to do some damage. Okay. And I'm just going to hope that we can kill this. The wither that I have stuck over here with it. I hope we can. Oh, that's a tertium. I need a premium. Missing five inferium. I don't think it's pressing the Inferium down. Is it? Shouldn't be. Oh, I didn't teach you how to make a diamond sword. We know which how our diamond is holding up. Hey, baby. Are you? No. Thank you. Urban craft. Chalice gum. Have to be done with that, but I don't know if I one shot him or not. So we'll have to see. And so now we need to enchant this with an anvil and with mystical enlightenment. What else does it have on here? Knockback. I wish I knew what the, if the mystical enlightenment can go on something else, but we'll see. No, because for baby stuff, it's so good right now. Oh, this is enough room. Because if we're not, we're SOL. Can I not? Oh, God. Please don't blow everything up here, sir. 
Please don't blow everything up. Can I? How much health do I do with that? Okay. I don't want to kill this guy because he'll get it executed at this point. Okay. Cool. Did we get the dust for it? We did. Ancient Scroll of Mercy, Ancient Scroll of Dodge. Well, he didn't either, so he's got that going for him. Okay. All right, so to make a Waken Supremium, we need a Supremium Blocks. So we need to put this in the center. We need the four dusts on these pedestals. And then we need the L essence. So we need water, fire, earth, and air. And so that should make this, make me an awakened Supremium block. And so with this, we can convert this. Wait a second. I canceled it, apparently. Go faster. There it goes. Supreme block. Now we can take this down. And I, is the Supreme furnace still in here? Did I put that back in here or did I leave it in my bag over here? Did I even make it? Yeah, thank you for the follow, Kayo. Am I blind here or is the Supreme furnace not in here? I guess I didn't make it. Oh, I just realized I have to get the Supremium Furnace. I could have sworn I made this already. I must have put it in my backpack. Did I just not make it? Guess I didn't make it. So premium furnace. Do I have everything to make this? And then to make the awakened super premium furnace, we need to make these two recipes real quick. So we need two of those a piece, I want to say. Oh, is it two piece, right? Two piece. Okay. And then we need the element. Nope. Um, at mystical essence. Okay. So we need 40 a piece. So we need water. Fire, air, and dirt loss. Is it actually keeping the stuff in here? That's kind of cool. So I need this one, this one, this one, this one. Supremium. There's that. All right, so that takes care of the Supremium Furnace. So now we can make the Dim Seed. We can make this. We can make, we need to make the Universal Grid real quick. Hmm. 
Mm. So grid should be able to just click this, click this, click this. And it should craft it. Bam. There's our universal grid. So we can hit a on this and this, we have the two batteries. World's eye could be the next one up. Okay. World's eye is the next one up. And so this one is nature's aura. So we need to make these brilliant fibers. So we need to go grab some shears. Do I make some shears? And we need to go back to the overworld. I'm going to delete these two. Put that in our backpack. Delete this one. Okay. So we got to go back to the overworld for this one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So we got to get some leaves first. I think it's just leaves, right? And then we should be able to make the brilliant fibers. And so the brilliant fibers, you have to plant these at the very top of these trees like this. And so you can plant it in more than just the top, but the crown starts it. And so what this will do is it'll convert everything into golden leaves, which we need a bunch of. I don't know where the hell the crown is on that one. Did I hit the right one? And so this will turn these leaves into a color that I can't see. Speed up the process a little bit here. It'll turn these all into golden trees. Didn't know I had so many. I wonder if I can place it up here on these things. I don't know where the crown would be here. I can see these like clear as day. What up, Jasco? Or Jasco? Jess? Gotta wait for all these to convert into golden leaves while we're getting this ready. We need to make a couple more things. So we're going to need a spyglass. We're going to need the environmental art and we're going to need a bottle of darkness. So, so we need nature's cork. So we need this. Do we not have any planks. Okay. And we're going to need to go to the end with this one. Take the cork. I think I need two of these, right? Because I need two nature's eyes. Yes. And so the environmental eye is actually really easy to make. You just have to have the ritual. We need those things. So slash home. And we should we didn't even need to do slash home because we need to get those trees. What up, Dataki? Hmm. So we got all these over here converting, right? This one's slowly, we got to get it to gold. It has to turn into full golden leaves right here. So one of the things that we need to make is these wooden stands, but we need the oak plus the, so let's see oak. Make sure we got a bunch of these ready to go. Cause we need a total of, I think it's eight of these to make this. So the spyglass is pretty easy to make. We're going to need two of those. And then I think that's everything that we need for the star other than getting the pressure chamber stuff working. Right? So this is, Pneumatic craft, we need um, pressure. We need, we'll let these convert. I'm gonna go back home and I'm gonna get these recipes going and then we'll get this in a little bit. And so let's come over here. Let's grab the recipes for these pressure things. So we need the pressure chamber interface. We need the pressure uh, stones, which takes reinforced bricks. Which takes your reinforced stone. Which you need compressed iron ingots. I'm gonna teach it how to make that later. I like to make this usually. And then so now we need we don't need a pressure meter or anything like that. We need uh safety, I think it's called. Say what is it? Security upgrade, that's what it is. We need to teach you how to make a safety module. 
And then we need a compressor. I just do the air compressors on this one. You close or what? I'm real close. I'm really close. Like we're making that. We have everything at this point except for the nature. I think. Do we have all the diamonds now? Let's see if we have all the diamonds yet. Uh, we need a little bit more diamonds, so we need one more times three to make it times four. And so that means we need uh, um, seven more times twos. But we're making diamonds pretty fast. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw these in there. Get this pressure chamber set up. So we need to get some a bunch of irons. We can get a bunch of iron blocks here if we wanted to. More than we need. And then we need to make some tea. I don't even know if I have TNT ready to go yet. I don't I can't even. Can I just teach it how to make TNT so I don't have to do this again? Oh, that's not good. Oh, don't listen to body. Body's a body likes his, uh, Tons of uh, what you call it. He's got a he's got a fancy tooth, is what it is. All right, so we've got all this claim. So we'll do the compressor stuff right here. We'll need the chamber. We need like one chamber valve. We need two chamber interfaces. Right. And then we need a lot more blocks. When it comes to food, dude, I, I eat, I like to eat a lot of food myself, but do be what it do be. We need a five by five. We need the glass is what we need. Actually, I don't even think I'm going to do glass this time. That's five by five. This body is a temple and requires premium fuel. I respect it. How else are you going to pop off on Somber without that premium fuel? So one on the inside, one on the outside. My Sombro was popping. What a champion. This man's a legend. So I'm just building a five by five of this real quick. And so what I'm going to do is once I'm finished with this, it will complete. Bam. And so we need some safety modules. I usually just make a bunch of safety modules or what is it? Security upgrades. Cause we're going to need a bunch of them. Oh, we didn't make the pressure gauge recipe. We got to do that. So safety. Now we need pressure valves. Is this how you spell it? And then we're going to build this to this. So we're going to take these air compressors and we're going to stick them in the side right here. So 
One, two, three, four, five. These pipes are going to pop, but that's what this is for. We're going to stick in one of these safety or security upgrades into each one of them. This basically makes it where if it gets too much air inside of it and it can't handle it, it or the pressure, it won't pop. It won't blow open. Uh, the pipes will pop instead. So essentially what I'm doing is I want to set these all up to where they get a security module. And then I'm also going to do this over here inside of this. So there should be, I think I can put it in the pressure valve here. Yeah, you put it in here. And so this is where we're going to put in items. So we're going to need two chests here. I don't know what chests I have in here. Diamond chest, that works. So I'm going to put one here and one here. And then we need item pipes for this. And so this one, we can, you can take a look inside of it. So this one goes in and then out. So that's my out. This is my in. You're lucky. And so now we're going to take, I'm not going to use those other five because I think this is enough. We're just going to go ahead and connect all these up like this. Connect them up like this. Then we're going to get all of these coal, compressed coal, or blocks of coal rather. And this will start making this work. And I'm just going to set this so I can start having the pressure build up in all of these. We got to hit five here. So again, nothing's going to explode except for the pipes because everything has a security upgrade. And so now that all of those are done, this is all set up for us to make everything. We just have to wait for the pressure to hit. So I'm going to put that stuff up. Okay. So now that's all done. This is the reason why I'm doing this is because I need to wait for this to hit five. And so we got to get this pressure all the way up there. And so that's why. I did this because we were waiting for those trees. Now we can go back and get all those trees. I was going to kill that chicken, and then I decided not to kill that chicken. So now we go see if our trees have turned into gold. Some of them have. We should have enough of these. We need to get some gold leaves out of it. Did they not convert over? Am I tripping? Oh, it's because this is not chunk loaded. Oh, no. So I think, I wonder if we can actually, this is an AOE projectile. I wonder if the golden fibers will just work. See, some of these have already changed. Like that's changed. Let's cut this tree down and see if we get any gold leaves out of it. Got a couple. We should have enough gold leaves out of this. Panther gal coming in with a resub. 34 months is a long time. That's a long time. Hey, Panther gal, thank you for the 34 months. I need a little bit more than this, but this will work for now. That's a long time. How you doing? What mod is the staff from? It's not in nine. It is. It's from Roots, but Roots is not in nine now. It used to be, but they took it out because there was it wasn't updated to the newest version of what they were using, so it got taken out. All right, so we can just wait for these trees. What is this, golden leaves? We can just wait for these now that they're all chunk loaded. And we should be able to do at least one thing. I mentioned it to Bird earlier, but he didn't believe it. Wait, what? I mentioned what to Bird earlier. Okay, so we need eight of these stumps. Okay, so there's the eight. And so now we need gold powder. And I need one for the ritual. So the ritual can go... Right here, we're going to need some bone meal too. Okay, so this is called this is for the ritual for this environmental eye. And so it is usually you make the roots starter book, but I don't even know if I have the root starter book or not. But it's I kind of actually need to make this just in case. It's not roots, it's nature's aura. There's a book for it. This one. Do I have the stuff for it? I do. And so we this is called the ritual of the forest. 
And so we can go here, we can click on this, click it down. And so this is what it looks like. So we need to do the gold powder like this. I don't think I have enough gold powder. I don't. So we plant this in the middle, but we're going to plant that last. We need these eight stands. It might be nine. It's eight. Okay. And so on these stands for the ritual, this ritual, we need two golden leaves. We need a spider eye and then gold ingots. So we need two of these spider eyes. We need two of these and we need uh, two of those leaves, which we don't have. So it doesn't really matter where you place it. And so last but not least, we'll have that sapling in the middle. I'm not going to place it because the ritual starts whatever it grows. And so we're just going to have that annoying thing there for a minute. We're just going back to the overworld and hope we get it. That FPS is going to poop. Are y'all grown yet? Do we have all these golden leaves yet? There's a bunch. I don't know if that's what we needed. I'm going to let these grow. We'll chop this one down. You know, this would be a really good one to have with all the golden leaves. Okay. Where do we put the ritual? Right here. All right. So we need two per... And so the rest of these can be turned into powders. Okay. And so then we put the other leaf over here. Where is that at? Right there. Put this here. Then we place down the sapling. And we bone meal it. So sapling in the middle. And then you bone meal it. And when it grows, you see this all gets absorbed in. Been in the wedding planning mode. And my fiance is making sure I don't overstress about it. Wedding is four and a half months. That's going to sneak up on you real quick. Bam, environment to lie. Cool. So now we got to do the same exact thing. We plant this in the middle here in a second, but we got to put these things up here. So that there, that there, spider eye here, golden get here. And then right in the middle here is going to be our sapling. And if I grab this ritual again, just to make sure I want to place this down properly. And then we can put this sapling down and then we can bone meal it. Cause we need two of these nature's ores to make this. Our environmental eyes to make this. All right. So there's our two environmental eyes. So we should be able to make this. I need these bottled of corks. So I think I put that in the backpack over here. Back, 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 back. Which I really should take with us. Did I put the cork cork bottles in here? Or do I just not have them? Did I put them up? Cork bottle? Am I blind right now? This is called bottle darkness. Hello? Did I not make these? Do they expire? We just have to go back. It might expire. Maybe I accidentally used them up. It's okay. One. Two. Okay. All right. Now everything's done. We can start making all these pieces while the pressure is still going up. 
So let's start ma uh, making all this stuff. I think let's get all the items out that just need to be made into something. We made the two nukes, so I don't need that. That goes into the pressure chamber. So things that go in the pressure chamber can go back in there. So like the two nukes can go in there. I, don't, I think I actually need one nuke. Yeah, I need one nuke out. Where's my spirit steel and my nature's... What's it called? Rose of Oblivion, that one. Okay. So that could just make this. There's the Ma Oblivion Shard. I have all the stuff for this. Oh, we need to go get that EV panel because it's over here. Where is it at? Did he give it to me? Yes. Okay. Oh, the two antimatter need to be left out. I think one goes into the thing of my boobler creative essence is one. We just got to keep out micro missiles goes into that. That's the dim seed. So compressed stuff stays in. Awaken Supremium Furnace that goes in the Philosopher's Fuel. Okay, so let's see what we can make out of the star pieces. We've already made the Oblivion Shard. That's done. Wither, we need the three gravitational modulating units plus the Wither Builder. Let's see, can we make the... Okay, I need the screen for that. Hold on a second. I literally have all of that for that piece. This is all right here. So there is one piece. That's the improb prob improbable probability device that can go up. Uh, let's see. Antimatter goes into... I need to put that up because that goes into the chamber. This goes into making philosopher's fuel. So philosopher's fuel needs the fire eyed ingot plus the rejuvenated. Where's my fire eyed ingot? I swear to God. I okay, I was about to cry. Um, this one, it goes into the philosopher's fuel. So we need the insanium coal block and we need uh, the rejuvenated flesh. There is the philosopher's fuel that can come out. New can stay in. Withers Compass. Nexium Emitter. I need the player transmitter. I haven't made that yet. That's why I was saving the player transmitter from the first part, which is in here. Should be in here. Or am I tripping? Player transmitter. I saved it. At least I thought. Or do I have it still on the ground somewhere? There's got to be a chest that I have somewhere that is just chilling somewhere. This will, this, this is going to all be done today. I can just hand make this, but I really don't want to because I should have it all. Let's see. Do I have everything for the, philo okay. So snow queen head, I have that. What is that? An inactive dragon egg? Where's my inactive dragon head? Dragon egg. We have the two snow queen eggs, so we should be able to make this dragon soul. Uh, where's the dragon spread that? Dragon soul's done. Mm-mm-mm. All right, so that's the Oblivion Shard. There's that. The solar recharging panel. We're going to make the Nexium emitter, so we have to grab the player transmitter. Player is in your backpack. It's in the backpack you're wearing. I could have sworn I had one. Player transmitter. Right there. Okay, so I just got to upgrade this. And so we need to make all these capacitors. So I need to go capacitor, so we got to go hard and everything. Good eyes, y'all. So two. We need to make two of each capacitor. Two. 
So we're going to go all the way up to nitro. You just can't do this by hand because of one of the recipes is annoying. So now we need to go back to our reactor, which is an ever, right? So imagine doing this on hardcore. It'd be kind of annoying. We're going to break this out with our configurator, which is right here. Switch this to wrench. And then I'm going to combine all of these together. And so this will put this here. And then, so we're going to go home. And so we're going to put that up. And so now all that's left is the dim seed, right? And the pressurized reaction chamber. So let's do the dim seed first, which is the diamonds. I hope we have the diamonds for this. And the dimensional actuators. We also need an alumodium. Or we need a teleport pad for this. And I believe we have all the compressed items for this. So let me double check. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. The last one is diamonds. Should have that. I need one more compressed times three, so that should be easy. That was my 4X that I needed. This is a 4X. Okay, so this is actually annoying to make. I'm going to need my flint and steel back out for this one. And so we're just going to make this right here. Okay, so it has to be facing the north side, okay? So... This, you have to read this. It tells you in the soul engulfing, there's a information about the dim seed here. If I go here, the structure for the seed must be built with a nether portal facing north. So nether portal has to go north side here. And so the way this is built then, we want the two dimensional actuators to go one right here, one right here. And then so I believe the nether is the netherrack underneath it, right? If I'm right, let me look at that. Dim seed is what we're making. So you can actually hit the down arrow to see what's underneath this. So that's obsidian. That's soul sand, that's in stone. So obsidian's gonna go on this left side. Soul sand's gonna go in the middle. And then we have, what was it? In stone on the right side. And then we want the nether portal to go in the back. We want the dragon portal to go on the left side. And then the in stone to go on the right. This is such a pain recipe to make, by the way. And then so we have emerald diamonds and then all the modium. So emerald diamonds, all the modium. Emerald on the left, diamonds on the right. Emerald diamond plate. We light this middle piece on fire. And then we throw in the solium seed. And there we go. Dim seed. Get the dimensional storage actuators back, which is pretty cool. All right, so now all we have left is to make the stuff for the uh, pulsating black hole, and we have to do the create stuff. So that'll be fun. Is that everything for the black hole? Should be nine items for the black hole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What, what item am I missing? another star so we gotta grab a star and so then we find our pressure chamber over here have you died other than the warden fight no this is at pressure of 4.85 bars I think it's venting pressure so it doesn't blow up but you actually have to have the pressure at 4.9 bars. And right now it's at 4.9. So this is good. So it's just venting it. So we can put everything in here that needs to go in. So this whole entire row here will go in. And so this will give us the start. And while this is making, we need to make the create recipes. So we need the mechanical 
crafters, so we're going to need to get some brass casings and some electron tubes. We're going to need polished rose quartz and iron plates. I don't know if we have more iron plates in here. We do. That should be fine. And so we need water wheels as well. It's going to keep opening up and putting things in real quick. So polished rose quartz, we can actually use the enrichment chamber thing for this one. So we just need this. We need road rose quartz. I don't know how much, but we can just come over here and throw this in my enrichment chamber that's over here. That's not actively being used. And so this will make us the, we can make the, that makes the polished ones, which we should be able to make the electron twos, which we need some brass because we have no brass casings in here. We could just get some oak out. I think I'm gonna need some more than this. Let's see, we need 58, I think it is. Crafting tables. Oh, I gotta put that in there. We probably do need more, don't we? Yes, we're gonna need some more brass. We can turn this off. This is killing my FPS. What do you use for power? Initially, I will use mechanisms uh, farm. I'll use the melon power, but that doesn't work for nine. And nine, I'll be switching to something else. And then after that, I will use, um, I'll go to power. Okay, there's those. We need water wheels. I'm going to grab the recipe for these. Am I out of andesite? No. The melon farm? It will. It's just not as good. So I use something different. The hell is our pressure chamber? Pulsating black holes done. Oh, we needed to be splitting these. And so this is the backpack that has everything in here that I need for the star. So only thing I'm missing is nothing. I just got to make the create stuff for the star then. So we need one of my water buckets. So we're going to just make it over here. We need Patrick Starr. That's what we need. This is the part that I hate the most. Because I need a screenshot of Patrick because I need to know what all I need. Because I hate this. If the quest were in the pack, I'd be able to see it all, but I don't have all the stuff for it. Okay, so we need to make pink concrete, pink concrete powder, magenta concrete, magenta concrete powder. Uh, we need green concrete powder, green concrete, li two lime concrete. I know we only need two lime concrete. And then I believe that's it. Okay. So I have auto crafting recipes for all this, but I don't actually know if I have the gravel for it or not. Let's just throw that all in here and hope that's enough. I don't remember what all it needs, but we'll find out here soon enough. I can literally just make the lime concrete powder because I've got the dye. Why am I trying to do this? Hold on a second. 
I should have all the dies for this, so I should be able to just make this. I can't remember how much it takes to make these. Probably gonna need more than 64 sand. How we doing, baby? Almost done. With all the colors? I'm just colorblind, so that's my problem. We're actually almost done, like almost, almost. I wish I knew the numbers for these, because that's my only problem. Okay, so now we just got to turn these into concrete. I know I only need two of these. I don't remember how many I need for that. So let's look at the Patrick star real quick. So I want to say there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pink, nine, 10 pink concrete. So two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and so that's ten pink concrete. We have one, two, the pink concrete powder doesn't matter how much concrete we need for magenta. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, that's 14, just in case. And green concrete. How much green concrete do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and so the lime, con uh, lime con concrete powder can go. And so the rest of this can stay because I think that's pretty much everything we need. Okay, because now we need to build this thing out. And we'll connect this up. I need to do the um, cogs. Need to make a couple of these. Do I have any more casings? Brass casings? Lone chicken in the night, y'all. Okay, so we need to. Oh, I just pop that water wheel down because I'm dumb. Why is it placing it there? Hello? All right, so we'll do shaft coming out. Hello? Can you not do that, please? One part I hate about create. Okay. So this is where we're going to start doing some cogwheel stuff. So it's large into small, right? And that'll make it a little bit faster. And then we'll do large. And then we'll do come over here and case this into small. Okay, not like that. Small. Okay. Large into small. I think I can only do it twice. I could be wrong. Actually, no, I think I can only do it twice. So this is where we're going to keep it. And so... Let's do a large cogwheel here. Let's go shaft here, right? Let's go large cogwheel. And uh, large cogwheel. No, can't do that. 
We're connecting right here. Hmm. Hmm. I want to go down with this. I just broke so oh I broke the big one in the back. Please place this here. <laughs> You're bricked. Why are you giving me this problem? I just have too fast of a pickaxe. Okay. I would like to make a um, vertex create. What is it called? Vertical gearbox. Do you small cog on small cog? Yeah, I'm just trying to do something specific. Hmm. Screw it. I don't. I didn't want to do this, but we're do, doing this. Screw the cogs. Gonna do this. I can't do that. Where are my small cogs at? And then we're gonna just run this shaft out. And then we're going to do the crafters. This is the part of the star that I hate, though. So we have one, two, then one, two, three, one, two, three, and then it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and this one goes all the way across. That one doesn't go there. So it's three. All right, it's one, two. That one doesn't go there. So it's one, two, and then this one's gone. So we're going to keep this tight. So it's one, two, and then it comes up like this. And then that's the middle belt. And then it's all the way across here like this. And then we need to do two up. I think with how many stars I've made, I should be able to do this easy. And then we're going to take out our create wrench that now that we need it. And we got to aim these all up. Actually, I go up with that one. These go to the right. Because the right that goes up. That goes to the right. This one goes down. Okay, we gotta go all the way in there. What up, Tataki? Why did I switch that one? Okay, then it all should go down. Patrick, start time. As soon as we connect this right in the middle here with a cog. Forgot this, it goes up like this. Overstressed. That's fine. Let's 
Gonna have to make it go slow. Cool. We'll do this a little bit later. So. Now it's time to make the rest of this, which is annoying. All right, so we got to take and put all these down. The two lime concrete, one goes right here. One goes right here. Okay. Let's do pink next because pink's the outside. Let's go here, 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 here. And then we have here, here, here. There's not one right there. There's one right here. Do we need to make some more pink concrete or was I wrong? Yeah, we need to make one more pink concrete. Can I not pick this up right now? And so the other pink concrete goes right here on his other foot. And so let's put that up. Let's do magenta concrete. Magenta concrete goes here, here. We have here, 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 here. Okay, green concrete. Green concrete goes in the middle belt. Middle belt here. We have here, 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 here. Then we have magenta concrete powder, which is like the worst one for me to see. So here. Here. Is that pink or magenta? That's magenta. So here, 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 here. And then that's it for magenta concrete powder, pink concrete powder. We have these two in the middle here. Then we have this one here. Then we have this one here. We have this one here. And then we have green concrete powder, which goes here, here, here. You go in the rest blocks. I think it goes in the rest of the blocks. Yeah, I missed some block right there. What goes there? Green. Oh, that's, I'm doing pink. No. Take that back. I just did pink on all of those. Okay, this is green. So green concrete powder. And that should be everything, right? It's going to go real slow, y'all. Missing one piece. That's green concrete powder, right? Yeah. All right. So that'll make the Patrick star eventually. Right? Did it say anything? Oh my God. It's going to go so slow. I could literally speed this up with one. Also needs redstone? No, it's just going to go real slow. And so the, the star recipe is this. So we're going to do the Patrick star for this. So we're going to do the same thing, but with the Patrick star recipe. It's overstressed. No, it's going. See, it's just going real slow because I don't have it upgraded. I'll upgrade it here in a minute. Um, Patrick star recipe. Or not Patrick Star. This is the Patrick Star recipe. We just need to put this stuff up. And we need to get out everything that we need for the star recipe. Prep for that since it's taken forever. Can you speed this up with this? Is that how that works? Does this work on these? I really don't want to break this while this is being made. I've, I just didn't put the thing in there like I should have. That's all it is. All right. It'll get, once this is done, I'll upgrade it. What is that staff that speeds this thing up? The staff that I'm using is called a crystal staff. I have acceleration powder with three potency inside of it. So that's why you see what you see. And once this is made, I'll show you how to speed this up. Because I can't stop this in the middle of it. I'm afraid that it'll break the whole thing. But essentially, all I have to do to speed this up is just give it one, like I just got to do like I did there. And that's pretty much it. So I just have to speed it up once. I broke two because I thought it would be faster than this. I was wrong. Okay, but we're definitely going to get this under 24 hours because I'm almost there. As soon as this gets made, I'll fix this. Told Sam may have. Ah, uh, nah, it's, it's got enough power. It's just I didn't, I didn't, 
I overstressed it because you can only do two, I think. Or you can only do one. Hurry up! Is that Patrick? That's Patrick. Okay. And so to fix this, we break this here. We put in the cog wheel here. So we'll do a large cog wheel here. So large cog wheel, and then it'll go up like this. We break this, break this. And then so you can take and put a casing. Put the casing in here. You put a casing on this one. And then we'll do, your, I'm not going to do it a second time. Hmm, I might have to do it a second time. Because I don't think you can do it twice. Vertical gearbox. Hmm, do we just go slow with this? That's why I hate create. Can we do it twice? All right, now for the star. We do the outside. The outside needs all the modium on all the pieces. So three, then it goes like this. Then we need to go down. It's 28 pieces total. There's the 28th one. The nether star blocks go here, 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 here. Here, 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 and then we have four at the bottom here. And then we start putting the pieces in. We need the two awakened, or uh, these two awakened ones go here, here. Patrick Star goes in the middle because he's the best. Dim Seed goes right beside Patrick Star. Then on the bottom we have this, this, and the Creative Essence. So boop, boop, boop. We have Nexum Emitter. A Oblivion shard goes at the top. Dragon soul goes on the le top left. Next medium or meteor goes there. Then we have the wither compass that hurts you when you hold it. And then there, that's the Patrick star. We put it all in there. Everything in here. We did. And now we just put this cog wheel down and there we go. Patrick star split 22 hours, 42 minutes. 22 hours to get this, so less than a full day of playtime. Is this when time stops? Not when it pops? No, you get so, like, if, if you've made you've made it. You're just waiting for an animation at this point. That's so not rounding up. Yeah, so 22 hours, 42 minutes. So basically 23 hours rounding up if we round. Stop time when it went into your inventory? Because it doesn't really matter. Like, as many times as I've, like, paused and everything, it's just an animation. Like, we've got the star, right? So one of the things you can do is the spar with the speed runs is you can go back and cut the time off of like freezes, pauses, stuff like that. I don't do that. I just hit it as soon as I finish it. So 22 hours, 42 minutes is the speed run. Let me show y'all how we do this. First off, we got it in less than 60. Hold on. Let's see what day it is. Okay. Let's see what day it is in game. Right now in game, it is day 67. So we got it in 67 days, 67 days in game time. First, we celebrate in the way that we do every single time 